Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And as you see, you know, I'm really disappointed of the Christians. You know, if a Muslim kid he make a little video, Muslims will share the video everywhere. But we bring to Christians uh, not only disasters to Islam and showing them how to refute the Muslims. We show them how Islam is disabled when you have knowledge. Yet the Christians, they have a hard time to bring a friend. And as you see, you know, people are chatting and we say to them, instead of chatting, what about you invite a friend? And now we have 177. Uh, I know that, you know, sometimes the evil uh, try to make you feel you are not doing good. But always I remember that the Lord himself, he have a 12 disciple. So I cannot complain. But I can say that many of those who call themselves Christians don't deserve to be Christians. Today our topic is the Quran and challengeable and challengeable. So I said to myself, what about if I go live on air and I say, well, you know what? I am here to challenge the Quran. And I want to see who is the Muslim he can take the stand to prove that nobody can challenge the Quran. Is that something the Muslim they say for the propaganda or it is something true? If you are a Muslim and you are listening, I am a Christian prince and I offer you a challenge to challenge me about what you call science and Quran. I say in the front of everybody that every single claim of science and the Quran is a joke. Look at the list here in the page, astronomy. The Quran speak about astronomy, the Quran speak about the sunset. But I'm not going to make any statement now. Choose an, any topic of astronomy in the Quran so we can laugh. The sun, moon and earth, geology, end of the universe, human biology, historical, philosophy, philosophy, hmm. plants and animals, human being, I mean, what is left? All of those in the Quran. So who is a Muslim he want to take a challenge to prove me wrong? I say that every single one of those is a joke. Every single one of those claim is actually the opposite. It is proving that Islam is a false cult. You will notice that all those who can refute me, they don't call me. Did you notice that? And they will not even allow me to call them. For sure, the only one who called me is the guy from Nigeria. What's his name? This crazy guy. He can explain the Quran by himself. He don't accept Muhammad explained the Quran. He don't accept scholars. He don't accept Hadith. He has his own religion. Ah, but this, this guy is, a, is an idiot. All those who can refute me, they don't call me and don't, don't let me call them. The question why? I mean, isn't it a great opportunity to talk to someone he claimed that Islam is a joke and you destroy his claim? Isn't it a great opportunity to show them life on air that this guy is not sharing the truth? So how come they are so good as they claim? You know, most of them he's making a video exposing Christian Prince. You know, you see that the funny about uh, uh, videos, uh, even some videos make, made by Christians, like this guy destroyed this guy, and this guy he destroyed that guy, and this guy, I and mean, this is very silly. Yeah, hold on, you know, don't, you're not destroying me. And I'm not destroying you. The challenge here is about your book. 
It's not about me and you. So because they are silly, they make it personal. This is why they make fun of the person, etc. Who, who care about you? Who care about me? I'm not a prophet. You can say whatever you want about me. The question is, can Muhammad and the Quran and Islam stand? Little questions. In the front of me, there's an article. And the title, as you see, the Quran, the title of the website, Quran and Challengeable Miracle. Creation in three is darkness. Okay, well, this is in the Quran, brother. Okay. Creation in three darkness. Okay, what is that? Let us see. It is he who created you in the womb of your mother in stages. One after other in three darkness. And here we go, the three darkness. The Muslim, they found a solution for this, brother. This is the first darkness. This is the second darkness. And this is the third darkness. Is that what your prophet said, really? Is that what the Quran is saying? Just to show you how easy to get them busted with their lies. The first question you ask yourself, who understand what the Quran is saying better? Abdul in YouTube or the Prophet of Islam? Any Muslim can help us? Who can understand what this verse mean? Abdul in YouTube or the Prophet of Allah? Any Muslim can help us? Because, you know, we are not sure anymore that Muslim, they follow who? The Muslim, they follow Zakir Naik or they follow Muhammad. So the question, why Zakir Naik, he says something and Muhammad, he says something else. So if we try to investigate this verse, and you will notice, by the way, that the Muslim, when they quote a verse, always you will notice this. There's a three dots. Why? Okay, why you put the three dots? Why? Why you don't uh, quote the whole verse for us? What is the secret? And then there's three dots after the quote. That's it, because this is the only point he want. He don't want you to show. He don't want to show you the stupidity, the rest of the stupidity. He, he want to play with this. Okay, three darkness. Here we go. We have three darkness for you. Okay, and now we go here, and this is the abdominal wall and the uterine wall, and this is the amun. Uh, I don't know how you have to read them to be honest with you. But if you go and you see how Muhammad explained the verse, or even the scholars of Islam, you will see none of them, he say what they are saying. Let us go to the Hadith. And then we will see if the Muslim is saying the truth or not. Okay, we found the three stages. The three stages the Muhammadan they are saying is a fraud. This is the three stages in the Quran, read carefully. The messenger of Allah, the truthful, the receiver of the truth. Look, look at all of this. All of this happened to Muhammad. I mean, he is the receiver. I mean, look, come on, everybody needs this receiver. Even if you have an uh, internet, you need a modem. This is a receiver. You need, a, uh, you have satellite. You need a receiver. Muhammad is the receiver. He receive what? He receive the truth. Let us see the truth. Uh, he informed us, saying. The creation of a human is gathered in the form of semen in the uh, in the womb of the, your mother for 40 days. This is the first darkness. <laughs> Let us go to the website of the Muslims back. Just to compare between what Muhammad is saying. Huh? You see, you see the stupidity? They fabricate. This is why Islam is invalid the most stupid cult.
they think by lying and fabricate meaning is not there people will believe it well why Allah don't say those three stages like name them as they are why Allah he say three darkness what the three darkness and by the way even the word darkness is not you know I mean I mean if you want to take it correctly there's no absolute darkness inside the human being this is why x-ray can go through the body which means always there is a ray going through your body are, are you listening so the word darkness is in, is kind of you know if one take it in a scientific way it's not really true however how the muslim they come to this conclusion that this verse is speaking about those three things when their prophet saying something totally the opposite Let us close some pages. Too many hadith in my screen. So, the first lie Muhammad he said, which is proven that Muhammad is a fraud, that you are gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days in your mother Billy. You see here it says the word womb. In Arabic it says, fi batni ummihi. Button mean the Billy. Usually we use it for stomach too, but it can be just a uh, uh, double billy, you know. Any Muslim? See how easy to conquer the lies. See how easy to expose the stupidity. I mean, why? why and uh, okay, what is the second darkness for stages? And then he became a clinging thing for the same period. And then he became a lump of a flesh. That's it. This is how the human being is created. Well, according to science, human the semen cannot live more than five days. Secondly, what do you mean we are gathered in the form of a semen? How many semen a human being is? According to science, it's one will fertilize the egg. Maybe we should disable the chat for some time so you guys you can invite your friends because instead of inviting your friends you are busy chatting. There's only one thing I say Muslims are better than Christians when it's come to support their lies they do everything. Christians are very relaxed people. It doesn't matter really how many lies Muslims they say and it doesn't matter how many Christians they lie to them and deceive them. Christians, they are very relaxed. They want to come here just to laugh at Islam and to, to have fun. Then after we finish the podcast, nobody share the video. And then we stay away for two days, three days, and then the view is 17,000. If I was a Muslim, I would have 170,000. But anyway... I don't depend on Christians in what I do. I depend on myself and the truth, which is my Lord. So myself, I trust the Lord that people will watch and people will see and people will learn. And let us say from 17,000 fake Christians, maybe there's seven true Christians. I care for those. And the Lord, he care for them. Time will come, and many they will say to me, Lord, Lord, God, God. I will say to them, depart from me, I do not know you. But you Muslims are the first one to be denied. Because look what happened to you by following the Satan Muhammad. Not only you are following a false prophet, which is proven to you in your own translation, in your own website, in your own prophet words. In the top of that, you fabricate miracles in order to fool others, which means you now became officially a certified false prophet too. Because you are lying to people about what the Quran is saying. While your prophet is saying something, you claim something else. All of this for the purpose of what? To deceive. Otherwise, you tell me why you are lying. Give me one reason why they are saying what they are saying in the screen. Why they are not quoting what their prophet saying. 
to explain what the Quran is saying. How suddenly Muhammad's statement is not the one can explain the Quran, it is Ab Abdul, any Abdul. When I say stupid, he is amazing. I, I have many reasons to say that. The funny, there is a Muslim in the, in the, in the comment section in previous videos, you know, he, uh, he said, uh, Christianity is a joke. Okay, why, my friend, Christianity is a joke? You Quran saying that Jesus, he can resurrect people from death. Do you know what Christianity means? Do you know what Christianity means? You don't know. The second you say Christianity is a joke, you are making fun of Christ. Because this is his name. Secondly, let us see who is the joke. Is that a joke in front of you or not? Suddenly Muhammad became Dr. Muhammad and he knew how you are created. And now he make for you a statement that you are created in three darkness. The first darkness, you are gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days. What else? What about? Look here, Muhammad is not sure from the numbers, so he have to be honest with you. Like, uh, there's an uh, error margin the prophet said, when a drop of semen, drop of semen, drop of semen, no problem. Remain in the womb for 40 or 45 nights. Look, Muhammad, how honest he is, my brother. 40, 45, they bend in Airbnb. You know, maybe they are like not available for rent for 40, you know, they're, they're like, you have to take it 45, you know. They will say, we want to rent you 40, you have to rent 35. 40, 45, the word. Is that an authentic hadith? Yes, this is Sahih Muslim. So why you don't quote your prophet saying those statement? Is that because your prophet statement is embarrassment to you? You are trying to make Islam scientifically, you know, fit, but Islam is an fit for anything i mean this guy is an idiot talking somebody shut him up somebody turn off his microphone because the more he talk the more he make islam look like a joke is that your prophet explaining the three darkness and how the baby is created or we cannot count muhammad explanation because he's an idiot Any Muslim can tell us why you Muslims are making your own fabrication interpretation for the Quran when you are a prophet he explained those things hundreds if not thousands of times. Right? Uh, we have a Muslim here, you know, the funny that Muslim, they, they use uh, uh, Christian names, but it's okay. I mean, they, they, are, they are following a fake prophet, so they claim to be, they use a Christian names because they are fake, like their prophet. Look what this guy, he said. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, Simon Muhammad, for making such a statement. But, you know, sadly, you will become famous and everybody will laugh at you in a second. I'm kind of inclined to laugh at you, CP, for the belief of Augustine Christianity. <laughs> but I know you, I know you better. I think you make notice Christianity because you show the way your religion respect. Ah, so like if uh, if we respect you, uh, I don't know what does that mean, religion respect. Uh, maybe I should not call you an idiot. Fool, maybe? Okay, I will not use the word idiot. Just to show you how stupid you are. When somebody says to us, the Christianity of Augustine, 
then why your stupid prophet he take an oath in our book? Why your prophet in his book he keep calling us the people of the book, you idiot? Why your prophet never use the word Augustine? I will give you a solution for this brother. Your prophet was a certified donkey he do not know about Augustine, but you do. Look, your prophet never say the word Augustine. I wish, brother, that you were exist in the six, 600 years after Jesus. To tell the stupid Muhammad, you idiot, shouldn't you say that this is a Christianity of Augustine? And the stupid you, don't you know that the Quran says that those who they are Christians and those who they are Jews, they will go to heaven? So how 600 years after, and they are following the Christianity of Augustine, as you said, but the Quran says we will go to heaven. Are you there? Are you there, Simon, the Muhammadan? Do you want to answer? You see, the Muslim, they attack Paul. There is verses in the Quran about Paul. You remember Mimi Hijab, he says to me, you said, you said, this is Paul? You said, this is Paul? You said in the Quran, it says Paul, where it says Paul? Here you see the hypocrisy of this religion. When they want, it was made to appear to Alexander the Great that the sun set in murky water, but there is no word appear. And when they want, they say, where is the word Paul? When the tafsir. Hey, Simon, I don't need your support, my friend. Uh, please leave the chat, because I have no place for idiots. Your comment is proving to me that you are an idiot and you are seeking attention. Take care. If you are a Muslim, I will keep you in the chat. But look like you are not, you're an idiot. Do we have any Muslim to explain to us? How the Quran is a book nobody can challenge, and we are here to challenge. Who is willing to call me in Skype? Let me open my Skype. And see if we can get an opportunity of a Muslim. He can make the title of this website true. That nobody can challenge the Quran. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like my Skype is open right now? If you are interested. By the way, we uh, uh, we receive a translation from my book Deception and Allah in the Persian language, which means those people in Afghanistan they can read it too, and that is very good news. Uh, but we are checking it to be sure it's there is no, uh, I mean everything is correct as uh, we give it to somebody who's an ex-Muslim from Iran uh, to read it and to confirm that everything is fine, all right? And then when we do that, when we have a confirmation, we will post it for free, you know? For free. We have Mr. Uh, okay, let us see. It look like he have no internet. No. Wow. 
Do we have any Muslim would like to contact us? Prove us wrong? Anyone? Let us see this person here. This is from yesterday. he would answer yeah it says call declined so why they are texting me do we have any Muslim would like to call us and show us that nobody can challenge the Quran anyone Alright, well, it looks like we don't have any for now. Uh, but if you feel like, you know, you can call us, please feel free, just text me. And I will be... What about my new channel? My friend, you guys are not encouraging me to open a new channel. You see, I mean, look, you know, don't you see? Like even now today, you know, I said, look, you know what? Maybe the majority don't deserve you to go live, but there is a few still those are worthy. So I came for the free, the, the few, not for the majority. This is how I feel. You will see a Muslim kid making a video, a kid. He will have 200,000 view. Why? Because Muslim, they share, Muslim, they work for their cult Christians they just most of them here they are coming just to laugh how stupid Muhammad is they are just seeking entertainment they are not seeking knowledge do we have any Muslim want to prove us wrong that what they are saying in those websites is true. They are Zakir Naik. Well, how come the Muslims each time uh, science discover something, the Muslims they discover it in the Quran, which means why you don't discover it before they discover it? Zakir Naik, he have an answer. For sure Zakir Naik have an answer. So why? Why you Muslim don't discover things unless it's discovered already? I mean, why you don't? Why the Quran don't say it before somebody else say it? How come you don't notice that this is what it is until science uh, discover it, as you claim? You know. Quran says in Surah Shura, chapter number forty-two, verse number twenty-nine, that it's Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who has created the creatures in the heaven and the earth and has placed creatures in them. So Quran says there is life besides this earth. Today science hasn't proved there is life besides this earth. Scientists say there are high possibilities that life will be there besides this earth. You see here how they lie about their Quran translation. The verse he is saying, is quoting, doesn't say there's a life beside this earth. He's saying there's Dabba. Dabba. Dabba is an animal. This is the chapter he is quoting. Read with me carefully. Did you see anywhere it says there is a side beside the earth, there is a life beside the earth? No. It says among his sign is the creation of the heaven and the earth. And all living beings he dispersed through both. Where is where is, is don't you Muslim believe? that Allah he have their angels 
Don't you Muslim believe that Allah he sent his donkey, al buraq to Muhammad from the sky? Don't you Muslim believe that Allah have a dog? So this is the life beside the earth, that God have a donkey in heaven and he have a dog in heaven? This is what scientists are searching for? Isn't it Muhammad, he said to his cousin in the chapter of an najm why you don't believe in the God of the Najm, which means the star? He said, I don't believe in the God of the star. So Allah, he sent his dog to eat him. Who want to challenge me to prove that to be what Muhammad said? So here, the guy, he asking him, how come you cannot find something you know, to be discovered before the scientists discovered, and most of them they are either Christians or Jews or even Hindus, whatever. How come the science of Islam suddenly disappear after science appear? So Zakarnaik here is giving you like a, a game. Okay, you know the Quran says there's other creatures, but this is this is stupid, silly because the Quran tell us already, and Muhammad told us what are they, those creatures. Here you see how easy to debunk, I don't want to use even the word debunk, I mean this is silly, what debunk? To show them how stupid on their claim and how false their claim is. And actually I just received Quran and science in Albanian. <coughs> language so soon we will publish it that's mean we have deception of Allah in Albanian and Quran and science in Albanian very, very wonderful I want to say special thanks for those who they are translating the books and they are doing that for free you know those are special people I don't know them you didn't know me I don't even know their names and I don't want to know their names it is the Lord who knows their names because of their work, hundreds of millions, they will receive those books for free. And nobody can stop those books from flying around. Albania, soon we will publish the book to, you know, in Persian. Uh, somebody, you know, working in the Chinese uh, translation. Uh, we need somebody to do Korean, I don't know if somebody can volunteer, but it doesn't look like it. Korean people are busy. But it's wonderful. What is the verse in the Quran that says you can eat in your house and if you're uh, uh, and your parents? Let us finish this and then we can go. I mean, this is not important now. You know, verse in the Quran. I mean, how even we can call such a thing a verse? You see, the Muslims when they make the Quran, did Muhammad give them verses? No. <laughs> So where this is verse coming from? Even that word is not Islamic. This is coming from the Bible. Everything they have is a theft. There's a chapter in the Quran. Did, Muhammad, did Allah give Muhammad a chapter like those we see now? No. Did he even give them like, like a whole thing by, you know, like the whole thing like this, you see it here? No. All right. We are waiting for any Muslim to confirm to us that we are wrong. You see, if Muhammad was lying in one thing, he is a liar in the rest. So if a Muslim, he is going to be honest for a second, and that is very hard to find. Otherwise, he have to leave Islam. And then he see what his prophet said. And this is, as you see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is Sahih Muslim, which means the most authentic books. And this is what Muhammad said. This is how the baby is created. Isn't it this is alone is enough for anyone? who is seeking the truth to know that Muhammad is a fraud. 
not only, you know, it's, it's, it's not what science is making Muhammad fraud, but this is like a basic knowledge these days. This is not even science. You know, the word science is very flexible, you know. Like, if science is the knowledge, then all of us we are scientists because we have certain knowledge, correct? If if science is uh, the let us say uh, the method to find out, well, all of us we have method to find out about things, you know, in life. However, when 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 things come to a very simple fact, everybody knows that is not even science anymore. This is something everybody. This is knowledge for everybody. The man sleep with the women, they have a baby. This is a knowledge since the beginning of time. They do not need to be scientists. But somehow this is part of the science. But Muhammad, he take knowledge to a different level. He claimed that he is the one who knows and nobody else knows. So he is providing to us knowledge which nobody have. This is not an average supposedly information. This is a high quality information. This is why they are saying to you that he is the receiver of the truth. He receive it from who? Receive it from Allah. This is why they are saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah pray on him and salute him. Muhammad is greater than Allah. To the point that God of Muhammad, he prays Muhammad and he salute Muhammad and he pray on Muhammad. And now the great Muhammad, he is telling us information which nobody knows. And now you need to ask yourself, why the Muslims, when they explain that verse about three stages of darkness, or how the baby is created, don't use this to prove their statement? Why none of them use it? I mean, who is the best to know what the Quran is saying except Muhammad? Why do they want to use it? Right? Any Muslim can explain to us why you don't want to use your prophet explanation for the Quran? What is the problem exactly? Do you think he is unqualified? Do you think he is dumb? He's silly, he's stupid. Do you think that Zakir Naik he knew what the verses mean? Or somebody, the one who made those articles, he knew better than Muhammad? Obviously you do. Otherwise, your prophet, he explained it. How it's made from blood clot. Yeah, the Quran says that, you know, the, you know, in the, it's actually, it says in front of you, you see. And the funny, according to Muhammad, every, every darkness period is 40 days. So the total of a human being creation is, is 120 days. And by the way, this is a contradiction for what he said in the Quran because in some hadith he make it four stages, in some hadith he make it three stages. So if you read here carefully, it says that you will, you will be gathered in the form of a semen in your mother belly for 40 days. And then it became a clinging, which means clinging blood for a similar period. This is another 40 days. And then he become a lump of a flesh for a similar period. Okay, what is the total? 40 plus 40 plus 40, 120 days. That's science. And you became a clinging thing, which is a congealed blood. You see here the translator, he said clinging thing, but this is not correct translation. If I copy the same hadith, hmm, I will copy three words and I will take it to the search engine in the Abdul website. Okay. This is the science of Muhammad. Do you see it?
Like this one is showing us too many hadith have nothing to do with our topic. Hold on, let us see. Do you see the science? Who is a person can oppose the science of the Prophet of Allah? Any Muslim? In fact, all of them, they oppose it. And the proof of that, none of, not even a single Muslim website is speaking about the biology according to the Quran, use the interpretation or the explanation of their Prophet to explain the verses. You know what I mean? If they are not against what Muhammad is saying, if they are truly believers in what Muhammad he brought to them, which is the Quran, then they should take what Muhammad said to them about the Quran. But they don't do that. They make their own article and they fabricate their own interpretation. And they hide all the statement of Muhammad because it is embarrassment. Any Muslim? Any Abdul? You notice this is the same hadith, but the translation here is different. Look here, it's more clear that this is a congealed dead blood. Then he become a clot of thick blood. Do you see it? In the previous translation, they tried to avoid using that word because this is again an embarrassment. Reply to self uh, in YouTube. What does that mean? We do not need to reply to anyone unless he contact us. Did he contact me? Here we go. My Skype is open. Don't come here and tell me reply to this guy and to this guy. All of them are kids. And that they prove that they are men or enough to be considered men to call me. Oh, well, we have our friend Bilal. He is back online and he is just texting me. That's wonderful. Let us see Mr. Bilal. He's a nice guy, Bilal. I, I like this guy. You know, at least he is not, uh, you know, like the rest. Let us see what Bilal want to say. <coughs> Hello? Oh, let me... Uh... Yeah, it's okay. Turn off your camera, please. Guys, guys, go to the room. Guys, go to the room. All right, Mr. Bilal, you are with us? He's taking the kids away. Guys, go to the room, please. Okay, hold on. The Christian Prince, the, the kids, yeah. The... It's all right, it's all right, my friend. I understand. No problem. Go to the room, guys. Go to the room. Just tell them Teddy Bear is outside and they will leave. I think there's a little bit of a delay, but uh, go ahead, Christian Prince, explain to me what the topic is uh, for today and uh, what's the issue. All right. Well, you know, uh, we have tons of websites, as you know, Mr. Bilal, and those websites, they keep saying that Quran is unchangeable, like nobody can challenge the, the, the Quran. And it's talking about scientific miracles. Do you really believe in those things or this is, a, you know, some Muslim lying about science and the Quran? 
If you can mute YouTube, please. Mute. Uh, uh, yes, I do believe there are uh, uh, Quranic verses that are miracles that were. Okay. Sorry. Can you mute YouTube because I have two sound coming. So you have YouTube on. Mute YouTube. Keep it running if you want, so you can see the screen with me. But uh, but mute YouTube, and hear me only from Skype. Yeah, the problem is I'm using my phone and I'm I'm putting it on my Chromecast TV, which uh, yeah, can... it's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, but can't you mute YouTube? Mute, mute YouTube. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. How do I? Let's see. How do I... Okay. What I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna just right. shut off the. All right. Okay. Because I'm not able to see the screen at no the problem. same time. No problem. You know, oh, I'm okay. not able to see the screen at the same time. All right. No problem. Okay. Let him set up his stuff, and you will work with us. So uh, we heard Mr. Bilal saying uh, that he believed that there is some scientific miracle in the Quran. So we can't wait until he come back to us and tell us where we can find those things. But before he call us, how many of you think that Mr. Bilal is right? How many Muslims here, they accept what Mr. Bilal said? That there is some science in the Quran. If you are a Muslim and you agree, give us one please. If you are a Muslim, And you agree? Give us one that there is some science in the Quran, as Mr. Bilal he said. No Muslims here. What? What happened? Where are the Muslims? Okay, let's do this. Do you think that Mr. Bilal, he will be able to prove anything really to be scientific in the Quran? Anything, not even one. I mean, can he prove one thing to be accurate? Because now when he come back, you know, we will ask him to show us those things. Bilal is calling. Hi, is this better? Yeah, that's good. So, Bilal, go ahead, my friend. You know, what is the science of the Quran? Not any, I'm not seeing anything in front of me, just to let you know. No uh, problem. I, if I want to share something with you, I will post it for you in, in Skype. No problem. Okay, and also, I would like to mention to the people that are watching, I am not a scholar of Islam. Okay. I am... Uh, I am a regular Muslim, but I do believe wholeheartedly that Islam is the truth. Okay. And and so I just want to make I just want the people to know that I am not a scholar, no and I have not studied anything before even coming on this. Uh, uh, like I mean, like for this topic, I have not studied. I I just like talking to Christian Prince. I like to see his uh, his point of view, and uh, we'll take it from there. Go ahead, Christian Prince. No, no, actually, I want to listen to you because you said you believe there is some science yeah. in the Quran. So tell us something. Choose, All right, so choose the most the, choose the most strong one, Bilal, please. The strong one, okay. like something you can you, you think there's nobody can refute this one. Okay, I'm also not a scientist, but I I, I do believe that 1400 years ago they did not have the technology that uh, we have today. Okay. Uh, so for the things that the Prophet said mentioned in the Quran, for example, um, the mountains, right? The mountains being pegged to the ground. So the mountain okay. is not it's, it's not only that mountain that you see like. Um, like we can see, but underneath that mountain, there's also like a mini mountain that is pegged to the ground. That's something that I don't believe the prophet would have known mm. unless it was uh, God, uh, you know, sent to him. Mm. King. So, 
Okay. Can you deep? Can you debunk that or? No problem. No, sure I can. No, come on, this is very hard for me. Bilal. Uh, Bilal, let me ask you, is the mountains yeah. coming from inside the earth or somebody placed it in the top of the earth? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm asking you because you are the one who mentioned science now because, you know, I mean, you do not know much about uh, uh, you no, are the I one. Go to a scientist, but what I see from the mountain, I see it there. Like I, when we see it there, right? But, yeah, but if I lived a hundred years and I just keep looking at the mountain, I will say, "Wow, that's the mountain. I can see the top of it." Just like the house, right? You see the house, yeah, but, but you don't see the base. But you mentioned that the mountain is made like, uh, like, uh, like nails in the ground, right? Yes, like pegs. Oh, okay, uh, so is that scientific? Is that how the that, mountains that... are created, really? That is scientific, yes. Okay. Based on what? Because according to your Quran, Allah, yeah. he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Is that correct? And and also he, uh, their peg, it's also mentioned in the Quran as no well. No problem, but, but according to the Quran, the mountains is not part of the earth. Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Yes or no? Uh, I do not know that exact verse. I would have to read it again. If you can bring it up, it would be nice. No problem. Chapter 16, verse number 15. Yeah. Can you put it on my screen, please? Because I'm not sure. Here. I will give you the link. You want me to give okay. you the, and the link in, in Skype? I guess so, yeah. Go All ahead. right. Okay. Here we go. Open the link from your side, please. And as you see, this is your translation, so you can change translation as you wish. <clears throat> Arabic, Arabic English would be nice, yeah. Yeah, well, you speak Arabic, which is good. It okay, says, uh, What Alqa mean? Okay. What Alqa mean? He put, he put. Alqa mean he thrown. Well, Alqa, he thrown, okay. Throw. So he throw huh? something throw something the top of the earth, and that is mountains. Is that what science mm -hmm. says? Is is the mountain something we throw on the top of it? No, but he's he's into the earth firm mountain, so it does not shake with you as well as rivers and pathway okay okay the, for the rest of the the place but how he how he placed it how he pr placed them though uh christian prince hmm. you cannot tell me exactly how he placed them hmm. you can only because you weren't there when he placed them correct yeah but what science says that the mountains is not something it placed in the top of the earth they are coming from inside the earth so when there is either a volcano and the volcano will make the magma go out. That will make a mountain. Or there is there is a mountains. They are uh, uh, like exist because the tectonic plates. They are a pressure between two yes. tectonic plates, and that will raise the ground. According to the Quran, is the opposite. According to the Quran, mm -hmm. the earth is a flat, and Allah He placed the mountains in the top of it, so the earth will not shake. But according to science, areas with mountains is the most shaky place. As an example. Japan, they have an average of a thousand, thousand five hundred, even more sometime, earthquake, yeah. and it's an yeah. island of mountains. And why they have mountains actually? Because there is uh, this uh, the, the ground there is not stable. So mountains is not to stop the earth from shaking. Mountains are exist there because the earth is shaking. Mm -hmm. And the mountains are coming from the ground inside out, not outside in. And you study okay. that in school, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. So how the Quran teaching you something very false, according, uh, you know, uh, maybe elementary so, school knowledge. Like, like I mentioned, Christian Prince, I do not know how he placed them. <laughs> Doesn't matter how he placed them, but this is not what uh, happened. You see, he placed them. He placed them. I mean, he, uh, the, what we what we uh, me and you agree on that he placed like, them. You know, Okay, uh, uh, yeah. Bilal, do we agree that he placed the mountains at the top of the earth? He placed, correct? He placed yes. it. Okay, so yeah. that means there was no mountains. Allah, he mm -hmm. created the earth, and then Allah, he made mountains, and then he put it in the top of the earth, correct? Uh, put it on top of the earth? Yes. Yeah. How, how he did it? Yes, yes. Oh, there, was, there was mountains on the earth. I don't know. Uh, how, uh, how he did it? It's not the question. The question yeah. is, the question is, how he says such a statement that he placed mountains in the top of the earth when yes. all of us we know and you just agree with me that mountains is coming from inside actually uh, uh, scientists today they try to fight the christianity even islam by saying well you know if you want to know the age of uh, uh, the earth is study the age of the mountain 
Why? Mm -hmm. They say like the, the mountain of Himalaya increase an average of whatever centimeter a year, you know? And they say, mm -hmm. we can measure how many centimeter or millimeter, whatever, and then we will find how many years was the age of this mountain. That's what they say. That is what they mm -hmm. call it science. So when, the, mm -hmm. when I asked you about science, you said, okay, I will give you this one. But this one again, proving that Islam is false because mountains is not something placed in the top of the earth. Mountains is part of the earth, actually is coming from deep inside the earth. As an example, okay. mountain of of, uh, of a volcano. Fair, fair, fair enough, Christian Prince. So okay. can you tell me how this earth, from your Christian perspective, how this earth uh, came about? Well, you know, the Bible doesn't give us details much, except that God, he created the earth, God created the heaven. It doesn't say too much about it to tell you what, you know, because this is not really important for me. And the Bible is not a book of science anyway. I mean, if God want to create, uh, if you know, when a, when a guy, he uh, studied to be an eye specialist, just to study the eye, he study, he study 60, 80 books just to study the eye. So if God want to tell us how he created the eye and how the eye function, he need to write for us 60, 80 books at least. So we understand the eye, right? But the Bible is not a book to, uh, uh, to understand the eye, is to understand God. So here, your God, he is voluntarily jumping into knowledge, which is supposed yeah. to nobody knows, and this knowledge is false. Okay, like I mentioned, I do, I do not know how he placed them, how he created. And you said you, as a Christian, you don't under, you don't know how he created it. So I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna move to another topic because okay. we don't know how the Earth was created. Okay, give me another one. Okay, um, so uh, you mentioned, and this one you can, and this one you can tell me from the Quran as well, and also from science. You, you, because I seen you talking about this one, and I'll let you speak about it here. Hmm give you the floor about the the, the child being uh, in the womb of the of the you know the steps a child yeah. is made in the stomach can you explain to me what's wrong with the the Quran in in that okay aspect? well if we go on let us see first uh, verses speaking about yeah. that you know and yeah. then we will we will understand better and for sure you know you I think you agree with me Bilal that's the best one to explain those verses is your prophet correct not a guy in YouTube or, uh, Z or Zachary Quran, Naik. I would love the, I would love the Quran because we're not Arabic we're not really uh, Arab um, I would I, I would I wouldn't consider you or myself Arab uh, experts like in the Arabic language especially in that time um, why not be, because uh, yeah and if you look at Sibue and like some real Arabic scholars you know it, it would be probably <laughs> More. My friend, my friend, let me, let me, let me my, my friend, Avila. you see, there is always in certain time, people who they are, they spend their life studying something. Yes. Right. Okay. That make them experts. So I'm not going to compare myself by that person, but doesn't make me that a person I do not know what Arabic is. Right. So he might, he might be a person who is able to create a, a grammar rule, new grammar rule, you know, because he's smart, he's, a, he's studying in this for long. So you yeah. know that the one who fixed the Arabic language is not even an Arab. Mm -hmm. Correct? That's right. Okay, the Arabic language was horribly hard to understand, horribly hard to have a grammar for it. It's a horrible mm -hmm. language when it's come to grammar and how to, to make it work. Then a person who have nothing to do with the Arab, he just learned mm -hmm. Arabic, he is so smart, he said to the dumb Arab, stupid Arab, let me fix your language, and he did. And until now, you are going by his rules. Yes. Okay. So, mm -hmm. the excuse of not being scholar in Arabic, that's not an excuse, because Allah supposedly speaking to every human being in that mm -hmm. book, correct? No, I mean, like, the tra like, like when, you, when you're, in, um, you're translating it to English, and also... Uh, the hadith itself, you know, like what, like I like to stick with your Bible and my Quran. If we can stick to those two, it would be very nice. You know, we can stick to any uh, uh, anything you want, but the question is, uh, because who, who is are you, are you trying, my friend, to do avoid what Muhammad said because it's embarrassment? No, I'm maybe not to avoid. I'm not an expert in them. That's what I'm trying to tell no, you. No, no. Okay, uh, how you how suddenly you, you just say the Quran language is hard, but Muhammad language is not, is harder. 
So you can understand no, the Quran. You can understand the Quran, what it's saying, but you don't. But you cannot understand what your prophet saying. Explain the verse. No. First of all, when it comes to Sahih, not Sahih, those kind of things, you. Are, I don't know if you're. We, we, will, we will use only Sahih. Are you a muhaddith? My friend, I am not a Muslim at all. This is my friend. Are, are you a muhaddith? No, 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 no. I will use. I will use your scholar saying this is Sahih. The scholars. No, 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 no. The scholars. No, no, no. I, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, if we stick to the Quran, at least I can. You will. You will hold more weight, Christian Prince, because the Quran is like everyone, every Muslim that friend, is watching this. Okay, you as a Muslim, how you learned how to pray? Of course, like I mentioned, we do have hadith that we do follow. Okay. Very. But very how well then? How come when you want you follow the hadith, and when no, you well, want you don't follow the hadith? There, there are hadith that are uh, that are like universally accepted all across and prayer okay. is one of what them. if i do this i will use only what is universally accepted is that okay see i don't know which one is universally accepted because you're not a muhaddith and i'm not my a friend i am not the one who will say that it's you muslim who will say this is very authentic okay can you just prove me wrong with the quran like i i don't know what's the problem it's, okay it's, it's every muslim here watching this you might have a sunni you might have a shi watching this the, the hadith that you bring bukhari muslim no the Shia. no problem no yeah. problem let us go first to the quran and then and, and obviously you know i can tell bilal that you are terrified if i show you what your prophet said because it's, it's terrifying <laughs> it's i understand now i want you to read for me this is a chapter 23 i like it i like it when a muslim he laugh about what i say <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, by the way, I, 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 like I said many times in the front of uh, people, I like this person. Bilal is a nice guy, you know, so you are always welcome to call me. So, okay. Bilal, Bilal, listen I, to this. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Can you read it for us? Open the link. Okay, you just sent it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to read it here. Yeah. Chapter 23, verse uh, 20, 14. Yes. Okay. Okay, it says here. Uh, I'm going to read it in English. Okay. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Mm, congealed blood. Yeah. Congealed blood. Sorry. Mm. Then of that clot, we made a lump, okay. a fetus, okay. or a lump. All right. Then we made out of that lump bones mm. and clothed the bones with flesh. Then we developed out of it another creature. So blessed be Allah, the best of uh, the best to create. All right. Okay. So, do you find any mistake, or I should help you? You should help me, please. Okay. What is the first stage according to the Quran verse here? It says uh, the sperm, right? It says uh, sperm. Okay. And the sperm will become what? The uh, comes into like a little clot. Is that what science teach? Uh, I don't know what the science teach, uh, Christian Prince. The sperm itself. I mean, come on, you know, Bilal, uh, what, what is your education? With my respect no, no, to you, no, Christian Prince, seriously, like I do not know how the baby is formed in the in the stomach. I really don't know. Okay, um, did you 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 you've been in school, right? I know that the sperm goes into the 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 woman's part, and then it goes into the egg, right? It fertilizes the egg. Correct. And then the egg. Uh, yeah, that, after that, I really don't know what happens. Okay, so it's not the sperm will be transformed into blood. You just you just answer yourself. You just say the sperm go to the egg, and then the egg. What will happen? The egg will start uh, like you know multiply cells. Correct. Uh, the egg multiplies. Yes. Okay. The eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So. The first part of the verse is absolutely false because it is not the sperm who will transform into anything. The sperm will deliver the DNA message and yes. will fertilize, which means activate the egg. That's it. And then the sperm demolish. That's it. The sperm is not going to be a baby. According to Quran, no, the sperm... Can I, can, I, can I just jump in one sec? Sure. Uh, but what, what is that? Uh, like here it's mentioned, right? The, the sperm into a clot, right? So... After the uh, the egg is fertilized hmm. by the sperm, hmm. um, it, it it does turn into like a little a small a small clot, doesn't it? No, it, it doesn't. No, because first of here, this is a clot of a congealed blood. Congealed blood means dead blood. 
Then what's a fetus then? What, what is a fetus? Did you see the word fetus here? This is you, Muslim, putting, putting things in the Quran. It's not there. This is not in the Quran. This is what I said. Then of that cloud, we made a like a lump. A lump is a fetus. Exactly, but this is the, because, but this is the third stage. So the first stage is a sperm. Yeah. Then the second stage is a dead blood, as you see, correct? Yeah. All right. And then the third stage is a piece of hard meat, lump. Mm -hmm. Okay, but okay. Not a single person in the world accept that the baby stages is like that, because congealed blood is not in any stage of the baby creation. And look what your prophet is saying, or his God saying, that it is the sperm who became, it is the blood, which it is the dead blood, and then that it is blood, which is dead blood, become a lump. So what he is saying that the same object is changing but it says alaqatan here though in Arabic. It says that's not blood. No, no, I've opened the dictionary. Alaqa is alaqatuddam. Wumma khalaqna nutfa nutfata alaqatan. Alaqatan is like a claw. It's like a, it's like a little uh... My friend, you are an Arab who live in Saudi Arabia, but your Arabic is not good. ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة فخلقنا العلقة مضغة فخلقنا المضغة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما correct yeah okay فخلقنا العلقة العلقة is the congealed dead blood علقة الدم أي ما تخثر من الدم على الجلد and this is why your Islamic translation is saying the word congealed blood which means dead blood if there's I... no dead no there's no dead here though brother no, there is. This is the blood. This is the alaqa, the word alaqa. This why the okay. Did you ask yourself, okay, why this guy, why this guy is saying congeal the blood? Why he's adding the word blood? Is he a Muslim lying? He's lie as a liar? I don't know, but I know a dem, dem is blood. Everybody knows if any viewer is watching, dem means blood. Alaqa does not mean blood. My friend, alaqa is alaqa to dem. Alaqa, alaqa, alaqa is a name. Alaqa is a name for a blood which is not a liquid no more. This is what alaqa is. And we can open the dictionary right now. And we can open the interpretation for you. Shall we open interpretation? Okay, here here it says in the English the dictionary it says leech. You know, but I don't know. Obviously, it's not no, a leech. No, right? no. The congealed the blood is not a leech. Alaqa is, you know, I can show it to you. What about we open the interpretation? Why we don't do that? No, just make a dictionary. Alaqa, then what is it? Alaqa is khathar al dam. You know, the, 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 the blood, when it is dead, it became solid. Let us see, hold on. Yeah, so, yeah, you can show the viewers that. No, I will show you too, my friend. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I want you to open with me. Here we go. This is the dictionary. I will give you the link. I will put it in the screen, but I will give it to you first. And as long, and you know, I'm very glad that you speak Arabic because that will make things a lot easier for me. So, read me, read me carefully, carefully with me. It says, Alaqa, qita'atun min ad dami ghalidun jamid, wa hiya tawru min atwari taqwin al janin. According to the Quran. And right oh, away, yeah. and right away, he quote for you the verse of the Quran. After it, you see it. It is. Yeah, but uh, it is a piece of a thick blood, which is solid, not liquid, and it is a stage of the baby. And he quote for you the verse from the Quran. Hey, but you said dead, right? Blood that's like dead. Right? My friend, does it say the min jamid? Yes. Jamid. No, it's a, okay. What jamid mean? What jamid mean in mean, English? Like, uh, like a like a like like hard okay like so, solid jam. solid right solid, solid, yeah. ah, solid. that happened when the blood is dead okay okay so you said uh, show me the, uh, the dictionary this is the dictionary and you said to me where is the word blood here we go exactly according to the quran this is why he's quoting for you the quran so according to the quran 
it is a stage of uh, creation oh, this of is the baby. This is a, you're, this, you're showing me this is a, this is a translation, right? No, no, no. I'm showing you the Arabic. I gave you the link in Arabic. Yeah, this is the Arabic. There's no, there's no eye on the Quran here. It's just saying. Well, he no, no. It shows. Be... No, read, read carefully. Is al alaq is musura min al Quran al Karim, wa hiya surah raqam, etc. No, that's another. That's al alaq. That's al alaq. That's another. That's another name. It's my shown. my friend, another... he is mentioning to you to prove what it is that this is mentioned in the Quran and this is what it's uh, mean. Okay. Christian Prince, I, I read Arabic. I understand. It's saying here is giving you all the different uh, Allah. No, it's giving you Allah. no, no. They are giving you a different pronunciation of Allah. This one is not Allah. This one is al -ulaq. This one is Allah. This is a different one. This is a different one. This is a different one, my friend. This is a different one. This is a different one. This is a different one. Those are words are closed. This website is Maani. This has nothing to do with the Quran. This no. website is Maani. My friend, it have to do with the Quran. You, isn't you who asked me for dictionary? Yeah, and, okay. And, 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 what a dictionary? Okay, what is the first word saying for the dictionary? Dictionary alaqa. What it says? It is qita'a min damin ghalidin jamid. Do you agree? Does it say that, or I'm making things up? Yeah. But it also continue though. It says wahiya tawr min atwar taqwin al jinin. Exactly, and this it is one of the stages of the baby. So just to, to become a, a a child or become. A, okay, but this a, is but this is according to the Quran. This is stupid. This is not true. So don't give me this, uh, uh, this, uh, this. Uh, don't give me this uh, website then, if that's the case. Give me the. Uh, uh, My friend, it's, it is you who asked me for dictionary, and this is a dictionary. <laughs> you're giving me a, dic a Quran dictionary. That's what you're giving me. This is Islamic dictionary. No, no, I don't want Islamic. I want a regular dictionary, man. Oh, this is. I mean, this, uh, all Islamic, all regular dictionary are Islamic dictionaries. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Bilal? <laughs> <laughs> all, all Bilal, Bilal, Bilal. Bilal. Okay, hold on, Bilal. Yes, all of them. You know who is, who is the writer? His name is Muhammad Abdul Batito. The other one, his name is Khair Barrever, etc. So it's Islamic dictionaries, and then, as you see, right away they insert the Quran. If I'm a Christian, oh. if I'm a Christian, I will not use the Quran to explain a word in Arabic. The last, the last thing I will do is the Quran. So this is an Islamic dictionary. Okay, you see, you remember I oh. said to you, uh, Bilal, I said to yes. you. Can okay. we can we go and see the interpretation of your scholars? Uh, do you see the interpretation? Yeah, if you if you would like, but I like I said, I would I would rather the viewers stick to the Quran and the Bible because when we get deep, there's too many viewers of Christian friends. No, no, it's, it's, it's not it's not the this is not the point. The point is as long as long you as long you this as long my friend listen. Bilal, Bilal. Regard as one hundred percent. Okay. Why can't you stick with that? Listen, it's the only book. No, because now, because now, my friend, because now, it is the only book. Because now we are trying to understand what the chapter is saying. No, no, it's 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 clear what it's saying. What, what's clear? Okay, okay, make it clear for me. Go ahead. Okay, it says we made sperm, hmm. and then uh, the uh, hmm. What is alaqa? Alaqa? Let us stop here. What is alaqa? Okay, uh, alaqa is uh, we said it's uh, like a um, it's it's uh, solid blood, solid blood. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Is that what then, science says? It doesn't stop here. Is that what science says? Uh, the, the 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 what is that solid blood though? I want to know what is that called? In uh, you, you, that a, you just told me it's your translation. <laughs> it's your translation. You told me it's a solid blood. I'm asking you, is that what science says? What 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 I what I told you first of all I told you that uh, first of all you didn't bring me like a pr proper translation but it's okay it's okay uh, you gave me alakatan alakan is like a clot and mm. and and we know that the fetus the fetus mm. is is a small clot mm. Mm. that's why when women have abortions these things come out of them they the when you have a woman has abortion a clots come out of them mm. like dead blood comes out of them. Ah, okay, but this is not what the verse is saying. The verse is saying that the sperm there's no there's no, there's no fetus yet. There's no fetus yet. It says the sperm became a clot. It's not nothing that is there's no bones. You see, even the Quran says uh, the last thing is the bones. Correct? Yeah. Okay, but this is not what you were talking about then. So uh, 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 this is this is the stage. You see, you're a prophet. He said that the stage is as the following, and this is why you're trying yourself, trying to avoid to talk about it because that will make it clear 
And obviously, you don't want it to be clear, Bilal, because it's embarrassment. Let's read what your prophet but, says, uh, Bilal, honestly, honestly. You know, isn't it you Muslims say, isn't it you Muslims say that Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim is the absolute books of hadith? No, it's not. It's, it's not, not? An absolute. Okay. No, it's not. It's not? It's not a... So why you call it Sahih? It's the Quran. What Sahih Mr. mean? What Sahih it's... mean? No, no, no. I'm talking about hadith. Is the... Sahih hadith is, it... is scholars in the past. Scholars in the past who, who? who have studied uh, hadith. Okay. And who have claimed for it to be Sahih from their ijtihad, from their... So, from it's, their, uh... so, so it is not Sahih? But uh, can I ask you a question? Are those guys... Uh -huh. Are those guys that studied, are they perfect? Is your prophet perfect? My prophet is not. Uh, what do you mean by perfect? Okay, uh, perfect I mean in giving the, the the message, like the the absolute, and he gave the Quran, which okay. is perfect. Okay, but, Quran is perfect. so are you saying to me that Quran, Islam is only Quran? Because hadith is not trustworthy, we no, cannot trust the hadith? I'm saying. I'm, saying that, I'm saying that we are not scholars. Well, I am reading the scholars' words. I'm, I'm reading your books, and this is what you teach. You know, you live in Saudi Arabia, and you know, like you go to the school five hours a day talking about Islam, and the last hour talking about sport. I mean, what are you talking about? There's no, there's no education in Saudi Arabia except Islam, 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 Islam. You know, and the question is very silly. What is the name and the, the 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 exam guys of the history? What is the name of the king, the founder of Saudi Arabia? I mean, everybody knows this question. You say it, you pass. I mean, come on. There's no education there except Islam. So I'm asking you now: Is Sahih al-Bukhari? Be honest with me. Is it the most accepted, authentic hadith of your prophet statements? Either you say yes or you say no. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, Sahih okay. Bukhari. It's okay. Is, it is the most accepted. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm showing you. I'm showing you the most accepted hadith. Okay. Okay. So Perfect. your prophet is saying, your prophet is saying that the creation. Re read me carefully, uh, my, my friend. Read me carefully. You should respect the, my wishes. Uh, that you stick with the Bible and the Quran. That's all I want to hear. But, I okay, do not but, but hear no, because, 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 because now we have we have to solve a problem, which is understanding what the verse meant. And who is better to explain the verse except your prophet? Not okay, me. So the, not me. Not back. me. Not me. And not go you. Ahead, go ahead. Are you saying you are higher than Muhammad to understand the verse? No. No. Okay, so you're a prophet explaining the verse, so why would I want to hear the prophet speaking? It's like you are saying to me, Bilal, that Muhammad trying to explain the verse to us, he's listening to us now, and he say, okay, let me explain to you. He say, no, 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 shut him up, I don't want to listen to him. But that's not right. No, so no. You're, okay, so you're a prophet, he explained the verse, and look what he said. He says, the creation of a human gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days. <laughs> Let me give you let me give you the link so you can open it from your side. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Okay. Also, Christian Prince, uh, not to get off topic, but do you ever look into like the good hadith or the hadith that are pretty sound of the Prophet, or you just look at the the ones that you claim like think they're negative or they're lying or my friend, uh, uh, you can tell me later any wish you want, anything you want about something positive, but no, no problem. But that will not change the fact that he's a liar then. Because I, you know, all prophets who lie, they try to yeah. present themselves as good people. You know, like, you know, the, the Bible says, Jesus said, be yeah. aware of false prophets who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So a person who is a false man, he will not come to you and say, I'm going to rape your wife, right? Mm -hmm. He will make himself like a friend. Then you open mm -hmm. the door for him, then you make coffee for him, then you trust him, and maybe one day you give him the keys because he is a closer friend. And then when you trusted him, he do the crime he is planning to do because he's evil. Correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay. okay. So if a man, he says something good, let us say, he said, okay, respect your mother. That's wonderful. Okay. That's great. But doesn't mean okay, he is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a good person. So, uh, here your prophet saying, the creation of you as a human is gathered in a form of a semen in, in the womb for a for new mother for 40 days. According to science, according, according to science, semen can live only for five days maximum inside the body of a woman. Mm -hmm. So, when Muhammad, he made such a statement, Speaking about the Quran, explain the Quran as you see the word alaqa, as you see the word mudra, 
You see, this is exactly the verse in the Quran. So, alaqa mudga nutfa. This is what the uh, Quran is saying. I apologize. That's wrong. Actually, in Arabic, inna ahadakum. Okay. Jamma alaqa fi button ummihi arbaid. Alaqa. It doesn't say semen here, brother. My friend. It says alaqa. Okay, no. You see, your Arabic is not good. In ahadakum yujma'u. Let, let me let me read for you. Let me read for you. Listen to me. In ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batni ummihi arba'ina yawman nutfa. So he not is for, okay. Nutfa is a semen. Hey, what? Is a drop of semen. So. But in what though? Like semen? Like what? In 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 the in the egg? No, like you are not, Allah is guarding you now just as a semen. That's what it says clearly. Allah He gather you as a semen, and this is what the real translation. Okay, let's say Christian Prince is not giving good translation because he have an agenda. What about you, Muslims? It's your translation. This your Muslim website. No, no, no. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Continue. Okay. That is that is the, correct. The, but, uh, the creation so of you. I, I want to ask you though, uh, Christian Prince. No, this is a serious question. I'm not joking here. Hmm. Um, so here it says Arbina Yoman, right? Okay. Uh, does that mean like just swimming around, or does that mean fertilizing the egg, or well, what? It says fi batni ummihi. Obviously, it is in the in the belly. It says the word button. You know what the word button mean, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. What the word button mean? Button it mean a womb, right? The womb. No, the word button mean a belly or a stomach. Yeah, this is. <laughs> This is the Arabic. This is why I'm telling you. No, my no, 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 my friend. The word, the word womb is raham, raham, raham. Raham, but correct. Can it mean? Can button mean raham or no? No, button mean button mean belly mean belly belly or stomach. If I say buttoni yulimuni, I'm saying my stomach hurting me. If I if I you know in the belly of your mother, that's mean in in the in the in the the belly of your mother, the belly, okay. So, okay, so we can say we can say it is about womb, no problem. But as you see here with me, you're a prophet. He confirming that the first stage that you are gathered as a semen. Allah is collecting semen for forty days, mm -hmm. and then you are staying as a semen for forty days. This is the first stage, and then uh, you become a clinging blood for a similar period. This is forty days, uh, 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 total of uh, eighty days. So now you are a semen for 40, and now you are the semen itself became a congealed blood for other 40. And then the last 40, you became a lump of a flesh. That's mean the total of the creation of the baby is 120 days. Is that what science says? That a woman she give birth after 120 days? A thing, thing, then it becomes a lump of flesh like that. Um... It's, 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 it's not a first of all it says the creation of humans is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days then mm. it becomes a clinging thing in similar period mm. a clinging thing uh which can possibly be a fetus okay then it becomes a lump of flesh mm. like that then allah sends an angel who <laughs> breathes the life into it and then the angel is commanded to record four things about it okay we don't need to read the rest of uh, of that but um Mm -hmm. uh, here it doesn't say the baby is complete, uh, my friend. No, it says right there. That's it. He's, you know, Allah here now he is writing his uh, his destiny. He's no. finished. Yeah, he, you no, no, and then the saying, angel. My friend, read, 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 read carefully with me. And Allah He sent the angel who breathed life into it. So according to the Quran, yeah. the baby don't have a life. He don't have a life until the last stage, which is very funny. So what is the no no no, what? no 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 sorry sorry you don't uh, you, what do you mean until the last stage yeah it's here we go what? you see it is you who keep using the word fetus 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 it's you correct no I'm telling you right here it does not say it says the Allah sends an angel okay look let's read let's read right okay it says, when, when Allah he sent the angel after everything is finished correct no that's not true what do you mean wrong I can read become a that's lump not... okay then it let me read then it become a lump <laughs> of a flesh. Like that. Please, 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 please. We all know. We all know that the baby is alive in the stomach. He is. We all know this. So why Allah? Knows. So why Allah breathing life into him? No, no, not right away though. The baby is not alive right away. Obviously, oh. he goes through the goes through the period. He's explaining here how it goes through the uh, the period of creation. So, so when, then, so when the egg is fertilized, it's not a living creature. It's not living. It's what. When the egg is uh, well, it's definitely not a baby. 
Uh, but this is the baby. The egg is the baby. The egg, the egg the, is not a baby. My friend, no. My no. friend, the egg. The egg is an early stage of the baby. <laughs> no, it's, no. The, the the egg is an egg, and the sperm is the sperm. They come together, they fertilize, and they become uh, slowly into the stages of this the baby. This what we are saying. No, the egg after fertilization is the first stage of the baby. It is the baby. Okay, can I just take one minute to speak so that I can finish what I'm saying, and then you can take go, it to go ahead. Okay, it says, I'm going to read it again for you. Mm. The creation of humans is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. Mm. Then it becomes a clinging thing. I'm not going to say fetus. I'm not going to say anything. This is what it says here. In, in, a, in a similar period. Then it becomes a lump of flesh like that. Mm. Okay, so how much is that? That's, let's just say when a similar period, let's say it means 42. Okay, so 40, 40, 40. How many days is that? 120. 120. Perfect. 120 is how many months? Four months. Uh, yeah, four, I mean... Uh, three, about four four months, right? Yeah. About four months. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the time of the Prophet, the, the, in the time of the Prophet, did they have babies like we have babies or they had special babies that came out four months? Mm. In the time of the Prophet, there's babies that are born in four months. No, I'm asking you. Is that the case? Because that's what you're saying. You're 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 claiming that the prophet. No, said the baby... according to your prophet, babies can be born after four years, yes. not for a month. Four years. Yes, if you're right now, if you search for right. al Hamil fil Islam, the period, the maximum period uh, of another thing we're sticking with your your hadith and you're jumping to another thing i'm asking you a question no, no this is this is we are talking about the same topic you know you are the one who mentioned the word for a month i'm correcting you it says islam okay. believe islam believe that the woman she can carry the sperm she can carry the sperm of a child for four okay. years some even they say unlimited some they say 10 years and i can show the reference what is it, what is your what is what is your sect Bilal? what is your sect you're no, assuming no, no. Your... Prince, let me finish, Habibi. Let me finish. What is your sex? Can you, can you tell me, please? It says four months. Okay, what is your sex? Here it, here it says four months. Hmm. And clearly, we know that a baby takes nine months. Every human being since the time of whatever was okay. nine months. All right. Clearly. Mm -hmm. So, this does not mean in the end here, when it says... Uh, the angel blows into him. It does not mean the e the end of like when the baby is going to be born. That's mm -hmm. the stuff that happens in the stomach, mm -hmm. in the womb. Okay. So don't make out the prophet to look stupid here, like he didn't know that a baby comes out in nine months. Because every we all know every human being that mm -hmm. has a, is a parent or whatever knows that it takes nine months, or at least it could be seven if it's premature, mm -hmm. or things like that can happen. But okay. so this hadith doesn't really validate what you're trying to say here because the formation of everything in the in the stomach um it happens and the and the and the angel blows into hmm. the to blows the spirit into the to to yeah you can look yes hmm. blow the spirit hmm. into him okay so mm -hmm. uh what do you have to say about that? If you want to, I mean, what add? I can say, I mean, come on, that's it. You prove me wrong. I mean, uh, uh, listen, <laughs> it's say uh, after after uh, uh, your prophet he stopped with the last forty days. Did he mention anything else would happen? I mean, come on, you know, you, I I feel for you. I mean, the guy he stopped, he says 40, 40, 40, and that's it. And then the angel he says, okay, this is your life. <laughs> they breathe into him, and then he tell him his, his his deeds. So that's it. But you are trying, you are struggling to find the solution, trying to add the stages, but there's no stages to add the guy he said 40 and 40 and 40 and the Mr. poor Bilal Prince, is trying to look in the, in the manual he look at the you know Bilal is like a, an Arab guy like all of us Arab we we buy a car and then we want to fix the car but we never knows anything about car and then we take screws and we try to put it back we cannot find the place for the screws so here no, Bilal no, is no. trying to find how he can close the holes in this story my friend it says 40 plus 40 plus 40 and then what happened that's it he gave him life he's a baby now why is giving no, him life he's a baby. I, I didn't so, i didn't i didn't say like he, he he's not i what i mentioned is he doesn't come out of the womb at that time what do you mean coming out of, okay did your prophet continue saying there's more of 40 days coming something will happen after that no no okay that's it that means it's over 
No, that's it. no. He's talking about the creation of the baby in the womb, and that's it. He exactly. Say, oh, so, like, okay, are you saying to me that after the hundred twenty days, the baby will go and live in the brain, or live in the tongue, or live in the neck, or live? Now, come on. So all of this is in the womb already. So because the baby is yeah. staying in the womb. The baby uh, stay. The, ba the baby. Christian will, Prince, okay. He's talking about the process from the beginning uh -huh. to the womb. He's not talking about the process from the beginning till she comes out of the woman's vagina. Uh, he's not talking. About uh, uh -huh. it's, clear. <laughs> it's clear. Like okay, like the sky, my friend. It's so clear. Okay. Let, 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 let us let us try let us try to help. Um. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Let us let us let us try to help, Mister. Uh, can, can you at least tell me where you're from? Okay, let, listen. Let us try to help uh, to help Mister Villa, my friend. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening now. I'm gonna what, give you the floor. What go is ahead. what is your sect? I am. Uh, I believe uh, in the Quran. Hmm. It is your sect. You are a Muslim. So, you are a Muslim you, Sunni, you right? You yeah. can say Sunni, but I I don't like. I, I know, I, I know, but you are Sunni. What? You are Sunni Hanafi, you are Sunni Shafi, Hanbali, no, 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 Maliki. No, 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 nothing like that. I follow I follow the Quran and authentic Hadith. <clears throat> okay. But you did not. You just gave me a false Hadith now. A false Hadith? Yes, you just made up things. It's not in the Hadith. You added things saying the Prophet. He said he did not say this is until he come out of the vagina. He said yeah, until yes, until you are in the womb. That. Okay. I said he did not see that. How okay, that hold on, hold on. Okay, so when the baby, when the baby, he is a sperm for forty days. Yes. Is that true that the baby is a sperm for forty days? Okay. Once again, my friend, hmm. you you keep saying, is that true? Yes, I'm First, asking you. The sperm, like hmm. I told you. It says here, if the, if you read the, the hadith, your hadith that you brought, the creation of humans is gathered in the form of semen mm -hmm. in the womb of your mother for 40 days. Now, mm -hmm. when we say semen here, right? Mm -hmm. Does does that mean, because we know when, uh, when uh, uh, does that mean like he, it goes to the egg and then to the womb? Like that's like the details I'm not, I'm not sure about, right? The details I'm not sure about. So mm -hmm. that's my question to you. Mm -hmm. 40 uh, it fertilizes, then goes to the womb. Hmm. Or, or am I wrong? Hmm. Now, friend, the verse is so clear. It says that you are gathered in a form of a semen for forty days. So you are semen for forty days, according to science or what doctors they study, that the maximum yes. semen can live inside the body of a female is five days. So you're a prophet. He just added. 35 days to the period only okay uh when it says a womb here uh my friend um <clears throat> we know that like when you're ejaculating into a woman it's in the hmm. vagina area hmm. it does not go to the womb right yeah it is going to take it's going to take 40 days journey right no like i said uh, <laughs> like okay, I, I'm not. I, I like I mentioned the de the details. I'm not. But what, here it says womb. Like it's in the stomach. How did it? How did he jump from, um, like semen to womb? Uh -huh. When you know clearly it has to go through the uh -huh. the vagina, obviously, and then that area. You know. Yeah, 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 Bilal. The, the ovaries. Bilal, I feel for you, my friend. But when the say <laughs> when they say to when they say that it is five days maximum and then your prophet says 40 days semen it's obviously it's a lie this is not one day mistake let us say if muhammad he says six days we'll say wow it's so almost close you know if muhammad he says four days he said okay well you know but he said he gave extra 35 days and muhammad remember he claimed that a person a person uh, uh, he is a person who is receiving this information from his God, correct? This is not him being a doctor, correct? That's correct. That okay. is correct. So when Muhammad, he gave information, claiming to be from God, and then we find that this information is absolutely foolish, that means this person is imposter and he is not a prophet. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay. Let me let me okay. ask. Let me ask you. The, can I, can uh, I ask you? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, Bible, before Bible before question. before we change the before we change the topic to something else. Uh, according to science, who is the one who decides the the gender of the baby? What did decide? According to science. Yeah. What decide the gender? The male, right? The male. Okay. Thank you. Well, yeah. Bilal, he's educated in this in that field. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's wonderful. It's not so, really. It's not really actually. Uh, okay. No problem. <laughs> that, yeah, the male. You are right. The sperm of the male. But look, look yeah, what you're. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the X X I believe is uh, female, and the Y X is male, right? Okay. Well, no problem. This is like a simple like they give it to uh, to to understand to make it easy. So, okay. according to your prophet, uh, yeah. If the woman she have orgasm first, the baby will be a female. And if the woman, if the man have an orgasm first, the baby will me be a male. Is that correct, or this is a another, another foolish statement from false prophet? Uh, I never heard that before. But if you want to just show the viewers and show me, it's it's fine. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I'm not a hadith expert, but go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You're gonna send me the link? Yeah, sure. Here we go. And as you see, this is this is Sahih Hadith. Yeah, go ahead. And the one who is saying it is Sahih. It is you. I mean, it's your Muslims, not me. Hey, be careful! It's not me. I'm not. Like I told you, I'm not a Muhammad. No, no, no. no, no. And, and I, I'm not the one saying that too. It's your Muslim yeah. saying it's Sahih. So you know, you Muslim lie about Hadith. Yeah, the, okay. The, uh, Prince, the, the messenger uh, said. Sahih. The messenger there said. Is, everything okay we have to know our level of knowledge no problem we have to know our level of well here we go the knowledge this is the knowledge of your prophet the messenger said okay. the man water the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parent is that true i did you did not send it to me i'm not, I'm not i didn't no i sent you the link already no, hold on. Let me. I still me. didn't get it, so I'm not able okay, to see let it. Let me do it again. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah. I, uh, uh, okay, you're right. I did not send it. I sent it in the chat, maybe. All right. Now yeah, you have. Now you have it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. It says here the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said the man's water is thick and white, hmm. and the woman's water is thin and yellow. Hmm. Whichever of them comes first, the hmm. child will resemble that parent. Is that scientific? Okay. Is that what science teach or Muhammad is making things up? I don't know what my, uh, science teaches in this topic, to be honest with you. Well, can you explain to me what science teaches? Well, according to your prophet, if Zachary Naik having sex with his wife, his child will look like Zachary Naik, not like the wife. If the wife came first, the child will look like the wife, which means female, and will look like her. According to which madness that is true? I mean, who cares who comes first? Because even if the baby, if, even if the woman, she never have orgasm. Well, actually, most of women, they never have orgasm. Actually, your private wife, she never have orgasm. So if the one who have orgasm first will decide how the baby look, then none of the Muslim women should decide how the baby look because most of them, they are circumcised and they never have orgasm. They cannot have it because you, you kill that area. So you're a prophet making a statement that the one who has uh, the, to come first is the one who decide how the baby look like, you know? Uh, yeah, look like, but not male or female, right? No, it says in different hadith, adhkar. So it's going to be a male. I can show you the hadith too, you know? Okay, go ahead. Show me the hadith. Okay, let me find the hadith. Hold on, give me a second, please. Go ahead. Because uh, this one, guys, this one just mentioned how uh, the, the the baby will look like. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It does not mention uh, male or female. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know that you should know by now that Christian prince will not say something unless it is true. Correct. Well, I, I actually I met you through my friend who is Christian. He's. Uh, <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to Zuzu. <laughs> well, somebody invited you. His name is Zuzu. Oh, Zuzu, yeah, Lebanese guy, Lebanese Christian, oh, good okay. guy. All right. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let me give you the link, my friend. We were best friends growing up, you know? Yeah, but you know, you cannot take him as a friend. You know that, right? Uh, when you say friend, I know the ayah you're going to bring from the Quran. Uh, this ayah I know. Uh, actually, uh, from what I understand from the ayah, mm -hmm. it, uh, it's uh, like leadership, right? Like if you're, no. in, a, if you're in a... No, 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 no. No, no. no I, I not. It says it clearly. It says it clearly. It says it clearly. Okay, we can go to the topic after we finish this one. 
no problem. No, 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 no. I know what you're going to say about that one. Okay. But like I mentioned to you, uh, okay. uh, we live we live amongst Christians and Jews, right? Mm -hmm. Throughout time, we yeah. live amongst Christian Jews and even atheists and other people too. Yeah, and we kill them and when we get a chance. No, no, no. You see, whoever is governing, whoever okay. is governing, My they're the ones that control the ah, system, okay, right? Okay. No, but, uh, okay. Let us go there later. Let us go to the, the... You said to me, show me the hadith. I'll give you the link. Okay, hold on, let me check it out one second. Okay. Okay. This is in Sahih Muslim, this is not in Sahih Bukhari, but no problem. Yeah, it's Sahih. You can go it's down not. just to save yourself. Go down where it says that the water of the women is yellow. You know? Oh, what? Hold on a second. Okay, where where okay, keep going. Where it says like what would you what what would be their drink? Okay. And he said the reproductive substance of man is okay. So the 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 Prophet والسلام, said <coughs> the reproductive substance of man is white mm -hmm. and that of woman yellow. <coughs> uh -huh. And when they have sexual intercourse and the male substance the male substance prevails mm -hmm. upon the female substance. Mm -hmm. It is the male child that is created mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. law's decree. Mm -hmm. And when the substance mm -hmm. of the female prevails upon mm -hmm. the substance contributed by the male, mm -hmm. a female child is formed by the decree of Allah. Mm -hmm. The Jew said, what have you said is true. Mm -hmm. Verily you are a messenger. Mm -hmm. He then, oh, so the Jew even confirmed this? Even the Jew confirmed that. You can't believe it. <laughs> you know. I can't believe the Jew confirmed it. Yeah. Sometimes you like who's the Jew uh, for. So, but, so uh, you asked me. You asked me to show you what it says. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a male, and this is the, it says that. And look what the Muslim they did in translation. Do you notice they say the word substance? Suddenly the water is substance. Did you notice they say the word the chromosome between two brackets? Suddenly the yellow water the woman she see in her vagina is a chromosome. It's an orgasm. The woman orgasm is a chromosome so uh, in order to cover look at the Muslims what they do in order to cover the stupidity on this story they add yeah. a chromosome they add the word substance they are when the Arabic it says read with me here we go it says وَمَا الْمَرْأَ أَصْفَرْ وَمَا الرَّجُلُ أَبْيَضْ read the water of the man is white that is the sperm and the women uh, water is yellow that is the water she see in her vagina when she have orgasm but this is not what make the baby <laughs> which means he comes first then is going to be a baby by the will of Allah and if the women have orgasm first the baby will be untha a female by the will of Allah. Look what the Muslim they do. In order to cover the shame, the stupidity, they are the word the chromosome, substance. If we go to the other hadith, which is exactly the same hadith, but there is no chromosome. Read with me carefully. Mm -hmm. The water woman is thin and yellow, <laughs> and the water of the man is white and thick. And whichever of them comes first, the child resembled the parents. Actually, to make it more clear, you know, let us see the different hadith. Just one more to make it more clear. Hmm. Yeah. These intricate details that you are trying to pick and choose from Islam is very funny because I mentioned to you the My pillars of Islam before and you could not argue with them. Yeah, they, 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 we can argue with them because they are very funny and very stupid. Yeah. We can go there after this one if we want. My friend, the pillars, of, the pillars, the pillars of my friend. Jesus wouldn't speak like that. Hmm. They're stupid. They're dusty. Wouldn't speak like that. No, 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 no. Jesus, he's. Stupid. I can, I can show you verses from the Bible saying to them, stupid, hypocrite, false. Even he no, called them. Even, no, he, even he, even he called them snakes. Hypocrites, yes, but not. No, uh, not no, no, no. He called them snakes. He called them stupid. He called them foolish. He called them yeah. idiot. You name it. So don't tell me. Don't tell me how. 
how to talk other Christian, please. So, um, okay, read, 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 read me carefully. Read me carefully. Is, is, is the water, is the, is the yellow water, Bila? Don't you stop it. No son of God or God will speak like that. Is, oh, no problem. No, your God, he call us kuffar. He call us animal. He call us an am. He call us nudges. He call us pigs. He call us monkeys. He call us dirty. So don't tell me about how to speak politely. You just said, no God will speak like this. But your God, yeah. he said, we are kal an am, the same as animals. He said, yep. when we should call them they are filthy dirty. The you kuffar, wrote, you call us kuffar, which means yep. we are liars. Kuffar means the one who hide the truth. So don't tell me that your God speak yep. nice and he's polite. He's not. So now, don't check topic with that. Please. Mm -hmm. I respect you as a human being. Now, yeah. Ummu Salama said, Ummu Salama said, Yes. When a woman, she came to Muhammad, and this woman, she have a special topic, because your prophet is a sex expert. This woman, she have orgasm. She was touching herself during night. She is imagining. She is imagining. So she was Im imagining herself having sex, touching herself, and then she come to the prophet because he is the one have the specialty. She said to him, as we read, that Umm Salim, she said, Allah does not refrain from saying the truth. And mm -hmm. is it obligatory for a woman to take a bath after she get nocturnal discharge? He said, yes, if she notice a water, i.e. this charge. Umm Salama smiled, said, does the woman get this charge? Allah also said, yes. Then why does the child resemble it is mother? Do you see it, my friend? Yes. Okay. So according to your prophet, the water which the women she have from her vagina when she have orgasm is the reason for the baby to look like her. So when, when the other hadith is saying, if the women she have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the mother, and if the man have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the father. Muhammad is speaking about what? Muhammad is speaking about liquid women she have in her vagina, not the egg. It's a water. Where she see, it says she sees. She sees. You see it? She got, he said, yes, if she notice water, i.e. discharge, if she notice, if she sees in the Hayat Shari, you know, in the, in the, in the Arabic it says, Ida ra'at ilma, and you speak Arabic. Ida ra'at, correct? It says, Ida ra'at. Yeah. So if she sees, so it's something you see, it's not something inside, it is something you can vision, visually see. So if she see that water, she have to wash. Um Salama, do you know who's Um Salama? Salama? Mm -hmm. Believe it's one of the pro uh, prophet's wives, correct? Exactly. But look what your prophet wife she said. Like what? Women have orgasm? How in the world, Um Salama, she never heard that women have orgasm? That's mean Muhammad. He never been able to make his wife have an orgasm. She never heard of such a thing. She was like, what are you talking about? women she have orgasm and who is talking is the wife of the prophet so the wife of the prophet she got him busted in many ways he cannot have sex because there's no way he's having sex with her and still the woman she can't have orgasm and well, she, i know the, many I, I know many men they didn't um they're they're uh, well i'm not gonna discuss but uh christian prince i don't know if you're a professional sex uh guy but uh hmm. A lot of a lot of women don't have orgasms, by the way. Ah, so, okay. Just with regular sex, uh, it's true. Yeah, oh, no, it's true. They like vibrators and and dildos and stuff like that, extra stuff, you know. Uh huh. So your prophet, yeah. he cannot do what the dildo can do. This is what you are saying to me, Bilhar. You are laughing. I know, I know. You see, you see, this is this is this is this is the this is the problem. You know, the Muslim they say things and then they regret what they said. You just said, you just said that a dildo. Hey, Muslim woman, go and get a dildo because the best. How you Muslim? You proud? Say Muhammad the Prophet. He was the best man for sex. And now you are saying to me, Muslim women they buy dildo because the Prophet or the man he cannot make them have orgasm. Come on, man. Are you going to go that low to sex, man? I'm not the like, one who mentioned the word dildo. It's you. No, but I'm saying, like, uh, is this what you're going to cling on to? Like, cl like, cling on to something with more, like... Okay, like, but let's, 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 let's go let's go back to the topic. Okay, but according to the hadith, 
if the woman, if the woman, if the woman, she has this charge. It's not me who went to talk about this, though. It's you. It's not me who used the word vib. It's not me. It's not me who used the word vibrator. It is you. Yeah. Okay. So don't tell me. Don't go that low. It's you who did that. So I'm asking you now: Is it accurate that the water in the vagina of the women, which she sees and she have to wash it, water is, is that what decide? Is that what decide the gender of the baby? Okay, not uh, not all water in the in the in the in the vagina is orgasm actually. Doesn't, you know doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care what kind of water. Let's let us say it's a cocktail of whiskey. My friend, my friend, Bilal, please, please, Bilal, Bilal. I mean. Uh, I don't care what kind of water. It is a water she see in the vagina. It is outside. It's not an egg. It's a water. It's a discharge. Discharge. Correct? It's discharge. So, discharge, yes. Okay, so it's a water as a discharge coming from the vagina. She have to wash it. Okay, now she have to wash it. Is it true? It is you who is said to me. Is it you who said? It is you who said to me that the one who decide the gender. This is the first question I ask you. Who is the one who decide the gender of the baby? You said the male. You said the. I did not say the male. You read the hadith. That's no, the hadith no, no. That. You say the male. Go back. It's recorded, my friend. It's everybody is my witness. You mean the, the X Y? Uh, yes, yes. I did say that. Yes, okay, I so said the, but now, male, yes. but your prophet now saying that this is a charge which the woman she see in her vagina, which she can wash out. Is what decide the baby gender? Yes. Hmm. Is it true? Or this is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet again? This this is this is this is not something of substance to me, so I'm just gonna agree with you on this one. Hmm. Okay, thank God. At least Bilali yeah. agree with me in this time. That means Muhammad is a false prophet, thank you. No, no. <laughs> Would you agree with me? I mean, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, do you do you like to sneak in little uh, sneak in little lines? Well, like so that? okay, <laughs> you are agreeing with me after speaking to you for more than forty minutes about this. That means you agree with me in everything I say. Yes, I said I have to agree with you. Okay, you agree with me. So you agree with me I, about what? That this is not true. I, you I, agree I, with I, me I, that I, this is false. You agree with me that your prophet is making a false statement. So you agree with me. Thank you. I proved to you that your first hadith that you brought was totally uh, not uh, taken in the right context and not understood properly. Uh -huh. But the well, and I said to you, and I said to you, can we read the interpretation? I said to you, can we read the interpretation? If you're a specialist scholars, you refuse. Okay, okay. Can I? Okay. Uh, let, let me ask you. Okay, hold on, hold on. The fair, sperm, fair the enough. sperm of the man is coming from where? And do the women have a sperm? The sperm of the man is coming from the scrotum of the male. The scrotum. What is the scrotum? What is that? That's like the balls. You the know? balls. So the balls are not decoration. They're not decoration. No. Okay. According to your religion, the sperm is coming from the backbone. The backbone. Yeah. The backbone of the man, where the sperm man coming from, and the sperm of the women coming from their ribs. Like like I mentioned to you before, Wallahi, uh, Christian Prince, I don't want to argue with you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how things move around in the body, that's not my science, my friend. That's not my science. I'm not talking about I, you. I'm not talking about your science and my science. I'm talking about the science of Allah. Uh, no, no. So, I'm not ask but you uh, 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 my, Bilal, a second ago, you said to me it's coming from the balls. I mean, why you why you why you bite back? Why you are biting back what you said? Isn't it you who said to me that the sperm of the man came in from the balls? Did you say that, or I'm making things up? No, you're not making things up. It okay. is in the balls. So, so why you are ta why you are taking why you are taking it back? You know what I'm kind? What okay? So what, what kind of God? Great. So you don't take it back. So what no. kind of God? He says that a sperm of the man is coming from the backbone of the man, and women have a sperm coming from her ribs. How we can how, how we can believe in such a thing? Woman have sperm coming from the ribs? Yes. Her ribs. Her ribs. Yeah. So it says nutafatin min uh, the ribs. Exactly. So uh, like I mentioned to you, uh, can, is it fair to say if are you are you like a person who doesn't like a Muslim to say I don't know? 
Or you can say that no, no problem. But but can, can, but can we say? But can we say uh, the prophet? But did, did, did the prophet Bilal Bilal? I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you see, it, it, it is you. It's not you who is my topic. Yeah, Bilal Bilal. Listen, my dear friend, it's not you. I'm. I'm not trying to prove no, you wrong. Like, I don't it's not you. Um, like Bilal, I'm the, not trying the, to prove you wrong. You are not. You are not the purpose of this conversation. It's nothing personal, I know right? It. Okay. So yes. it's not about you. You do not know. I respect that on you. But can we say the prophet do not know? Can we say Allah do not know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if Allah He say that, open the link I just gave you, just to show you that I'm not taking things up. It says يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب. Okay. الصلب والترائب. The soul of the man, which means the backbone of the man, and you are the one who said to me the sperm coming from the testicles, the balls. So, and what taraib? A taraib is the name of the of the of the of uh, 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 the top ribs of the women's chest. Not only the chest, the top ribs where the necklace location is. So, this is the word used for women specifically for the location of the necklace of the. You're saying God is saying that they have semen? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Read really carefully. It says, meaning here it says, uh -huh. proceeding from between this water, the gushing uh -huh. forth, the one we are talking about, the yellow the yellow water coming in the vagina of the women, where it's coming from? Listen carefully. Abila. Where the yellow water is coming from? It's coming from the ribs of the women. Read really carefully. Proceeding okay. from between the backbone and the ribs, okay. meaning, okay. meaning the backbone of the man and okay. the ribs of the women. Okay. Okay, referring, which is referring to her chest. Yes, okay. Okay, is that what is, is, but it's you who said to me that the sperm of the man is coming from his balls. Yes. But you are wrong, my friend. Allah he is correcting you. Allah is saying, no, it's coming from the backbone. When I say coming from, I mean it's there, like it's placed there. Do where does ah, it get there? Ah, placed there. Uh -huh. Is it you? Uh, didn't I say to you so that balls are not decoration? You said yes. Is they're not decoration. They're not. Okay, but, but according to the Quran, according to the Quran, the balls there, they hang them. In the, the man, he hang them in his private part as decoration, so the woman she can see them. You see, they see. Look, I the big balls. So like they have no 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 duty according to the Quran. <laughs> like maybe he go and buy them from the from the store oh, and he hang them there. You know maybe maybe he glue them there because according to your Quran, meaning the backbone. And look, they, they say between two bracket uh, or lines doesn't say that it says backbone. A soul soul means the hard just, bones, not only not okay, only the bones. The soul a soul is the last bone in the in like in the ass. You know in the spine. The yes. last, this is a soul. So the yes. sperm is coming from the last bone in the spine. And mm -hmm. the woman, she have a, a, a sperm, and her sperm is coming from the location of the necklace of her ribs, not all her ribs, the top of her ribs, the last ones, the one is meeting with her neck. This is where the sperm of the woman came in from. What kind of God he says such a thing? Yes, correct. Uh, I read with me, Bilal. You see, just to show you, I'm not making, uh, this is what your, even your scar says. The backbone no. of the man, the backbone and the man and the ribs of the women. He continues saying, it is, it is, the fluid. The fluid is yellowish and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them. The sexual fluid. And those are, he is confirming the hadith we just showed you. About the women, she have a yellow, you remember? The women she yes. have a yellow fluid the man he have a white fluid so the baby will not be born except from both of them but where this yellow fluid is coming from for the woman from okay. the top ribs in her chest okay this way i'm not married i don't want to go to the bedroom she take off her clothes instead of seeing the breast i see testicles <laughs> i'm scared I mean, come on, put yourself in my shoes. I mean, come on, if the Quran is saying the truth, then when women should take off her clothes. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be married though, Christian. You have to get married. Uh, I'm but I'm afraid. I mean, you need to take this verse first from the Quran, then I will marry right away because I'm terrified. You marry a woman, you like you dream about, okay, having a woman, she loves you, etc. And then we go to the bedroom. And then she took and off she her. You know what? I think uh, I, I will not allow her to take the, the you know the top. You know she have to keep it because I don't want to be shocked. You know because the Quran is telling me the truth that women she have testicles in wow. her chest. Testicles in her chest. Yeah, because those two big things, two big things you see in the women, those are not breast, my friend. According to the Quran, those are breast testicles. 
Okay, fair enough. That's what you say, Christian Prince. That's what you it's say. Not, it's right. not me saying that. It's, it's in front of you, and you agree that says that. Yeah, okay, fair, fair enough. Um, uh, can we uh, can we uh, change the topic now or no? So, uh, so do we agree, me and you, that your prophet is false prophet? Uh, no, unfortunately, we don't. Okay, do we agree that the statement is a false statement? The statement, yeah. uh, like I told you, I'm not an expert in um, I'm not an expert in so, science. So, 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 so Bilal, after I talking to you for two hours, the answer for all this disaster, I'm not expert. It's not a disaster when I when I told you what I okay Bilal isn't it you a second ago you were expert it's you who said to me Bilal uh, you I, I asked you the first thing I said to you before we open this uh, well, uh, first just move on no no hold on did I ask you where the sperm came from uh, Bilal 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 just wait use your break for a second is it, is, is it my question to you was where is the sperm of the man came from you said the balls Correct. Okay. That. So I'm your not. your God says the backbone. Right. Which which yeah, one? Okay. Okay. So no? you, according to science, so you agree? According to science, it's not coming from the backbone, correct? I do not know. What do you mean? Not, so why are you telling me it's coming from the balls? But I told you it's there. It's in the balls. That's where it is. Okay. Why you, why you told me? Why you choose the ball? Why you not choose the nose? Why you said the word ball? I said to you, where the sperm coming from? You did not say from the nose. You did not say from your eye. You said it from the balls. Why you chose the balls? Because that's what I know. Okay. I know what's in the balls. So where where do you get what you know? Where did I get what I know? Yeah. From sexual experiences. Ah, so you is not you did not read that in books. I probably did. I, I, I believe I did in science. Okay, so, so so that's okay. Thank you. So now you science just agreed science. that you learn from yeah. books that sperm is not coming from the backbone, and this is wrong. So you don't agree that the Quran is a shish kebab book. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I when they t they taught us that, mm. I did not go. I did not study it. Uh, I did not study science. I did not study biology. I did not study and uh, what that uh, the tafsir of this or what's uh, understanding what this. Okay, is. do let us make it simple. You did not so, study science. Do women have a sperm? Do women have sperm? Yes. Honestly. Yeah. I know. I know that they ejaculate, but what they ejaculate, I don't know. It's a. It's, I, I, uh, this is just a water. I have nothing to do with a sperm. Women don't have a sperm. They have an egg. They have eggs, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, water, okay. Do, eggs okay. Let me make it simple for you. I mean, when, when, they when the women ejaculate, when, uh, uh, Bilal, when the women ejaculate, do do they ejaculate eggs? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I swear to God, I don't know. <laughs> so, are you saying to me that according to you, Muslims women they lay eggs? No, no. Yeah, you, okay, you, so I, you are married. With my, with my respect to your family, you are married. With my respect to your family, I mean no insult. You know yeah. that it's not true. You know that the egg is inside the woman, not something come outside. How small is the egg? How does it look like? Do you it know? doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It is something she ejaculate or something stay inside her. Have you seen sperm? Uh, by the way, have you seen sperm? It doesn't look like the sperm on the microscope, brother. Brother. Oh, you know. Uh, Look like when it comes out, it looks like a wet uh, semen looking uh, white thing that comes out, but it doesn't look like when it's in the body. So the egg could be the same thing, my friend. I don't know. Mm, okay. I don't know. Yeah, the best answer is yeah. I do not know. Okay, yeah, Bilal, I will, I will free you from all of this. Uh, tell me something else. Go ahead. Okay, so when men fight with one another mm. and the wife of the one draws near <clears throat> to rescue her husband, okay. From the hand of him hmm. who has beaten him and puts out her hand and seizes him by the private parts, hmm. then you shall cut off her hand. This is in uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy okay. 25, 11, 12. Okay. okay. Uh, in the New International Version. Uh, hmm. What does that mean, that verse mean? Okay, I want to ask you. Again, I don't, I don't mean to disrespect you. Again, just to yeah. mention the topic. If I'm fighting with you, and your wife, she put her hand there in my private part. Is that okay in Islam? Yeah. Is that okay for Muslim women to do? Uh, uh, you're, you're, you're bringing this into the Muslim. I'm asking you what that verse means. First I, I know. I, like, I'm explaining. I'm explaining. This is my explanation. I'm asking you, is it okay? Are you saying to me? Because what, what is your problem with the hadith? You need to tell me. I mean, the, with the verse. What is your problem? 
shall cut off her hand. So you okay. cut off one. Yeah, that, that's okay. mean. That's mean that a woman she do such a thing. Obviously, she's a whore. Obviously, she had no respect. Obviously, she's a bad woman because a okay. woman she respect herself. Okay, she want to help her husband. She could not find a place to grab the guy except his balls. So, are you saying to me, Mr. Uh, Bilal, that but Muslim woman, if I fight with a Muslim man now, his wife, she will be happy to grab me from my balls, and maybe she will bite it, and you will be saying to her, good for you, do it more. So, you see here in the Old Testament that those are very conservative, those are very conservative, this is very conservative verse saying, a woman, she should not act like a whore. You don't grab a man from his private part. This is an extreme yeah, act. Does. This does. is an extreme yeah. act of being filthy. Now I'm asking you, according to your, according to your religion, what is the penalty? What is the penalty for a woman she grabs someone else's balls? I question the topic that I brought. You're gonna avoid it. No, no, I'm not avoiding. I answer you. I just answer you. I'm asking you now. I'm asking you. What is the penalty of a woman she grabs someone else's balls? Uh. It's, it's a sin. There's no penalty. There's where, no where, it's, where it says that? Where it says that? Where it says that? I, Bilal, I challenge you to show me it's a sin. Go ahead. I can send it to you right now. Okay, I'm saying what is the punishment? Show me. And what is the sin? Go ahead, Go ahead guys. He's, he's going to show me a verse in the Quran saying that if a woman no, she grab a balls of a man, that is sin. No, no, I'm talking about the Bible here. I'm talking about the Bible. I'm talking about. The, I answer you about the Bible. I said to you why? Because that will make the women very filthy, and to to prevent people from being filthy, the punishment is extreme. I'm asking you now, how come? Cut hands in Christianity. So you guys cut hands in Christianity as well? That is Judaism, and yes, we cut hands. Why not? Are you saying it's bad? No, I'm, I'm just going with you here. I, okay. I know, no, Christian so, never no, I never, no, I if, you, if, if, if there's a law, if there's a law, you respect the law, you live in Saudi Arabia, the law says if you do something like this, or you're still sorry, they will cut your hand, yeah. correct? In Saudi Arabia, or you're talking about in general? In Saudi Arabia. I never seen anybody get there. I got. I, I seen people get because their of, because in Saudi Arabia, if they cut every the hand of every thief, they have to start from everybody. Everybody is a thief. But this is not the topic right now. So listen, so I ask you okay. now, in the Bible, they are very conservative. A woman, she cannot yeah. do such an act. What if I show you in the Quran that a Muslim man, he can grab the vagina of a Muslim woman? And that is not even counted as a sin. So you, okay, so you could cut off a woman's hand in Christianity. Can you behead them as well? Well, I'm not saying we can cut off the hands of a woman in Christianity because we don't practice the law of Moses. The law of Moses was given to, from Moses to the people of Moses. And I, I think you know that. But I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, if I am a Jew, if I was a Jew in the time of Moses, this is the law and we will practice the law. We will obey the law. So here is the, here, here, uh, 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 when, when, the, when the king, he says, this is the law, this is what we should practice, we practice what the, what the king says. If the Bible says so, we practice what the Bible says so. Now I'm asking you, how come we cannot find the same in the Quran? You Muslim, you claim to be conservative. We find, we find that Islam is the most lousy religion. In the Quran, it says that if a man, he commits something, it's called a lemam, this is not even a sin. Allah forgive it. It's not even come. There's no punishment. And we read the story of a guy. His name is Nabhanu Tamar. This man, he is a woman. She came to him to the store. And she said to him, he said to her, go inside the store. Go inside the store and I will give you extra palm fruits. They are so good. And when they go there inside the store, uh, he touched her everywhere. He have orgasm. He kissed her. He did everything. And then he went to the prophet and he said to him, Prophet, I did with this woman everything except intercourse. Everything, Mr. Bilal. Do you know what your uh -huh. prophet said? What did he say? He said, no problem. There's no punishment. There's no penalty. Allah forgave this sin. This is not even considered. Is that true or I'm making things up? I don't understand the context of that. I don't understand the place. Well, the here time. we go. I don't understand. It's chapter 53, yeah, verse keep, number 20. Uh, hold on, Bilal. Look, Look what we discover. Look what we discover. Look what we discover. We discover that Judaism and Islam, they are no match. Muslims, they claim that following God. Yet, yet, 
a Muslim man and a Muslim woman, they can grab the penis and the vagina of each other, even if they are married. And mm -hmm. that is not considered as fornication. And it is not a big deal. It's a small fault. Read carefully. This is the Quran translation in front of you. I will put it. I will give you a link. Here we go. And if you don't believe me, I can show you the interpretation for this. You will die laughing. So when the Muslim they say to the Christians, Islam is religion of being conservative. Islam is against sin. The fact is the opposite. In Judaism, you are the one who quote for me the verse. If a woman and she is not grabbing the penis of the guy because she want to play with it, she is trying to save her husband. Imagine she is not grabbing it because she is horny. She is grabbing the penis or the balls of the enemy. Still, they will cut her hand. In Islam, if a woman she is married, and a man he is married, and they touch each other vagina or penises. Quran describe it as a small fault. Explain to us how such a thing happened. Okay, can can I give you another verse? Don't give me another. We, 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 we have to finish this one first. I gave you one for one. Okay, one for one. Okay, let me let me see. <laughs> Okay, uh, you, you want me to read it? Verse 32, correct? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Those who avoid great sins and shameful deeds, hmm. only surely <coughs> the Lord is ample in forgiveness. Hmm. He knows who, uh, sorry, he knows you well when he brings you out of the earth and when you are hidden in your mother's wombs. Therefore, hmm. justify not yourselves. He knows best hmm. who it is that guards against evil. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay, explain to me this verse. Well, uh, just explain to you it? Like, what do you mean explain to it? Hmm. It's, um, okay, so it says here in Arabic, uh, basically, those who avoid great sins, kabair al ithim and and uh and to... Uh, Bilal, I will help you. Read for Ilal me. What does that mean? Ilal lamam, uh, Ilal lamam. What does that mean? I will give you the interpretation. Read for us. I just gave it to you. I did. I uh, and shameful deeds. No, 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 no. Read the interpretation. Read it in Arabic and translate. Let everybody laugh. And this is your Saudi Arabia website, official government website. So you cannot deny yeah. it. You didn't send me a website. Yeah, I sent you the I sent you the part because the, because the page is linked. Here we go. I sent you the I sent you the link. I sent you the website. But I, but I wanted to read because there is a long interpretation for the whole chapter. So I'm asking you to read that that part. Do you have an issue with this? Do you have an issue with the uh, the verse, or do you have an issue with the interpretation? Which one? The verse interpretation of the verse is the verse. So no, no, does it say, does it say that this verse, does it say, my friend, does it say, does it, does it say, does it, does it say, does it say that, the, Bilal, does it say that this verse came down, I said to the Arabic text, you can read in the website, this is the Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the university. This, I, I don't know if the people are watching, but you can anybody can read this verse, it says those who avoid great sins and shameful deeds. Okay, except small fault. Only and into small fault. Okay, what is a lemon? A lemon is a guy was grabbing the vagina of a woman. A woman, she was grabbing a penis of a man. They were touching okay. each other. Read with interpretation. Here we go. I'm not making things up for you, my friend. Here we go. It says here in the Hadith Ayah Nazulat fi rajulin kana yusamma Nabhanu Tamar. This verse came down in a person. His name is Nabhanu Tamar, and his he have a store. He sell pond date fruits a woman she came to him a woman she came to him to buy from him a pond date fruit he said to her inside the store there is something better and then when she entered he wanted to have sex with her but she refused when Sarafat Tamar, but then he went to the Prophet and he said, What exactly happened? He said, Fata Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa qal, Ma min shayin yasna'u rajalu illa wa qad fa'altahu illa jima. So when he did that with the women, he did everything with her. Everything except intercourse. Okay. The Prophet said, and, uh, and then the Prophet says, Maybe her husband doing. Uh, 
This is how he said it, right? Maybe yeah. his husband doing like that. That's what how he said it. Yeah, right? it says Can't you read? Are you blind? Yeah, it's not about being blind or not. You cannot debunk the ayah, so you go to interpretation. No, 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 no. no. You just said that. Does it say that? I said yes. Read it. La Alla Zawja Hagaz, and she is married. Her husband yeah, is doing. Her husband. He is his. Her husband. He joined ISIS to defend Muhammad, and then it says Fanazalat Hazil Ayah. Do you see it? So the man he did with the women, everything the man he do, everything, everything except sexual intercourse. Okay. So, what okay? Okay, I'm, I'm, like I told you before, uh -huh. I am not going to take any interpretation that you bring me. I'm, I'm, not, go with I'm not giving you interpretation. This is your, this is your religion. This is not my interpretation. Why you are saying, my friend, my friend, why you are saying, why you are saying, this is my interpretation. Because, well, I mean, I mean, it's coming from you, like to me. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about this. This is the Saudi. official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is the interpretation of Al Qurtubi. It's coming to I, me. I, That's is funny. What does that mean? Al Qurtubi now he work. Al Qurtubi now. Al Qurtubi now he work. Al Qurtubi he work for me now. He's a Christian. Is, it, is, is America Christianity? My friend is. is it, don't change the topic. So oh, you, you are the one, okay, look, so look what happened, guys, look, look what happened. In Islam, a woman, she can grab a penis of a foreigner man. Wow. There's no single penalty in the Quran or in the Hadith, it says there is a penalty. Can you show me? Yeah, because our religion is the real merciful religion, it's not yours. See, you are not answering. You are the yeah. one who showed me a verse from the Bible says if a woman grab the private part of a man, but he is the enemy, she is not grabbing it to touch it, to love, to, to have fun with it. She is doing that because she is defending her husband. They will cut her hand. Imagine how serious this crime is for the Jews. I'm asking you how serious it is, how serious it is for a Muslim man. If his wife, she go to the store and she hold the penis of the guy who owned the store and he touch her vagina, how serious such a thing is in Islam. Okay. Are you a Sharia expert? I am not. Do I you, am, is there any country is there any country right now? I am not I am not a Sharia expert. I wash my hand from such a Sharia. There's no Sharia. How you can be this is Sharia? How, this is a law this is a law? What sir, can you, when you Muslim you use the word Sharia? If there is Sharia in the Sharia, there's no law in the law. Look what this guy he said. The man he is married, the woman she is married, the man is touching her vagina, he is touching her boobs, he is touching her ass, and then the prophet he said to him, Don't worry, be happy. Be, don't worry, be happy. That's what he told him. Okay, read it. Okay, prove me wrong. Read it. Read it. Be happy. Read it. Be happy. Read it. Read it. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, be happy. My friend, why don't read it? Uh, is, what do you mean, my friend? Uh, don't read it. Why you don't you read? Mean? You read it and translate. I will. I will listen to I, you. I, verse for you you told me verse for verse and then you brought me interpretation i never brought you interpretation i gave you a verse and you said to me you are the one who said to me what i mean i yeah, yes what does okay. it mean in arabic a lemon mean a lemon mean a lemon mean you go and you grab a woman from her vagina she is not your wife and she is married no, and she I... grab your penis and you touch each other as long as you don't have intercourse that is a lemon I didn't know a word has that much meaning, man. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but this is your interpretation, my friend. It's not me. This is you. You, you live in Saudi Arabia, don't you? Oh, oh yes, I okay. do. Okay, this website is owned by the king. This this website is owned by the king of Saudi Arabia. Are you against the king now? Yes, I am against anybody who does not uh, truly follow Bilal, Sharia take law. it back. They will arrest you. This guy, he just said he's against the king. Don't say that, my friend. They will arrest you in two seconds. No, I'm against anybody who does not follow Sharia law. When it comes to Islam... Okay, uh, no. but this is but this is the Quran interpretation. So the king is following the Sharia law. It says a woman, she went inside the store. The guy, he grabbed her from her vagina. He grabbed her everywhere. He did everything with her. He did not do intercourse. He, she refused to do intercourse, but she allowed him to touch her everywhere. And Muhammad he said to him, don't worry, be happy, it's okay. 
So look what happened. You you brought for us a verse from the Old Testament, thinking that you are going to create a, like a, you know like okay how, how you can explain that? We can explain it because this is a religion which is about faith, not just a religion created by a man. So they are very conservative. A woman she cannot do such a shameful thing, but a Muslim woman she can grab the penis of somebody else, and there's no penalty. And I am challenging you to show me. You can go right now and search in Google. What is the penalty of a woman, Muslim woman, she grab a penis of somebody else? What is the penalty of a Muslim man who grab the vagina of somebody else? No penalty. No penalty. Can you show me? Because this is not fawahish. This is called lemon. The man lemon. he told Muhammad, the man he told Muhammad, well, I, right. did, I did, I did. I did That's with this woman. Friend Zuzu said. He said it means small faults. Lemon. Okay, so your prophet he called a man playing with the married women a small fault. <laughs> no, hold on a second. What does now now in the small faults? Uh, what what are the small faults? What, what the guy uh, he explained? Friend? The guy he explained. He said I did with her. I did with her everything. I I, res I respected you, but uh, there is a there my, is my friend. My friend. It is uh, the interpretation and the uh, interpretation in the front of you. It says I did with her everything the man he do with the women. My friend, I do not does it say, the interpretation no, you, you need the interpretation, it's not up to you. It's not up to me, why is it not up to me? Because, because, because you I are saying, because you are saying, this is your interpretation, when it is not mine, it's yours, you are the Muslim. This is what you teach you in Saudi Arabia, this is when your son, he go to school, this is what they teach him to explain the verse for him. Okay, fair enough, I agree with you, fair enough. Okay, so, cool. so what kind of a religion, I don't agree with me, what kind of okay. God, what kind of God, he say yeah. a woman, she can do such a thing, she can't touch a private part of a man, a man, he can't yeah. touch her private part, and yeah. she can play with it, and this is a small fault. Okay, so God didn't say that in that verse, but if you want to go with the interpretation, I'll say, oh, that's... Okay, yeah, so that's, are you that's saying that's to me, are you saying to me that the God, he did not say that in that verse, but you Muslim, you lie? No, I'm saying small So why faults. so why in the interpretation it says this is what it say what happened? Mr. Prince, I said I, I do not know what small faults entails. And then you bring me a story. Okay, the story is coming small. about your prophet being told. Oh my god. It's your prophet's story, it's not my story. Why you don't want to hear that you, you see, you Muslims are ashamed of your prophet's story now. Ah, it's not about a shame. It's, we don't know what's okay. authentic is. Okay, is that is that a story? If it's not authentic, why it's in the in the Islamic website? Why is it not cool to me? It's from Saudi Arabia, like they're the pillar guys, of Islam. Guys, guys, listen, listen, what listen. It, we don't know if it's authentic, but so why it's there? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, lies on Christianity on the internet. <laughs> we don't know if it's authentic, brother. We don't know if it's authentic. Like, but, so why it's you there, know, guys? You know, brother, like we don't know if it's authentic, brother. Are, but like, come on, it's normal. how we know that this is authentic, uh, you know, brother, there is no proof it's authentic. So, the behind with Tamar, read carefully, this verse, I'm using Google translation because Mr. Bilal, he refused to translate because he's ashamed of it. This verse was revealed about a man who was called the behind Tamar. He had a shop which he sold dates, and the woman, she came to him to buy date from him. And he said to her, there is, there is, there is something better inside the shop. <laughs> And when she entered, the translation is not showing correctly, he, he tried to have sex with her, but she refused, which means she did not have intercourse. But then he, Muhammad, the, the guy, he went to Muhammad, listen, listen, listen. Then he went to Muhammad. He, so he came, listen, Abilal, let me read. So he came to the Messenger of Allah, and he said to him, I did, I, I, there's nothing that a man does without having, except having sexual intercourse. So I, I did with that woman, everything the man he do, everything except intercourse. The prophet, he said, maybe her husband, perhaps her husband is going in a, in a, in a invasion for me. <laughs> and then that verse was revealed. So it is a lemma. So look what your prophet said. It is, the lemma is, such is, uh, as long it's less than intercourse, like such as a kissing, winking, looking, you know, if you do any of that, kissing, touching, looking, this is called a lemma. So now, do you All understand right. what a lemon is? What do you, you don't understand?
Yeah, small faults, yes. I understand okay. I mean small faults. So, yes. so the man, the man, he touch a woman, he kiss a woman, she touch him, she grab him from his penis, he grab her vagina, he grab her ass, and it's still, according to Islam, this is a small fault. Interesting. Exactly okay. interesting. So you see the difference? In the Old okay. Testament, if a woman, she grab a private part, and she and the purpose and the purpose imagine we can't even compare the purpose of that woman she grabbed that penis is not because she is filthy because she is defending her husband still they will cut her hand in islam you send your wife with my respect to your wife she go to the store a man he invite her inside and he touch her everywhere and he have orgasm but he don't have intercourse that is called a small fault so what is fornication in islam then fornication in Islam yeah as long as a man he can touch a woman in her private part he can have orgasm she can touch him she can kiss him they can kiss each other so what is fornication in Islam the penis entering the um, the uh, vagina exactly guys did you hear it in Islam the only thing is considered as a fornication is the penis entering the vagina but now let me ask you is it true that you have uh, is it true is it true Bilal, Bilal, is it true that you have to have you have to have four witnesses to prove it <laughs> okay hold on a second hold on a second <laughs> hold on a second so imagine guys you go home you find your wife is sleeping with someone else you cannot do anything you have no proof you have to go and find four witnesses you go in the street knock at the neighbor door oh, my husband is not there because the, the, the witnesses have to be men and then until you find four witnesses you come back home and now they need to see the penis of the man going in and out not only they see them naked it's not enough they see them in the top of each other they have to see the penis of the man going in and out. Is that true or am I making things up? Christian Prince, you asked me what's fornication and I'm going to give it to you here. It says Abu Huraira. Hmm. That the, it was narrated from Abu Huraira and I'm going to send it to you so okay. you don't tell me I'm lying or something. All right. Um, it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the... Hold on a second. Let me send it to you and also send it to friend here. Copy, the, send, copy the Arabic for me, please. One second. Hmm. I like Abu Huraira, the father of the cats. You like him? All right. Well, you know, he's a cat boy. <laughs> okay, it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, said, Allah has decreed for every son of Adam his share of uh, zina, which he will inevitably, inevitably commit. The zina of the eyes is looking, the zina of the tongue is speaking. And uh, uh, one uh, may wish and desire, and the private parts confirm that or deny it. Thank you, guys. Do you see? Okay, uh, Bilal, did I pay you to bring this hadith, or you did it voluntarily? No, I did it by myself. Honestly, that did you like? Did I bribe you? Because I was going to use it next. Really? Yeah. Because look what you did. You just yeah. approve. You just approve. That of, of, right, you just you just you just destroyed okay. Bilal. You just you just demolished Muhammad. Look what happened, guys. Read really carefully. Mm -hmm. This is the choice of Mr. Bilal. He is the one who chose the hadith, not me. Be my witness. He is the one who sent me the link, not me. And before before even he sent the link, by the way, I was opening the hadith. Read carefully. Verily Allah, yeah. verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge in. Bilal, mm -hmm. according mm -hmm. to your religion, when a man he sleep with a woman. Allah is forcing him to sleep with her because this is a destiny. <laughs> He's forcing her to sleep with her? Yeah, read it. This is the hate that says that. Read it. Uh, yeah, it says Allah has decreed for every son of Adam his share of zina, okay. which he will inevitably commit. Hmm. The zina of the eyes is looking, hmm. the zina of the tongue is speaking. Hmm. One may wish and desire and the private parts confirm that or deny it so hmm. he's giving you types of zina so hmm. does, does it necessarily have to be the penetration the actual this is not a question or... focus with me focus below you know it's the, the food you are eating is not working listen verily allah uh, verily allah has the fixed 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 the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in so allah he so what is 
Okay, and then he says, and which of he of necessity must commit? So Allah, he decree for you fornication. And he decide for you how much fornication he will do. He commit, in which he will inevitably be commit. Ex no, which he will commit. Correct? Yes. Okay, so Allah, he wrote for you before you are created. This yes. guy is going to sleep with 10 women. He will kiss 100 women. He will yes. touch the ass of 50 women. He will grab yes. the boobs of 200 women. And yes. then Allah will punish you for sleeping with those women. But he is the one who decreed for you. Uh, the punishment is not uh, based on that. It's based on if you you re seek repentance. You seek repentance from God. Uh, hold on, guys. But 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 but, but uh, I can show you a hadith where a woman, she came, she said she did fornication. Still Muhammad, he stoned her. She repented. Uh, Christian Prince voluntarily, just, just, voluntarily, just, voluntarily she came and she repented and she said I did fornication still Muhammad he killed her so your statement is false so why a woman she will be stoned and why a man will be punished and why a man will not be punished if he grab a penis a, a, a vagina of a woman very stupid religion and look what happened now we learn now that everything you do all the wrong you do is not your dis the, the decision it is a destiny well, the God wouldn't be the, the all-knower if he didn't know what you're going to do. Okay, this is not about knowing. It's about it's about decree. He decreed for you. Yeah, it's okay. decreed. It's, okay, it's so Allah, he decree. Allah, he decide for me, I'm going to sleep with this woman. Why I will be punished for sleeping with her? He, he knows that you're going to do it. No, no, it's not about he knows. You agree, it's the decree. Okay. Okay, so it is a decree, which means it's not your decision. It is Allah plan to make you fornicate. So why Allah will punish you for his plan? Christian Prince, hold on a second. Why is he punishing you for the plan? Mm -hmm. uh, you can say a lot of why is why is somebody he made somebody handicapped? Why is somebody not okay? But I don't want to get into that. This is not a question. This is not a question. You see, somebody is handicapped. Something as somebody is handicapped doesn't make him less than me. But this is not a sin. This is not a sin. Hold on, don't go there. So a, a person is a handicap. He might be a very wonderful man, way better than me. What that have to do with our topic? I'm talking about now this. A God who make us commit sin, he forces us to commit sin. So Islam is not a religion which is asking you not to commit sin. It's the opposite. This God is evil. He is the devil. He decreed for you that you have to fornicate. And then you are saying to me, oh, you have to repent. So Allah, he make you commit sin. And then you ask him, please forgive me, Allah. So it, so if this God is a, is a mentally ill because he made you do it. And now he's asking you for forgiveness for something you did not do. Quran states he teaches you the right and the wrong. Is, is I, my friend, my friend, how he teaches you the right and the wrong with the benefit if he's forcing you to do the wrong. He's not forcing you. We have a decision. It's a decree. You agreed. It's a decree. It's a decree. So he's forcing you. When we say it's a decree, it's mean you have no choice. You must commit. Does it say there? Does it say which if he which which he of necessity necessity must commit? Does it say that? Hold on. Hold on. Can we can can we just can we just uh, confirm that a zina fornication does not mean only uh, adultery? Can we uh, confirm that from this hadith? Yeah, but your prophet confirmed that touching a woman's vagina is not considered uh, like uh, fahisha, which means uh, a sin. It's a small fault. But here, but here, but here it does, though. Here it says that all of this is a form of fornication. I agree with you, but it, okay. but but in, but it, but but according to your prophet, according to your prophet too, because we have to connect. According to your prophet, kissing a woman, touching a woman's vagina, playing with her, even if she is married, is not a fornication. It's a small fault, a lemma. So, Wait, this one or the one that you brought me? Which one is right? Oh, you are saying to me, your prophet, he says stupid things. He contradicts himself. Lele, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Wait, uh, no, you tell me because both of them, both of them, they are wrong. Because here, 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 your prophet is getting your God busted. He is he, in one in one verse in the Quran. He's saying that those are small fault. Hold on, a small fault, small fault. Those who you do the following: kissing, touching, seeing, blah 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 blah. Those are small fault. But intercourse, intercourse is a, intercourse is a sin. But listen carefully. But here he's saying too that intercourse is not a choice. So how that can be sin? Oh my God! Okay. Do you know what's gonna happen to you in the, the next hour? I know. What's gonna happen to you in the next hour? We will laugh at this video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> this would happen. <laughs> Honestly, people will die laughing. You know, you are jumping from a tree to a tree. I feel sorry for you, Bilal. So, so <laughs> guys, do you know what will happen after one hour? Your, your God did not know what will happen after one hour. He said to Muhammad that send your men 100, they will fight 1,000. They went to war, they lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I... don't say my god say oh my allah come on you know oh my Sorry, okay oh my so my friend Sorry. when you commit sin according to islam is not a choice any christianity is a choice so, what, so what kind of religion this religion is this is mad so your god he decide for you okay let me ask you do you do you choose to go to heaven it's a, it, is it up to, it, no, no, no. This is the same story, the same hadith, the same, the same thing. I'm asking you. What is fornication what? will lead you to hell or to heaven? Fornication, if without repentance, will okay. lead you to hell. Yes. Okay. Why will lead you to hell? Because it's uh, it's it's a it's sin. It's sins. But if Allah He decree for you the fornication, why you go to hell? Okay, so He decreed for you the fornication. Hmm. Why are you going to hell? Hmm. Are you are you positive one hundred percent you're going to hell because we have repentance? This is another question. I'm asking you. If I, yeah. if you if you let us say I'm driving a car and there's God who control me and he make me make an accident. Okay? Okay. Yeah. And then this God what? he says the one who make accident he will go to hell. But he is the one who made me the go make the accident. How Very that well. how that work in Islam? How you oh. how you are forced to do the accident, which is not accident anymore because this is a plan for it's a crime. Except very good, very good. Mm. So he decreed for us to to do certain stuff, mm. and that decree we don't know about. Correct? We don't know about. Yeah, it would happen later right. to you, right? So, so we, so we, so we live our lives not knowing, but God knows, right? God knows, but we live our lives not knowing what He decreed for us. Okay. So your question for me is, if He decreed someone. To be uh to be like a like a sinner right or a fornicator mm -hmm. his whole life mm -hmm. and that person never that person never uh didn't know about it mm -hmm. and he, to change mm -hmm. can, can, guy, can you change know? can you change can you change yeah well we have choice well, where, where it says that and he what? gave us a he showed us he showed us the right and the wrong no, no, hold on. Uh, we, we, you just say that Allah, He decree for you to do sin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then where is the free choice? How you the can change? Choice? How you can change? Can you stop the doing sin? Can you stop doing sin if Allah decree for you to do sin? Did, did, did God give us also free will? Where we can find that? Let us go. Hold on. You see, Mr. Bilal is a gift from God no, to us. I, Not from okay. Allah. Look, hold on, hold on, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we go back to the same hadith we mentioned, we go back, remember the hadith about uh, 40 days and, you know, the sperm, the semen, we will go back, we're not changing topic, okay, so, according to your prophet, that Allah, he wrote your destiny, and then what Allah, he wrote for you, will decide where you go, it's not your choice, so what you said to me is absolutely false, read carefully, let me give you the hadith, so you can read with me, you know, you don't say, I'm, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like saying things is not there. So here we go. This is the hadith. Open the link. I read with me. Your prophet said the same hadith about the forty days of sperm, which is hilarious. Your prophet, he said, Allah, He will command the angel to write your destiny, your provision, the terms, and the word, etc. Blah 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 blah. Happy or miserable, everything is written by Allah. <laughs> Even bad things will happen to you is destiny. Good things will happen to you is the destiny. So let us, let us laugh. Then it says, uh, Muhammad, he swear, he says, uh, I swear by him who like my my soul he have, you know, uh, that a person of you, uh, he will work the act of people of uh, heaven, you know, the doors of Jannah until there's only one cubit between him and the Jannah you are doing the work of heaven with yes. very good things okay then yes. then what Allah ordained will come to pass 
Do you okay. see it? So what Allah decree for you will come to pass. And then he performed the action of inmate of hell and he entered it. <laughs> so where is the free will? Where's, he, he, he did the actions of hell after. But Allah, he forced him. Don't you read? He, he forced him to do it. It says he forced him. Yes, it says what, uh, what, uh, what Allah he for, for ordained for him to do will pass. Ordained. Yeah, ordained. the decree. The decree. It's, the, it's, it's in the... It's, it's, it's ordained. It's 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 known. It's in his. It's, no, this is the decree. This is the I decree. Don't... What Allah he wrote for him, what Allah for wrote for him, will come to pass, and then he will do the act of people of hell, and he will enter hell, and the same will happen again for the opposite. And one of you, you carefully, and one of you okay. would perform the action of uh, inmate in hell, until there's only one cubit between him and hell. And then he perform. He would perform the act of the doors of Jannah, and he would enter it. Yeah. Okay. This is all destiny, right? Hold on a second. The children of Horus, the version of you. Did you send it to me? I sent you the link. I can send you a new one too. I have tons of them. Man, I have like a. Th I have ten thousand of them. You know. I know you. I know. Yeah. Okay. Wish I had the time to sit there and. Wonderful uh, religion, you know. Man, yeah. how do you make money, man? You must make good money on this. Huh? I make a lot of money, my friend. Thank you, Lord. The Lord, he has given me. Yesterday, I was able to buy bread and I was able to have a tomato. Is that a problem for you? No, that's very good. Well, yeah, that's, I want to live that. Uh, yeah, the Lord is our, my friend, the Lord is our provider. We are not, you see, since I go live, since I go live, did I say to people, give me money? At a fireplace Hold on, something? Bilal, Bilal. Did I say Neighbor? to people, did you hear me saying to people, give me money? Uh, no, no, I, I, to oh. be honest with you, this is the second time I'm listening to you. Okay. I don't know. Okay, let, let me ask you, did your prophet he claim that if you give him money, Allah will forgive books. your sin? Are you selling books? But this is my books, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It's my books. Give it for free because it's the I word give of it God. for free. Who said I don't? I'm Good. giving my books for free to everybody. Ask them in the chat, yeah. All Send languages. What is, what is your origin language? Uh, English, but I'm originally Arab, but I'm, but I w was raised here in Canada. Oh, okay, way. because we have an Indonesian, soon we will publish it in Persian for free, yeah. soon the Chinese for free, Albanian for free, uh, uh, I mean, you name it, Malaysian for free, all is for free, no problem, my friend. But your prophet, he never gave anything for free. He claimed that if you pay him money, you go to heaven, but this is a different topic. Now read with me carefully. Is it your yeah. choice? Is it your choice to enter heaven or what Allah he wrote for you as a destiny will make you right. go to hell or heaven? So, so God says, Yahdi man yasha wa yidhillu man yasha, correct? But this is, cannot be true because if Allah he guide who he want and misguide he he want, he want, nope. uh, can, how he... can be true, can be true only if we accept the destiny. So Allah he destiny for you that you will be misleaded and Allah he destiny for you to be guided, correct? Yes, everyone is everyone. Uh, exactly. So where is the free will? God knows where people are going to go. Yes. This is not about knowing. Change, don't change the word. I said to you, destiny. He destiny for you where you will go. Okay. Okay. So you said to me, you can change. You can repent. But this is not true. Because... It, it is. No, 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 no. Because if you repent, that's because Allah, he wrote for you to repent. It's not yeah. you who repented. Yeah. Well, no, it's 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 free will, though, right? My friend, how it's a free will, but fornication is not. Yeah, going to heaven, to... going to heaven and to hell is decision made by the decree. Does it say, does it say in the hadith that this is a decree? Yes, it does say it's yeah, okay. Yes. So it's a decree before he created the universe. Okay, let me let me, okay. Uh, uh, my, my, my friend, my friend, my friend, you know, uh, Bilal, okay. you see, the, the point of you and me talking is not me shouting at you and you are shouting at me, it is correct. you and me being honest with ourselves, correct? Because if you, uh, if I'm lying to you, I will be uh, I will be ashamed of me claiming to be a Christian, and if you try to lie to me, you will be ashamed of yourself to be a man. That's right. Okay, That's right. so I'm showing you everything I say in the screen. Did I show you what I say? Does it say in yeah. the front of you it's a decree? 
It says yes. that. Okay. So what Allah wrote for you as a decree is going to yeah. take over. Let me give you that hadith. Because here they are using the word decree clearly. So it's a, it's a decree. It's a decree. And then yeah. what will make you go to heaven, the decision will be by the decree of Allah, not by your own deed. Because as you see here, a person who is doing the deed of heaven, he almost enter heaven. Yeah. But then what Allah he decree for him will yeah. take over and that yes. will make him go to hell. Mm -hmm. So it is a decree, which means Islam is a joke. There's no point of converting to Islam or not to convert. There's no point of praying or not to pray. Because at the end of the day, what okay. Allah he wrote, what Allah he wrote is going to pass. And I will do what Allah he decided for me before he created me. I agree with you there. I agree with you there. But I, I, I have to tell you that we don't know the decree, though. Exactly, but doesn't matter who knows or not. But but but, but this is me. But this is me. Islam is a foolish religion, and there's no fear. So being good, being good or bad doesn't matter. Being a believer or not, it doesn't matter. Being a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddha it doesn't matter because all is a decree. And then what Allah he wrote in the decree will happen at the end of the day. So Bilal he pray, I don't pray to Allah. Or Bilal he fast to Allah, I don't fast to Allah. Bilal he do jihad, I don't do jihad to Allah. So Bilal now he might go to hell. Even though he did all this, because it says here, it's a decree. At the end of the day, before you die, Allah will make you do what he decree for you. Yes. So what the point? The point is we do not know. Who cares if we know or not? This is a stupid. So now Islam is a stupid religion because you believe or you don't believe. Who care? It is what Allah He decreed for you. So Bilal, you pray five times a day. Who care? Allah saying to you, you pray, you don't pray. I don't care. You fast, you don't fast. I don't care. You hate Christian prince or you take him as a friend. I don't care. At the end of the time, you do all those things before you die. I will make what I wrote for you happen, and that will decide where you go. Okay, so. You, 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 you feel right, right, Christian friends. You feel that when you pray, when you do good deeds, you give charity, you feel good, right? No, I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad. <laughs> like now, I'm doing charity for you. I feel bad for you, actually. Oh, you feel bad for me, but I'm talking about you. You feel no, good. You, right? I'm just giving the answer. Not all the time I do charity, I feel good. Now I feel bad. I feel bad because a person I'm trying to save him from a stupid cult. Still, you don't want to listen. So sometimes we do good, but still we feel bad. I feel bad for you. Look at this. Uh, you just agreed with me. You just agreed with me, Bilal. What's wrong with you, Bilal? You just agreed for the sake of, of, of whoever you, you know you believe. You agreed with me that at the end of the day is not what you do. It's what Allah decides. So why you are a Muslim? Because at the end of the day, what Allah decides is going to happen. So you leave Islam, it's the decision of Allah. You became a Christian, a decision of Allah. You became a Hindu, a decision of Allah. You fornicate, no. a decision of Allah. You are a thief, a decision of Allah. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with this Allah? So why we are alive, according to your religion, we are insect, and we are programmed, and Allah decides for us where we will go. It's not us who choose. Mm -hmm. So now you understand why I feel bad. I'm doing charity right now. I'm talking to you. I'm not charging you, it's for free. I'm a person who has degrees. I can make money instead of talking to you, spending my time, losing my voice, screaming. Maybe I will have a heart attack one day from, from screaming to, at people. I go have fun and have a, like a, a, make some money and uh, go uh, to a restaurant and have fun. But I'm spending the time with Bilal. And all the time, Bilal is agreeing in his heart, but trying to resist the truth. Can I can I break it down like real simple? Break people? it down. Go ahead. You have God. Mm -hmm. He's the all knowing, all wise. He decreed who's gonna go to heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. You agree there? He he has humans. They don't know if they're going to hell or heaven. They don't know. Mm -hmm. He sent messengers to teach them how to go to heaven and how to go to hell. <laughs> What? Uh, Bilal, Bilal, stop, stop, stop. Bilal, 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 stop, 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 stop. He teach them how to go to heaven. He teach them how to go to heaven. Well, this is how to go to heaven. It's not your choice. What's wrong with you, Bilal? We're going to zero. It is not teaching you how to go to heaven. will make you go to heaven. Why you are going back to zero? You are the same as a grandma. She's trying to learn how to drive, and she is 113 years old. 
my goodness how you, you say know, to me how you say to me the messengers will teach you how to go to heaven when we find we just found out that there's no teaching to go to heaven it is decree it's the decree do you see in the front of you this person he prayed to Allah listen carefully this person yes. the person he prayed to Allah he is doing the act of inmate of paradise and there's only one cubit between him and, and heaven. One cubit, which means less than 90 centimeters. The guy is almost there. And look what will happen. Then what is decreed will overcome yeah. him. Correct? Yeah. So yes. so 90 centimeters, my friend, in your life. The last 90 centimeters in your life is the one will decide where you will go. And none of them is your choice. None of those centimeters is your deed. Is what Allah he wrote for you. Correct? He wrote for you. Yeah, decree. But, but you don't know what he wrote for Who you. Who cares if I know or not? This is not that question. So really? let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, what somebody somebody was able to hack the computer of Allah and he found out that he will go to hell. <laughs> is that yeah. going to make any difference? So all of Islam is a joke. Because in the Quran he says to them, if you do deed, if you do etc., you will have heaven and garden, and then we find that it's not true. It's a decree. Mm -hmm. That decree we do not know. Who cares if we know or not? This is a joke. Uh, it's like, it so Islam Islam is a gambling machine. So like you don't know if you will win or not. And, no, no. and the and the only one who play in the table is Allah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about sincerity. Islam is all about sincerity. In what the sincerity? Man, what sincerity, my friend? We just showed you that a man, he can grab the vagina of a woman. And this is okay for Allah. And even this one is degree of Allah. Where is sincerity? Yeah. No, I understand. Hmm. We don't understand what he decreed. So we live this life. My friend, we understand what he decreed. You will go to hell. Who? Maybe you. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so don't tell me we don't understand what he decreed. You can say we do not so, know what he decreed, but it's already decreed, so it's not you, believe it or not. So Islam is a joke. Because maybe Allah. me, maybe me, in the last 90 centimeter, maybe Allah, he decreed for me, I will do oh. something and I will go to heaven according to says. What does Allah say in the Quran, the first surah in Baqarah, Surah Al-Baqarah, the first ayat? What did He say? What Allah said in the Quran: "Beat them with the beat them with the beef; he will come back alive." And this is how Allah resurrects people. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? La <laughs> uh -huh. Guys, guys, let us go. Let us go there, just because he's trying to escape. But we will go with it. So you are the one who chooses this verse, not me. No. Oh, no, no, it's you who choose it. Alif yes. Lam Mim, Alif Lam Mim, hold on, hold on. Alif Lam Mim, this is the book of guidance. Like, hold on, how this is the book of guidance? And you just said to me, Alif Lam Mim, what Alif Lam Mim mean? Alif Lam Mim are letters that Allah knows their meaning. So how this is the book of guidance, if only Allah knows the meaning? Is that the only words in the... In the is the, those the well, only this is what he starts with. This is what he starts. So this is the book of guidance, Alif Lam Mim. How in the world this is the book of guidance? And when I show you the interpretation, you refuse it. So well, second, if, you are, only... if you are guided, if you are guided by the book, so why you have millions of interpretation? Each one of them is different. 99% of the Quran, and you're going to focus on Alif Lam Mim? Okay, hold on. Guys, 99% of the Quran, it is you who choose for me a verse, and we laugh at it. It's you who said to me, the mountain Allah, he placed at the top of the earth. This is the one, is this it clear is... for you? Okay, hold on. I, I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you. Can you show can me I... a verse is very clear in the Quran, or a chapter have, is very clear? What do you mean a chapter that's very clear? What do you mean? I'm asking, if there is one chapter in the Quran, is it clear? It's not stupid. One chapter in the Quran. Yes, it is, is one chapter in the Quran. It's not stupid. It's like, challenge me that there's a chapter in the Quran, you cannot find something stupid about it. Can you challenge me that? You can challenge me. You can tell me. No, I'm asking you to challenge me. Say to me, I challenge you to find me uh, one chapter in the Quran that's stupid and give me, choose the one where you think there's no way I can find something stupid in it. And my duty to find you how stupid it is. What do you think? Okay, no problem. Go this ahead. is how sure I am. You have 120, 114 chapter. I am sure that every single one of them is a stupid. Every single one is stupid. Exactly. Oh yeah. So then, 
you mentioned also a lot of the stuff came out of Christianity and in, uh, in uh, don't change topic don't change topic Sh show me the, show me a chapter is not stupid one just one you have one you have 114 there's no way that this God he cannot talk without saying stupid things can you find me out of 114 chapters a chapter is not stupid okay. give me surah al-ikhlas go ahead surah al-ikhlas okay we'll go to al-ikhlas guys he chose al-ikhlas hmm. go ahead what do you want to, uh, uh, you like al-ikhlas chapter <clears throat> yeah go to surah al-ikhlas go ahead okay remember this is <coughs> this is your choice not me yeah yeah fine enough fine enough okay قل هو الله أحد. What Allah Ahad mean? قل هو الله أحد. The one. Ahad mean one or one of? قل هو الله أحد. The my, one. My friend, Allah Ahad. Ahad is not a word by itself. Ahad mean one of, correct? So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna is that is that is no, that no, the word thing? ahad. You speak Arabic, ahadu tulab. Translate ahad tulab, one of the student. Correct. He is the one. No, he's one off. He cannot be one. He is one off. So the verse here, look, look what Muhammad did. He says, Qul huwallahu ahad. ahad must be the idol, which is the Muslim they worship and the Arab they worship. Ahad, one of the idols of of of, of Mecca. But look what he did. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. He is trying to steal a verse from the Old Testament. Say that God is a khad. This is what ahad. But because Muhammad is a fool, he used the Arabic word ahad, which does not make sense here because ahad is always a word mean one of, not one alone. So Muhammad is one of alone. Hold on. Allah is Allah is. Hold on. Hold on. Allah is a samad. Huh? Allah is. A, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let us let us see how stupid that is. So say that Allah is one. Allah is a summit. What does a summit mean? What does it mean, a summit? You tell me, I don't know. No, you tell me. You said it's stupid, right? You gotta find summit it. Summit is from Masmuda. This is an Aramaic word. The one who is gathered. So, how Allah is one, but He is gathered in Masmuda? You in wow. Arabic, and you in Arabic, you use the word Masmuda, where people they put coins, they have a, like a, something made from uh, clay, and they have a hole in it, and they collect. Uh, I, I apologize uh, to the watchers. I'm not an Arabic expert. If he, whatever he says, it doesn't matter. You can, you can check it out. So Allah is the Allah is the collect of God. <laughs> and then it is says, it hold on. He say it says here he begotten not nor his begotten. Okay, so he did not have a childrens, and he ha he is not begotten. He is not born to. That's wonderful. Okay, how that can be true? Then in the Quran, in chapter, different chapter, it says that if Allah, he wanted to have a child, or he will have a wife from ourself. You see, you are the one who says to me that this verse, this chapter, you choose supposedly the best. It's not stupid, but this is stupid. Because Allah in the Quran says, in chapter 21, verse number 17, if I want to have a woman, for fun or a wife, I will choose it from us. Us who? Uh, when I checked the translation of a summit, it said the everlasting. What everlasting? Ah, oh, you mean the summit? Yeah. They are guessing. Okay. Because, okay, this is why you see everybody giving you different meaning because they don't know what summit mean. This is Aramaic word. So listen carefully. Yeah. Allah, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from us. Is Allah is one? The verse you gave me, chapter you, you gave me, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ yeah. You claim that Allah is saying he's one, correct? Yes. Okay, so when Allah, he says, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from us. Us who? Yeah, sorry, sorry, say that again. Uh, take if, it from if us? If Allah is one, according to the interpretation yeah. you, you are trying to understand. Yes. Allah in chapter 21 verse number 17 and let me send you the link saying if Allah he want to take a wife or a son whatever he want to take it from us that partner he will take him or her sorry from us who's us hold on I'm gonna get it here in verse 17 right had we intended to take a 
a white person, we could surely have taken it from us mm. if we were going to do that. Lahu la atakhnahu min ladunna. In kunna fa'alin. Us who? Allah wanna take a wife from us. Who is us? Yeah, I do not know. But what do you mean you do not know? You gave me a chapter saying, challenging me about something stupid. This is stupid because if no, that chapter, listen, if that chapter no. does not mean, hold on, you see, now I confirm that the chapter you gave me, Al-Ikhlas, meaning that Allah is one of many Allah. Otherwise, this verse here does not make sense. When we ask the Muslim what the word us mean, they say Allah, he speak about himself as a majestic. He say we, but this is here different because he is talking about taking a partner this is not about us, like uh, we order you us. This is about taking a partner for sex. If we want to take a partner, which is a wife, we will take that wife from us. Mm -hmm. Us who? Us, uh, I, I don't know the word ladunna. Uh, hmm. I don't know who's us. So you see the I Quran, don't... you gave me Alif Lam Mim Al Baqarah saying the Quran is the book of guidance. Now we are guided. That yes. The answer of guidance, I don't know. You see how much no. guidance we have? No. I don't no. know. Each time I say something to you, you end it with I don't know. Like this is the killing switch. Well, they, they say half of the knowledge is I don't know actually. Uh, but... ah, half of the knowledge is I don't know. Is that goes to your God? So if Allah is one, if Allah is one, Allah want to take a partner. Allah will choose one of us. Is us but, is a female? Is is us is a female? Uh, 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 bila, bila. Is us I, is us is a female? Mister, uh, what's the uh, Christian Prince? I did confirm uh, prior to starting the conversation with you. I did confirm I am not an expert. This is and not, I no problem. I'm talking to you as a Muslim man. Aren't you a Muslim? Yes, as a Muslim man, okay. I can tell you the five pillars of faith. That's uh, it. And the, so all that sorry. you know about the five pillars of uh, faith. That's it? No, no, no. I'm telling you the five pillars of faith. Okay. Six articles. Can you uh, show sorry. me? Can you show me the five? Okay, hold on, hold on. You said the five, the five pillars of faith. Who is the one who decided these five pillars? No, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just finish because you were speaking, uh, Christian hmm. Prince. You have to let people speak, please. Um, the five pillars of faith and the six articles of faith. Hmm. Do you have any issues with them? All of them. They are a joke. They're all a joke. Absolutely. So giving charity is a joke to you. Okay, give me, uh, uh, guys, give me charity. Let us talk about charity then. Do you want to talk about charity? Oh my God, I'm telling you the art. The, the, my the friend, don't said, tell me, oh don't tell me, oh my God, say, oh my Allah, you don't have a God. Now listen, you are the one who mentioned charity. Is it true God. that if you give a charity, and this charity is the rings of your wives to your prophet, that will erase your sin? Yeah, uh, 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 Christian Prince. Hmm? Stick to the stick to the five pillars of place. My uh, friend, uh, it's you who choose it. It's not me. What's wrong with you, my friend? Zakat. What is zakat? My friend, I'm asking you. Zakat is a is a is a Hebrew word. Muhammad he stole it. You Muslim don't have zakat. This is from the Old Testament. Zakat. Can you tell me how much the zakat is? It's about two point five percent, I believe. Where, where you get this from? Is it in the Quran? No, that that's what the the Muslim. Uh, so you don't follow Muhammad, it's not in the Hadith, it's not in the Quran, and you fabricate things. So let me ask you now, is it true? Is it true? Is it, uh, hold on, okay, hold on. Is it true? Is it true? If you give your, if your wife, she give her bracelet and her rings to the Prophet, even though if she will go to hell, Allah will make her go to heaven? Okay, now you're going to another topic again. No, this is the charity. It is you who mentioned charity. No, I mentioned the five pillars and the six articles. But do it you is you who mentioned the charity. This is the charity. How in the world there's a religion? If you okay, so if you give the prophet, those women, they will go to hell. Those women are going to go to hell. God and believe in that. Hold prophet. on. Yeah, but okay, but those but those women, they will go to hell. So how, okay, how women they will go to hell if they give Muhammad, hold on, hold on, Bilal, just to show you the joke. I am, let us say I am a prophet, God forbid, and now no, no. I am telling women, you will go to hell because you are uh, kuffar, you don't, uh, you know, you, you don't pray, you don't blah, 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 but then he says to them, but if you give me your rings and your bracelet, you will go to heaven. Okay, fair enough. 
do you do you uh, do you uh, do you uh, the second pillar, which is uh, praying five times a day or praying at all? Is Wonderful. You? Do you Muslim pray to Allah five times? Do you Muslims? Are you asking? Yeah. If we're supposed to pray five times a day. Where it's so where it says in the Quran you're supposed to pray five times a day. Where it says in the Quran you're supposed to pray five times a day. Yeah. The Quran oh. says a three. The three, the, the, the prophet explained that, correct? They don't tell me explain that. I'm saying it's you who said to me, you don't want to follow the hadith, they want to talk the hadith, go to, stick to the Quran. So the Quran does not say, the Quran doesn't say five oh, times a day. Hold on, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says you pray the two end of the day and the approach of night three times, that's it. No, but there's also a, a, a very famous... Okay, how, how, are you saying to me that the Quran is not a book of guidance? Isra al Maraj, can you explain that? Like, uh, Isra al Maraj, when he went to uh, receive the prayers? Okay, he... okay. how many prayers Muhammad received in the Isra al Maraj? 50, and then Moses kept telling him that it's going to be difficult on your people. So it went down to 5, so, but the reward... 50. Okay, so, so Allah, he said 50... Musa is the Jewish guy. He told Muhammad, "This is bad. This is stupid. You cannot do no, fifty. It's not stupid. It's not. It's, it's. 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 You think God didn't know he was gonna do that? He knew he was gonna do that. Oh, so Allah, He told him fifty, but he's playing. Yeah. The, listen, what God does, that's His kingdom. This is His kingdom. What He does is what He does. But I, okay. Uh, but okay. Let me ask you. When Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven, you said Musa has told him to make it until he go to, to five, right? Correct. Okay. Was Musa alive? Was Musa alive? Yeah. The angels, the, 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 from what I know, the, the prophets and messengers, mm -hmm. uh, they are, their soul, uh, actually everybody's soul lives on, actually. It's just the body that dies, but the Moses and them were risen to the heaven i believe where do you get this from because the asra with maraj the story where, where do you get this from that this is his spirit not him no i do not know if it's him or his spirit i do not know how he looked like in heaven so don't they say they say things it's not true he saw a man he saw he even described how they look like you know? did you see the man do you see him okay, uh, no, uh, Christian it's Prince? not me your prophet he went there in the top of a flying mule yes okay so it's not me who said that so when he saw a man he described even how isa looked like he described adam praying and and tears coming from his ears so he described a man so but according to your prophet uh, okay so what, what the, does that have to do with what i told you though about the prayer though okay what does it have to do with the prayer the prayer is three times in the quran muhammad yeah. he come with different story allah he told him you pray to two end of the day and the approach of the night three then why Allah later he make it five? Is, is that a joke? Sorry, say that, say, say that last. What is the purpose? More. What is the purpose? If Allah told him pray the two end of the day, which means in the morning. Purpose, and, uh, okay, and when the, when the sun set and then the approach of the night, three time, okay. Why Allah, uh, he, why Allah he changed it? He found that he's wrong? No, I do not know the purpose of why he, he okay. told him. Let us see first. Do you do you really Muslim pray? You don't pray. Do you pray? Maybe you can look at it as how merciful he is. He, he's understanding. Maybe but he, you can but, say, he, but he increased it. He did not decrease it. It was three. He made it five. No, I'm talking about in, in the story in the, in the hadith when he goes up to. Uh, okay. So to, as long as long everything happened is a decree. So did Allah way, did Allah decree to Moses okay. to say fifty? Can I mention this? By the way, when it, when uh, when uh, when we say five guys, uh -huh. it's actually worded as fifty. So God is showing here a lot of mercy. Oh, okay. So you pray five times, you, you get fifty prayer. Yeah, it's rewarded as fifty. Why not five hundred? That's that's uh, that's how it is. Uh, okay. I, I don't know why. When you when you are rewarded fifty, what does that mean? Allah will put like in bank some deeds for you. Yeah, we definitely have a good. Uh, we definitely have has a good account and a bad account. Okay, we do but we just showed you that it's decree. So what is the point? I mean, how stupid is that? If it is a decree at the end of the day, you pray or you don't pray. At the end of the day, is what Allah wrote for you a decree will happen. About, it's a decree that we do not know about. So no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You pray. It says in the front of you that the person he was praying to Allah, doing what is in made of heaven, doing. 
until there's 90 centimeters between him and Allah or the heaven, and then what Allah decree for him will happen. So what the point of the decree of, of the of the prayer? Nothing. And what kind of a prophet he says to women who will go to hell? If you go to if you give me your uh, uh, your bracelet and your rings, you will not go to hell no more. You can, can you bribe God? Are, are they now better people after giving the ring? So if a woman she is a whore and now she give a ring to the prophet, she will go to heaven. Mm -hmm. But this is what you do for a living. Is that okay? It's okay. And by the way, is a business as a whore forbidden in Islam? Sorry, is what? Sorry? Is business the pimp uh, work? The pimp? Is it forbidden in yeah. Islam? Like a man, he it's... make women work for him as whores. Oh, yeah, it's forbidden, of course. Where do you get this from? Where do you get from? It's forbidden. It's. it's, it's... Where it says where it says it's forbidden. As I know, it says no. It says it's it's allowed. Correct. Pimping whore, pimping whores is, is a fornication. No. Well, no. With fornication, Islam is okay as long you are having sex with a slave girls. So Muslim, Muslim men they capture women, they force them to into into a sex uh, human trafficking, and this is and this is allowed in Islam, chapter twenty four, verse number thirty three. Yes. Correct. Okay, so you yeah. capture a woman, you force her to be a whore. In a worse, no, 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 no. You don't just you don't give her to other people. It's your slave. No, you give her to other people. It says here prostitution. Read it with me, and it says force them not, force them not to do prostitution. Which means if they agree, try to make them agree. So if they agree for prostitution, it is halal. And even if you force them, there's no penalty. Allah is all merciful. Can I go up to a woman in the street now and make her my slave as a Muslim? You can, as long as she is a Muslim. As long as she's what? As, as long as she is not a Muslim. I can go on the street now and make her a slave? That's yes, you can, as long as she is a Muslim. According to Islam, you can. They didn't make the Jews uh, in Medina. Uh, he did. Like okay, who is Sophia? Isn't she? She is one of his slaves. From where, though? From, from what happened? He, he killed her, her family, he killed her husband, he killed her father, he killed her brother, and he raped her half a mile away from the house. A half mile away from the house? In yes. What, what, what happened in that situation, though? What situation? They killed the husband, the, the woman, she is just a bride. He the, killed the what, husband, he killed the father, he killed her brother, he killed her tribe, and then, and, 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 and listen, listen, and then he raped her, and a guy was guarding him out, out of his tent when he was raping the women. It was guarding him outside of the tent when he was raping the exactly. woman? Exactly, I can show the reference. You know, I don't say things unless I can prove it. Yeah, no problem. Do I'm talking about what, what did those Jews do that they killed? My friend, they did not kill anyone. Stop lying. That's not true. That's not the true. They did not. They did not kill anyone. That, that, that is a lie. My friend, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Your prophet, your prophet is the one who started assassinating the Jews. The story of Abu, Abu Akif, a guy, he is over the age of almost 90. He sent a guy to assassinate him just because he refused Muhammad. You're a prophet, he killed the women. Her name is Umm Qufa. He, he split her to pieces between two camels when she's alive. She did not go in war. She didn't have an army. She killed and he took her, wife, her daughter and he raped her. Yeah. Yeah. That is your prophet. So, so as you see, as you see, prostitution in Islam is legal. Uh, came to uh, uh, attack the Muslims. I'm going to bring you, and then they. they it is your prophet. Okay, hold on. You're a prophet when he attacked the Roman. Did he attack them to convert them to Islam or to get the blonde girls? So, uh, your prophet. When he, when he attacked the Romans. Yeah. What do you mean? Did he? Uh, he attacked them for what reason? To bring them to Islam or to get their blonde girls? The Prophet gave three choices. This is not a question. And there's no. The Prophet gave three choices. First of all, this is not a question. A, like he claimed to be, right? Before, he before, claimed, before the you know what 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 your Prophet says to the Muslims, let us attack the Roman to do what? To convert them to Islam? I'll tell you what he. I tell you what he does. Huh. He gives them three options. He sent letters. He sent letters to Persia and I believe Romans as well. Okay. He told them, either you become Muslim okay. and follow God's law, uh -huh. or either you pay tax 
and you live under the under, Muslim under, rules, under our rules? shoes, uh huh. Uh, or uh -huh. not under our shoes. Okay. Have right. So now, uh, so now I live in America, and we are the most powerful country in the world. We will send oh, you alarm. Me. Listen, we will send you alarm. Says we have three hours to accept. Either you pay us jizya as a dog, and you yes. live under our rules, or are we are going to kill you. That will make it good people, right? Yes. So you don't mind if we go and invade Saudi Arabia and force you to pay us money to stay as a Muslim? Right. Uh -huh. as, long, as, long, as long as he, he is, the, is, if he's truly the prophet of God? Uh -huh. Okay, we have, a, we have a prophet, his name is Mr. Trump. He was sent by a god, his name Aloha. No, hold on, I'm talking, uh, listen, stay on topic here. Hold I'm on, guys, as long as he is a prophet of God, he can do that. So a prophet of God, he can attack the neighbors to get the blonde girls. And look here, this is your prophet said, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. Is that true? It's not mentioned in the Quran. This is in the interpretation of the Quran, and this is in the story, and this is in the Hadith. You're always going to bring me interpretation. I'm so, not going to listen. So, to so, but you are the one who said the prophet he sent the letter. Is is it? Yeah. An, is that this is a hadith? It's a hadith. Yes. Okay. So how come you accept that hadith? You don't accept the rest of it? Because I don't know where you're getting your hadith from. I don't know what's. I don't know. I'm, what's, giving, uh, I'm giving a reference. I never said something. Yeah. Without uh, giving the reference. Yeah. Okay. So you have no excuse. I do have an excuse because if the prophet wanted a uh, woman, he would he would have married nine virgins. He only married one virgin. What do you mean one virgins? He slept with many virgins. We do not know how many. Yeah, no, from he married. I'm talking about marriage, marriage. Ah, so you don't count the one he raped? No, you say raped like as if you were there. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> you say you say only one virgin. She slept with him, correct? Yeah, from what I know, Aisha, yes. Okay, was Aisha a virgin? She was a virgin, correct. Okay, then how do you explain to me this hadith? You can bring me any hadith you want. Well, for sure, I bring any hadith I want, why not? Yep, go ahead. Okay, how a woman, she never had sex with anyone before Muhammad, she is a proud... No, no. Hold on, if, I, if, if my wife, she say that I am the best in effing, Wow, she said I'm the best in effing? Okay, now I'm saying to you, if my wife, she said, I am the best in effing, that means she knew many men before me, correct? No, 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 no. It's tell me someone penetrated her. Say, there was my a friend, guy... If, if I, she, she said that he is the best of those who control his penis, and he is the best of we have a one who have a desire, how she knew... So that means she's a, she's not a virgin. That's what you're saying. Well, how she knew that she is asleep in the bed with someone else? Okay, so you're bringing me an obscure uh, way of thinking that uh, what I know to know. I'm not I'm not bringing for you. If a woman she never have any relationship with any man, how she knew that he is the best between all men when it's come to their penises. Is base is that based in, in, in experience or she's lying? Read, read the hadith, man. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Read, read the hadith. Read it. Okay. Read it. Don't, okay. Read the read hadith. It. Okay. Your prophet was a perverted man. When the women they have their menstruation, still he wanna f them. Read it. It's so, in front of you. Here we go. Let me give you the link. Hmm. Isn't it the Quran says, "Wa inna al mahidu adan"? And the menstruation is hurt. Stay away from the women when they have their menstruation. You're a prophet. You don't. Okay. Here's the here's the, here's what it says. Hmm. What he sent me. Hmm. He sent me. Aisha said the messenger of Allah, hmm. peace be upon him, said. Hmm. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not said. Sorry, he said the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, uh, would ask us in the beginning hmm. of our menstruation to tie the waste paper, hmm. the waste wrapper. Sorry, hmm. then he would embrace us. And who amongst you can have as much control over his desire as the messenger of Allah had over his desire? So okay? a man is embracing women, touching them fondling them when they have their administration 
is controlling his desire. Guys, look how much control he have. And Aisha said, and who of you can do that? Aisha, she have expertise. There's many men that slept with her, and they cannot do that. Otherwise, how she know? Secondly, how she is proud about the husband, he controlled himself to the point he forced his wife to push to push a sheet between her legs. She is pushing a sheet so the blood will not come to him. And actually, there's some hadith says that the blood was all over him when he was doing that. So how that is a sign of control of sexual desire when the man he have tons of wives and slaves to sleep with them? Why he want to jump over a woman? She have her menstruation. So that's your that's your proof she's not a virgin. That's my proof that she is he's, she's the virgin because she is comparing him between him and man about sex. And the second yeah. thing is proof that Muhammad was not controlling himself. And number three, Muhammad is a filthy man because he is even working against the Quran. The Quran says that Mahid is a hurt. Stay from the women when they have their hurt. Muhammad don't follow his own book. No, he doesn't say stay away. Like uh, it says, do, uh, no intercourse. He's not having intercourse in this. Hadith. Ah, so the Quran allow you to fondle your wife, play with your penis with her when she have her period, correct? You can, or you can kiss her. You can hold her breast. You can do that. He was course. not. He was not. He, he was. He was kissing her. Huh? He was kissing her. Of course, you can kiss. Okay. You can do. Well, let us see what the Quran saying. The Quran says, stay away from them. Doesn't say you can kiss them. It says don't even. It says don't even get close to them. No. Nope. Uh, really uh, carefully. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, chapter two. The chapter you like. You said, told me this chapter is the chapter of guidance. Alif lam mim. Read with me carefully. And don't even get close to them until they finish the demonstration. Intercourse, my friend, through intercourse. Does the word taqrab, taqrab mean you get close? Does that the word, that the word taqrab mean intercourse or it mean don't get close to them? So hold on, so kick her out of the house is what you're saying? That the does the word taqrab mean get yeah, close to her or mean intercourse? intercourse. So so basically, if you're both in the kitchen, mm -hmm. she has to be in the uh, the next house, for example. Why not, Muhammad? You have thirteen houses. Okay, so that's what should happen. Why not? He has 13 houses. That's your logical way of thinking of this. Well, this is not my logical. The Quran says, don't get it close to them. Somebody with a brain, understand blood comes from the vagina. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, she, and he mentions it here, mm -hmm. uh, waste paper or waste wrapper mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. And and he will, you do not touch it. You do not have sex, man. It's very clear. Okay. You so your prophet, he have all those women, all those slaves. And now the there's house. a woman, she have her period. And now he is controlling the hadith says that he is the best who control his desire. Is that a way of controlling your desire? Why you don't go to other women? She don't have her menstruation. He did go to his other woman. Well, it says here, he want to satisfy himself by the women who have this. He ha she have menstruation. Can you show me a, uh, something that shows she is not a virgin, man? Can you actually show me something? Well, that obviously, she obviously she is not. No, that's your obviously. So okay, hold on, hold on. You know, have you ever heard of a virgin? She say things which is, I mean, very sexual. Someone she is shy. A virgin is a shy. A woman, you know, a woman she is virgin. She will not be. I speaking, you know, loud about sex, but like, did, did you, like your when you when your when your wife, your prophet, okay, they appreciate your wife with my respect, your wife now, to go on Facebook, and she say, my husband Bilal, he order me, hold on, hold on, let us see how shameful it is what you, what, what we see in front of us. Do you appreciate your wife to go on Facebook and she post a post saying, my husband Bilal, he ordered me to put a sheet between my legs and he fondled me. Is that a good post of a good woman? Is that a good post of a woman? Of a good yes. woman? It's a, it yes. is? Okay. Yes to, teach, yes, to teach the people how to live. Just like uh, uh, the Prophet taught us how to use the bathroom. He taught us how to eat. He taught us how to do many things. And that's something part of life that we, a woman need to know. It's fair. It's good. Okay. So I want you to confirm yeah. that, that the women... The woman who post such a thing, yeah, uh, she is a good woman. She's a good woman, yes. What if I show you that your prophet he said that she is a very bad woman? 
No, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we will change the station. Now, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. So now, now, okay, hold on, hold on. Bilal, Bilal. So if she is a good woman. Do you promise me that you will not change your statement? I will not. I, I promise that uh, anything that a woman teaches of the religion uh -huh. to men or women, uh -huh. I, that's a that's an okay woman. Uh -huh. And I will not change that statement. Okay. Uh, repeat again what you said again. I said any woman uh -huh. who teaches, uh -huh. uh, uh, authentically teaches, uh -huh. sincerely teaches uh, men or women, uh -huh. Uh, the 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 religion, obviously through uh not uh, obviously through like uh, how how can I use that word like uh, modest ways right modest not like alone or something like that uh -huh. but uh, teaches them uh, uh -huh. about the religion sincerely uh -huh. and authentically then uh -huh. that is not a bad woman. It's what the woman is speaking about uh, uh, sex with the husband is this is religion. Yes. Why? Okay, so what? So what is the business of the prophet? Because if we did, uh, uh, are, are you saying are you saying that your prophet he did not do his job, and Aisha she was a prophet too? Oh no, the prophet is the one that told them. No, it's not the prophet who told them. Don't lie. It's Aisha. Here, here I said. Where it the says. Prophet asked, the prophet would ask us in the beginning of our ministry. Okay, the but did the, the prophet, prophet, but did the prophet says to Aisha go and tell everybody what I did to you? I, like I mentioned, she's teaching the people. Okay, is is, is she the teacher? Is she the teacher or Muhammad? No, Muhammad is the teacher. But okay, the why Muhammad did not say if you want to have sex with your wife, put a sheet between their legs when they have their menstruation? Okay, he, he probably did say it in other sentence, but this is the hadith that came out. What okay. You, why did Muharrir's hadith come out? Okay, here we go. This is your prophet saying that the most evil woman is the woman yeah. she mentioned to others what happened between them in secret. The most evil woman. The, 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 the sexual acts. It's secret. This is the most secret should be. This is secret between having a, a, a wife and a, you know. If, if no. this is if this is not a secret, what is secret then? Why a woman? No. Listen, it says the most wicked among the people of the eye of Allah in the day of yeah. judgment is yes. a man who goes to his wife and she come to him and then yes. he divorce her secret. So a man speaking about secret of the wife, talking about how he have sex with her, and now we will show you the opposite. The opposite. I if a woman, hold on, if a woman, she tell the same, the most, yeah. the, <laughs> so you're a prophet confirming that women oh. she do that is evil and a man who do that is evil. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So let me, so how, so how, how Aisha, she, did she get, did she get a permission from Muhammad to tell them about how they do sex? Christian Prince, hold on a second. Uh huh. Uh, uh, my wife last night uh -huh. she she uh she um uh, she she uh like we did we did so and so hmm. last night okay. together did you I'm, I'm just telling you that's that's what i did so now no no did, did you do and so and so that's what's wrong okay you but understand hold on but i actually should not say do did, we did so and so then she say that the prophet uh, penetrated me like this, or did this? He cannot because I mean, if if he did, she will do because simply now she have her menstruation, so she is telling you what he did. No, do he, you have a hadith where you said the prophet used to penetrate me, uh, uh, like she used to talk, like she talked to another girl? She okay, said, we will see. Hold, hold on, we will go there. Don't worry. We have tons of uh, we have millions of hadith. You are talking to Christian Prince. Let us see this one. <laughs> You're a prophet, you're a prophet, he said it clearly, that a woman, she tells such a stories, she is a shaitana, she is a devil. That's right, that's right. Any woman that says, my my husband, uh, uh, he, he uh, what's it called, for example, I go to someone, I say, hey, listen, my husband, man, he, he, uh, he does this, 
like mm. this, you know, like okay. he licks like this. He does. Them. Okay. You know, so like if, if a woman she if if a woman she say that my husband he if so good is that okay in Islam? He if so good. Uh huh. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> like like he f so good. Uh, <laughs> Like, like, well, yeah, I, just, I don't think it's like good if you say like he F so good like that. No. I'm just asking you, is that okay? No. It's, it's, it's not to say he F so good. No, no. It's okay. Not good. Is it okay for Muhammad? He say that he is so good in F -ing? Well, he says he's so good uh, and he has the strength of whatever that many men that's what uh, from what i know do you have another one he's where he said i, I, I have okay so good? Did, did you just say that your prophet he can f how many women i don't know how many okay what kind of a prophet he go around and he say i can f those women as many as etc no that's what that's what he said i can i can uh, i can i can uh, have the power to sleep with that many women is that the hadith you're talking about i don't know you you, you tell me the hate you're talking about so your prophet he go around and he say that he have a powerful penis no the strength he said the strength right okay but he's talking about strength of his penis right no even the strength of his body no he was oh, so very... this is uh your prophet he don't have sex with his penis he used his finger maybe no 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 this like his total okay strength, so when you not... talk about the power of Effing, is that involve the power of the penis or his nose, maybe? No, no, the power, the power of effing is... Uh, okay, so finally you say it. Thank you very much. So what kind of a prophet he go around and he speak about how good his penis is? He, he, he actually said that, how good his penis is? Well, you are the one who mentioned the story for me. He said the prophet, he mentioned that he have the power of etc. Not me. No, no, show me the hadith where you said that my penis is so good. It is you, it is you who mentioned to me a second ago that I know that the prophet, he mentioned that he, he can do this and that, correct? No, Okay. I said that as the strength. Strength of, like, of what? In what? Like the strength of... Uh, okay, of, why you don't tell me the hadith? Tell me the hadith, what he said. I honestly, I don't have it up here. Maybe you're better, you can pull it up. No, tell me, remind me. Okay, you, if you give me time, I can try to pull it up. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I will do it for you. Pull it up. Christian uh, Prince, uh, can you mind me uh, asking you? All, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, but I'm looking for it. But have you been Christian all your life? There's nobody who was a Christian all his life. Okay. Have you? When did you accept Jesus into your life? Um, you know, I don't like to talk about myself, but I accept Jesus every day. Oh, every day. Every day. Okay. Because every day you have to review yourself, review your life, and you have to be consistent. So a person who claims to be a Christian, you know, he have to go through a life journey. And I can say I'm a Christian just by saying I'm a Christian. I have to review my life every day and accept Jesus every day as my Lord. And this is why we pray our Father Lord in, you know, in heaven. So you know we we uh, we give him the authority. That's we, we, which means we are uh, we announce the authority that his authority is over us, and that is something we do every day. Because if you do it once and you stop, that means you don't care. Oh, okay. So to be a to be a true Christian, you have to do it every day. You have to be confessing to Jesus that He is your Lord every day. Okay. And every second. Your prophet, he was busy yeah. speaking about his penis. I'm not, find, I'm not finding anything here. Okay, uh, I, will, I will help you. I will help you. Is it true that your prophet, he says, that he was the most weak person between mankind in Ephing? He was the most weak guy in Ephing? In Ephing, yeah. He, he he didn't mention that did he say that oh yeah for me okay no problem and then he invoked his god open this link please with me this is your official islamic website and then he Don't invoked talk. and then he invoked his god Don't do that.
Don't tell me official Islamic website. Is it? Oh, did you just send it or no? Not yeah, yet. here we go. I'm just copying the link. Mm -hmm. All right. So read with me for read for me, Mr. Rabila. Let us uh, have fun with this one. Fayd al Qadir, variant number five, page number fifty-four. We can give it to you from any books. I'm just it's the same hadith. Hadith number four six two six. كنت من أقل الناس في الجماع حتى أنزل الله علي الكفيت فيما أريده من سا إلا وجدته وهو قدر فيه لحم. I was the most weak person between all mankind in Ifin until I invoked Allah and He sent me a dish of shir kebab. <laughs> okay, that's a, this is the hadith. Okay, I don't know if it's authentic. If it's not, if it's, it's up to you. To... Okay, uh, but, but hold on. What's up to you or not up to me? I mean, what, what's wrong with you? I'm asking you now. Why Muhammad is speaking yes. about a god? He okay. sent him a dish of shish kebab yep. to fix his penis. Yeah, is that logical uh, for you? I don't. I don't believe this hadith. So no comment well, well, on that. How come you Muslims? Well, how come the rest of the Muslims believe in it? No, they don't. Well, who said they don't? So why is there? Does it mention that uh, the Prophet had a weak penis in the Quran and he made him strong? Did it mention that? Yes, it mentioned in the Quran. Let's go to the Quran. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Okay. Chapter one o eight, verse number three. People were making people were making fun of the penis of Muhammad, that he cannot make babies, he cannot have sex. Chapter what? Chapter one o eight. Verse. The whole chapter is three verses anyway. I mean, it's just a silly chapter. They call it chapter. Okay. Oh, Al Kauthar, huh? Uh huh. People they were making fun of Muhammad that no, no, he no, cannot no. have sex. No, no, I told you the Quran. I this is Quran. Quran. This is Quran, chapter one o eight. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, this so guys, this is what it says in the Quran, right? It says, "Indeed, we have granted you, O Prophet, abundant hmm. goodness. Hmm. So pray and sacrifice to your Lord alone." Hmm. Only the one who hates you is truly cut off from any goodness. Hmm. Indeed, uh, any goodness, hmm. uh, okay, oh, hmm. that's it. Cut off from what? What is goodness? What is that goodness? Okay, now now here comes Christian Prince and he's going to give us the explanation of the, uh, the no. Quran. Okay, but, are, you, are you saying to me that your Muslim explanation is funny? You told me his penis was weak and you're going to mention it in the Quran, you okay. give me this verse. Yeah. What is that? Okay, hold on. Are you saying to me that you're Muslim when you explain those verses, you lie? No, no. When you, when you uh, okay. So I, I'm asking you. This chapter is about what? Is it about the penis of Muhammad, a man he accused him that he cannot have babies? Yes or no? In your opinion, it is. Oh, okay. I, I, I did not say my opinion. I said according to Islam. According to Islam, is it about <laughs> is it about the penis of your prophet? He cannot have babies. Yes or no? Granted you, O Prophet, abundant goodness. So pray and sacrifice to your Lord. Okay. Allah, only the one who hates you is uh -huh. truly cut off from any goodness. That's what cut it says. Cut off from what? Cut off from any goodness. Okay, I thought the Quran is clear. What is the cut off? Who is the one who insult him and what he is cutting off from? Well, it says here, who will ab abatar, right? Yeah, abtar. What abtar mean? That's wonderful uh, word. Abtar. Now you give me your uh, Christian Prince explanation. No, I'm not giving you the word after is the one his penis is cut off. It means it's... Yeah, he's okay, cut off. So... Read, read with me. This is Ibn Abbas. To see Ibn Abbas. This is the official government website of the King of Jordan. They, oh are, my they, are, they are saying that Muhammad, he cannot have babies. He can't have a children. He can't have sex. So clearly, guys, we see in these ayah, it does not say penis at all. But it says penis. He... It says he is after. He's cut off. After? Okay, yes. cut off from what? Where is the word good? 
Where's the word good? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. When the Muslim that translator says he is cut off from good, where's the word good? You speak Arabic. Show me the word good. It, no, it says cut off. It says okay, cut off from what? What is cut off? What is cut off? Cut off from what? From what? From what? You tell me. From what? I'm asking you from what? From what? He can't have offspring. He can't have babies. He can't have sex. And here we go. This is confirming what Muhammad said. Are you against that? Muhammad, he said, this is a tabaqat al-kubra. This is way more powerful book than the other books. Actually, the Muslim, they use it to, to refute me in their videos. And which is funny, you know, it says at Tabakat al Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number eight, page number 192. Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind. And then, in, in Ifim, in Ifim, imagine, until Allah, He sent me down a shish kebab. Then I ate and I get it in one, and, and right away I ate it. And then and it's have a meat in it. And then after I ate it, it's here He continues saying, Allah, He sent me Jibreel and He gave me a dish. I eat from it and I get the power of 40 men in Ifim. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Muhammad himself, He say, not me, not Christian oh. Prince. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad himself, he's, he's saying, I was the most weak person in Ifin. Correct? Mm -hmm. Why he's saying that? It's not mentioned in the Quran, like you said, it was mentioned. So, well, he, uh, But this is your prophet. And no, the Quran confirmed, the Quran confirmed that he's cut off. The people are saying to him, you are cut off. Allah said to him, no, 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 we give you a fountain in the heaven. And this fountain is white like a sperm. Al-Kawthar, go read it. It's a fountain of very white liquid. What is that fountain? It's sperm? You tell me, I don't know. I never okay, seen Allah, he gave him a fountain. The guy is talking about his penis. Allah okay. said to him, I will give you a fountain in the heaven. And this fountain have a white water or white liquid. Okay, what is that? And then the guy, he have tens of kids. How he is cut off? So and here Muhammad confirming that this Muhammad saying, I was the most weak person on earth in Ifin. Why he's saying that to the people? What is, what is the business of the people to know this? Let us say, me or you, it can happen to anyone. You have a right. sexual problem. Okay, so what is the problem? Why why he go around and he tells such a story? Do you really, Bilal, do you really Bilal, believe that your God he sent a dish of shish kebab? To his prophet to fix his sexual problem do i really believe that yeah it's not mentioned in the quran it's mentioned here this is your prophet hadith it's not mentioned in the quran qala, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the one is talking is your prophet stop really like stop telling me is not mentioned in the quran nothing is mentioned in the quran is, the, is the quran mentioned is the quran mentioned the 50 prayer you mentioned to me well, no, but you no, mentioned it to me. You see, well, Bilal, here you are, you're, you're being a hypocrite, Bilal. So, when you mentioned to me the 50 prayer, it's not in the Quran. The Quran says three. So, what you do when you want to accept the hadith, when you want to spit at it? So, I post the link for everybody in the chat. They can use Google Translation. And now, in the, hold on. Okay. I will give you the link. You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. I encourage you, Mr. Bilal, to translate for us. Here we go. This is the reference. I'm not making things up. This is the reference. Please read for us. Read for us. I will. I will use. I will use Google Translation. If you if you refuse to read for us, you are forcing me to use Google Translation. So do you want to translate to us or no? No, no, I will, I will read, but I gotta okay. just explain to the people that mm. you told me that uh, cut off the penis is mentioned in the Quran, or he. So what is cut off? Weak. Okay, hold on, guys. It's not about, it's not about his penis. It's about what? He, he was weak. You said he was weak in his penis. So show me where it says that in the Quran. You couldn't show me that. Well, you did not show me. That. Okay, the order, no, because the stupid Quran did not. Get, he stopped. That's it. What I will do? Is that my fault now? When so, you say somebody so, is cut off, what is cut off? They are saying to him, his, they have no penis. Okay, I'm going to say now you are cut off. You you tell me, what does that mean? Cut off? Yeah, you are cut off. I'm saying to you, you are cut off. Now, what do you think about that? What I'm saying? Can I read the whole thing? It says, Inna atainaka. We have given you al kawthar Okay, al kawthar is a fountain in heaven. What does this have to do with cut off? Okay, you tell me. Hold on a second. Hmm. Hold on a second. 
Hmm. First of all, he's talking about the time when we go to heaven. Okay. Hmm. Verily, we have granted you al kawthar Fasalli li rabbika wanhar. So, your God and 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 sacrifice. In the shaniyaka, who will abetar? For he hates you. He will be cut off from. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, the kawthar So the because person. The, so the the person. He said to Muhammad, "You are cut off." Allah said to him, no, he is the one who's cut off. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, Bilal, read for me the, the website I gave you, please. Does it say there that I was the most weak person between mankind in Ifin? It doesn't open, to be honest with you. I'm clicking it. It's, it, clear, it, says, uh, it says, oops, like it says. Uh, maybe many uh, people open this, this website, sometimes go down. But anyway, it's open in front of me. I use Google Translation. It says here. I can give you the text in Arabic. Hold on, let me copy the text for you. Uh, and you translate for us. Hmm. I will copy. Cut off from Al Kawthar. Uh -huh. Anyways, you can't tell me that the, the Prophet's uh, penis was weak in the Quran, man. Uh -huh. Just show me a clear ayah, man. Oh, show, show me, me a clear, clear ayah. Well, this is a clear ayah. <laughs> you, ref clear you, ref ayah. you refuse to be clear. <laughs> You are the one who's refusing to be clear, and you know I'm supporting. I'm supporting what I'm saying with your hadith. You know, yes. Muhammad, he have a problem. People making fun of him. People say he cannot have sex. People say he cannot have kids. People say, say if he is really from God, why is God? He cannot fix his problem. And now Muhammad, he come with a solution. Read for me. I just gave you the text in Arabic. And I have it here in Google Translation. <laughs> what, you don't like a shish kebab? Do you have anything <laughs> against it? This is the mercy of Allah. The Prophet penis is not working. Allah, he go to the kitchen. Allah, he go to the kitchen. He made a shish kebab dish. He come back and he say, Prophet Muhammad, don't worry. I sent you a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel. I should not debate someone who who spends his life, uh, and he does he does a good job actually, Christian Prince. I want to just mention that, um, uh, and I I do not spend my life doing that, so it's 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 really not the spot for me. But I only came on here to speak to him, talk to him, see where his brain was at, and everything like that. And he he obviously is uh, you know he he has his point of view, mm -hmm. which. It's, it is what it is. I, I cannot uh, obviously change anyone's. Yeah, point shish kebab. Of view. You know, it is what it is. Shish kebab. A prophet, he go around and he talk about the power of his penis. How do you explain yeah, to me? How do you explain to me that there's a prophet of God? He go around with the power of his penis to talk about it. What, what is that? Comes, what is that telling you? But, but when it comes to the six articles of faith, of basically the prophet mentioned the pillars of faith. He what cannot, is the pillar of faith? There's nothing. There's no such thing. I showed you. Islam is based on destiny. Actually, even, even the pillars of Islam is based on the destiny. Can you deny that? Believing in God. Can you deny that? Can you deny that? That, that, that destiny. That. Can you can you can you deny that destiny is the major belief in Islam? And and the Torah. And can the, you and deny that? I want an answer, Bila. Don't jump. Destiny, correct? So what pillar of faith? This is your uh, destiny. It's a stupid yeah. religion. So it's a destiny that Allah He made Muhammad penis doesn't work. It's a destiny that Allah. He make him this, commit sin. The, is it's that, childish to talk like this, man. It's, it's childish. If you're going to de debunk the monotheism, the, 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 I, the I, monotheism. I just did. I just showed you. You said you are monotheist. You are not. Allah, he said, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from us. How Allah is one, he will take a wife from us. What you did, you jump over it. So we debunk it, you know, you Muslims are mushrikeen, you are kuffar, you cast a black stone, claiming that a stone will erase your sin. No, no, we don't. Who said that? What do you mean? So why you kiss the stone? Kiss the... I lost you, Milan. Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah. So, so are you saying that the one who believe that the, kissing the stone erased your sin is a false teacher? 
What did what did Omar bin Khattab say when uh, when people when uh, about kissing the stone? What no, did he say? What he said? Tell me. He said, "If it wasn't for the Prophet uh, to kiss you, we would never kiss you." Okay, and why the Prophet kiss it? Okay, that's that's. Why did the Prophet do many things? Why did he kiss it? This is a, a, a sunnah of the Prophet. Why did he kiss it? I don't this know. This is the question. I'm asking you why he kissed it. I thought Islam is uh, Quran is the book of guidance. Does it say in the Quran to kiss the black stone? Scholar, you see, you, like you are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, the Quran is the book of guidance. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I don't care if you are a scholar or not. Simple question, you, you live in Saudi Arabia, did you kiss the black stone yet or not? I did, yes. Okay, so why you did it? Because the Prophet did it. Okay, why the Prophet did it? I don't know. So you Muslims are crazy people, you do things, you don't know why? That's not true, no. Okay. I said to you that kissing the black stone, the purpose of it to, uh, to erase your sin. You said no. Who said that to you? There's, no, th I, there's no, a big I, shake. He said that. I can show you the video. A big shake. He says if you kiss the black stone, if you touch the black stone, it erase your sin. Does it say it in the Quran, my brother? Does it say so, it in the Quran? Are you saying the shake is an idiot when he said that? I am saying that I don't trust anybody except the Quran. Okay, only. are you saying he is wrong and he is being silly when he said that? Because why he is saying that if you touch the black stone, it's a racial sin? Christian Prince, Christian Prince, are my words not clear? No. It's clear. The I, Quran, uh, I believe it 100%. You can tell me Sheikh or Fulan or Fulan. Okay. I, I do not care about them. Boy, he's a, he's a big Shia Sheikh. I don't care. Shia, Sunni, uh, Kelbi, whatever. I don't care. So okay, so they are wrong. Do you believe? They, okay, so so do you believe? Do you believe that this is wrong? If somebody says touching the stone erase your sin, do you believe this is wrong? Uh, if, if it's not mentioned in the Quran, I, I don't I don't believe it. Okay, is it wrong or not? I don't know if it's wrong or not. So why you don't want to believe it? So there is nothing wrong with it then. Is it wrong or not? Okay. I'm telling you are you feeling? Are you feeling that if you kiss, if you touch the stone? And you think it's a race your sin? Do you think that this is paganism? Do I think that if touching the stone erase the sin? Do you think this is a, a clear sign of paganism? If somebody believe in that, paganism, uh, I would say more possibly. Uh, uh, well, paganism. I don't know. Like, I don't know what. Like, uh, it's not something that uh, I know. Who who forgives sins is God. Okay. Give sins so, God. so if, if somebody said if you touch the black stone your sin is erased is he being pagan is he wrong is he stupid what he is if he touches the black stone yeah and it erases his sin yeah i'm gonna tell you and mm. i'm sorry to say it again mm. i don't know but uh, you, you use your brain for a second. If there is a belief, say believe, this belief, believe that if you touch this stone, touching it, erase your sin. Is that a good belief or pagan belief? What, what's wrong? Did I, but did I mention to you like the stone itself? Mm. It's something I don't even know. I, I don't know a full history about and stuff like that. I it's don't not know. the question. I don't care if you know history or not. This is not yes. about the birth certificate. It's not the topic I'm talking yes. about. If somebody says to you, you, you go to the mosque, and then the sheikh, he says, if you touch the black stone, it erases your sin. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's wrong, yeah. That's wrong. Thank you very much. The one who said that is your prophet. The one who said that is your prophet? Yes. And the hate in front of your eyes. Here we go. I'll give you the link. Go ahead. Here we go. Yeah, so it's a reward, right? What reward? It says it erase your sin. What reward? I said I heard the message of Allah say touching mm -hmm. them will uh, touching them erases sins. Uh -huh. And I and and I and I heard him say, whoever circum circumambulates seven times, mm -hmm. it is like free a slave. Yeah, so you don't have to free a slave. Just go around the black stone seven times. That's it. And then if you touch the black stone, erase your sin. And you are the one who told me it's wrong. It's pagan. All right, so the reference for this one is Surah An-Nisa'i, 
It's not from uh, Bukhari or Muslim. My, so, my friend, my friend, my friend. It, and, and you're saying it is good. Serious. It's a good hadith. It's a good hadith. It's a good hadith for who? For you. <laughs> no, 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 for you. Okay, here we go. It says Hassan. What Hassan mean? Hassan is for who though? Who? Oh, okay, like, for the Muslim. This is the Muslim website. This is why the viewers will always be confused because you don't bring it from the Quran. The hadith from the Quran? No, hadith, the black stone, touching a black stone in the Quran okay. uh, takes away your sins. But Show me I the Quran where it says touching a black stone or the two corners so of the Kaaba. So now anything your prophet, he said in the hadith, according to you, if it's not in the Quran, it's, uh, your prophet is a liar. No, no. Okay, because, because to... you are the one who said to me, Allah gave him 50 prior and then he made it five. I said to you, where he said that in the Quran, the story, you said it's not in the Quran. Now you are saying to me, you will not accept the story unless it's in the Quran. You just mentioned to me that Omar Khattabi said, I know that you are useless, I know that you are harmless, and I. but if not, the Prophet kissed you, I will not kiss you, but it's not in the Quran. No, did, the Quran the did the Quran say the black stone is useless? The Israel of Miraj is mentioned in the Quran, though. Where it's, where it's, where it's mentioned? There's a chapter. No, it's, yeah. it, it's uh, uh, okay. Uh, hold on. It says uh, this chapter is called Al Isra, right? But it says nothing. Yeah. What where, where it says? Surah? Yeah, what it says. Stupid verse. There's nothing there. Let's talk about the Layla, the, 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 the trip he did in one who? night. To who? The Prophet. Where it says the Prophet. Okay, hold on a second. No, I'm telling you that the trip. Okay. okay. Hold on. Show me here. We go. I will learn from you where it says he went to heaven, where it says he went to uh, Muhammad, he went to heaven, where it says that, where it says that, uh, said, huh? okay, hold on, okay, uh, uh -huh. verse, my friend, you don't need to look for it. Chapter 17, verse number one, and tell me any translation you want. I will put it for you. What translation you like. Yeah, just put Quran, uh, Quran.com. Okay, this is Quran.com. Okay, where it says that Allah, He took him to heaven. You Muslims are lying to yourself. Okay, who is Abdihi and where is the heaven? Abdihi, Habibi, we all know it's Prophet Muhammad. Is there anybody else? Okay, no, there is a, don't Allah, He loved Jesus too? No, no, but is there another guy? Oh Allah, love only in Muhammad. This is in the Quran, though, brother. No problem. I'm saying if is there the is somebody Quran? Muhammad Quran? only, he love Allah, he love only Muhammad. Secondly, secondly, you told me that Muhammad he went to heaven. Where is the word heaven? Masjid al-Aqsa in one night. Masjid al-Aqsa is supposed to be in Jerusalem, according to you Muslims. Where is the word heaven? Muhammad did not go to heaven, according to the verse. I told you about the trip. I told you the trip. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You told me he went to the heaven and there he found Musa, correct? Oh, that's no, that's 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 it goes into detail in the hadith. Okay, so the Quran never mentioned that Allah he take him to heaven, correct? That's right. It says here, okay, guys, look how stupid the Quran. What? The Muslims, no. look, hold on, hold on. Allah he consider. The trip of Muhammad to Jerusalem is more important than the trip to see him or to come to him. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah He took him to the heaven in the verse. Why? But it does. It says He took him the, the, the trip there. But I told where, you. Where? Where? Trip what? there? Where? Trip where? Trip where? Trip, 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 trip. No, hold on, hold on, Bilal. Why? You are the one who said you want to, you don't want the hadith over the Quran. So why why you agree that Muhammad he went to heaven when there's nowhere in this chapter, which is a chapter of Isra, says Allah he took him to heaven. It's the beginning of the journey. The more details was in the, the, the uh, in the hadith. Like, okay, hadith so guys, so now we have to agree. So we go back to zero. The details is in the hadith. So when I show you the chapter saying Muhammad is cut off, the details is not there. The details in the hadith. So you see how hypocrisy work. When you want, when you want, the details is in the hadith. When you want, you refuse the details in the hadith. <laughs> <laughs> now hadith. we go back, we go back, hold on. You said, uh, you said it is wrong to believe that touching stones erase your sin. 
okay so europe europe prophet is the one who taught that and you muslims you muslim rank the hadith as hassan is it true that one of the grandsons of muhammad hold on hold on what the word has what the word hassan mean what the word hassan mean with the quran so i reject them but if they coincide with the quran you, you are, who, who are you to reject them is that up to you I follow the Quran. Anything that is not uh, coincides with the Quran, that's the master al awwal. The master al awwal is the Quran. Okay, wonderful. You know? The Quran says you do muta. The Quran says we do muta. Okay. Okay. In what circumstance? So no, hold on. There's no circumstance. Show me. There's the same thing. Oh. That don't lie. Don't lie. Okay. So now, do you still still do muta or you don't do muta? Okay. Now, now you, you are. Do we do muta? Or, we don't do muta now. Why uh, not? As long as long you, you don't accept anything as against the Quran. The Quran says, chapter 4, verse 24, you do muta. Did the, did the, okay, but did the Prophet talk about the muta? But you just say it. If a hadith don't agree with the Quran, we don't accept the hadith. Yeah, accept it. Yes. You accept it now? No, no. Uh, if the, if the, <laughs> the, the, what the, what the situation of? What's it to saying? What's it to saying? What's it to saying? You're a prophet. The situation is you're horny. That is a situation. You're a prophet. He says if a man and a woman they like to yeah. have boom boom, they can agree to three days and if, or three nights and they can increase if they like to increase. Correct. In what situation? Horny. That's it. Yeah. The, so, you, don't you have the Quran? Don't you have the Quran? Does the Quran say? Does the Quran says anything about situation? Does the Quran say anything about situation? Read with me carefully. This so, is this is Sahih al Bukhari. This is not weak. This is not a hadith you can say I don't accept. This is al Bukhari, and I will give you the link. It says the yeah. Prophet. The Prophet did not put conditions. He said if a man and a woman they like to do boom boom for three days, three night, go for it. If they like to increase, they increase. If they like to decrease, they decrease. If a Shia, if a Shia guy was speaking, he would have accepted. <laughs> oh, a Shia, why not? A Shia is better than you because a Shia is still following the steps of the Quran. You're Muslim Sunni, you are not Muslims. You refuse the Quran, you accept hadith. Sunni, so Sunni is the worst form of Islam, you said, you think? You know, uh, 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 let us say Sunni are extremely in stupidity in some way, and Shia are extreme in stupidity in other way. Like you know, the Shia they have some stupid belief. Like if you wear a, a, a black shoes, your penis will not work. So obviously, your prophet his shoes was black. <laughs> and you Sunni, you have other belief. Like Muhammad saying that if the man have organs in first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have organs, the baby will be a girl. <laughs> so both of you are you know believing in stupid things. So don't think you are better than the Shia. I noticed you're using, uh, what's, what is this? QuranWow.com? What, what? Quran what? What? The, oh, what? <laughs> okay, what are you doing? This is Sunni website. This is owned by the... Uh, you didn't send me anything, right? You didn't send me anything? I sent you a link about the hadith about you can enjoy a woman for three days, three nights. Actually, I was going, to, you know, I like I like to do tourism. I was thinking to go to Saudi Arabia to do three nights tourism, you know, but I don't know if the Muslim Sunni, they do that now. Is that decency? Will I be honest with me? Uh, okay, so here, let me just read it to the people so they know the full, uh, maybe they can see it. Okay, they can um, see it, yeah. Allah's Messenger said, if a, man's, uh, if a man and a woman agree to marry temporarily, which is muta, right? We mm. all agree there's no muta. word. There's no word marriage there in the Quran. It says ishra in the, in the hadith. Ishra. Okay, so to, ishra. To sleep together. Sleep together, not marry. This is false translation. Okay, continue. Okay, and a woman agreed. Uh, their marriage should last for three nights. And if they like uh, to continue, they can do so. <clears throat> and if they want to separate, they can do so. And then it says, I do not know whether that was only for us or for all the people in general. So this guy obviously does not know if it was for us or all the people in general. So situational event that happened, we do not know Mr. Uh, Christian Prince. No, the Quran that, is so clear. The Quran says any, anyone want to do muta paid in their wages. It doesn't say no, only for you. It's a verse of the Quran. And then it goes on to say this way. Don't lie to the people here. It says, Abdullah, uh, it says, it says, Ali made it clear that the prophet said the muta marriage has been canceled. Hmm. So why don't you tell the people that? Ali, he said that? 
Yeah, it says it here. The same, the same uh, who thing is that you who, who is Ali? Ali, the cousin of the Prophet. Okay, who cancelled it? The Prophet did. Can Muhammad cancel what Allah he approved? I'm telling you that that this guy didn't know if it was situational or not situational. Okay, but Muhammad did not say it's situational. So why it's situational anyway? Guy doesn't know. The guy he says here, I do not okay, know. Okay, so the... why you are assuming that he you know it's situational? Then the guy is an idiot. He's just reporting what Muhammad said. He's not a prophet. He is just saying the prophet did the prophet say there is a situation the, your prophet said if a man and a woman they want to do boom boom they can go for three days three nights if they'd like to increase they increase can you, can you also can you give me the ayah please about muta can you get it sure chapter 12 you know 424 here we go yeah send it to me please yeah no problem <clears throat> The Quran doesn't say anything except you have to pay them their wages because they are hookers. By the way, Christian Prince, you, uh, uh, how come you don't uh, debate like high, high up, like Muslim, or maybe you try to, but they don't want to? Is that what happens? My friend, did I say to you last time you can call any sheikh you want? I don't know if I said that to you. I always say to Muslims, and this is a wonderful thing you mentioned. Do you live in Saudi Arabia? Guys, don't you think it's wonderful if Mr. Bilal, he called the biggest sheikh he can ever call in Saudi Arabia to debate me? What do you think, Bilal? No, no, like, uh, like uh, uh, you, you mentioned Zakir Naik earlier. Have you ever Zakir Naik, to... Zakir Naik is not a sheikh. That guy don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly. I'm talking about real sheikh. I don't mind to take Zakir Naik for a snack. I'm talking about real sheikhs. You live in Saudi Arabia. Why you yeah. don't call the highest no, sheikh but... ever? Maybe the Saudis. Maybe the Saudis. I don't think they are accustomed to Bible, uh, Bible, uh, like like the Bible. You know. We are debating about I'll... Islam, not about the Bible. But if you want to ask about the Bible, no problem. No, but it would be fair to know uh, a guy who knows both, like you, right? You, okay. You know both. So, are you saying to me that all the sheikhs in Saudi Arabia they know nothing about Christianity? Uh, honestly, yeah. uh, I, I think the vast majority. I, I haven't met one personally, to be honest with you. I know. Yeah. You, know, you see those chick in Saudi Arabia they are busy doing breastfeeding for adult. They're they're busy doing what? Breastfeeding for adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah yeah yeah? Don't you know that the Prophet he ordered women to breastfeed <laughs> adult? I, I know I know I know what the hadith you're gonna mention. Okay, what's wrong with it? Are you laughing? Why are you are laughing? Show respect, man. No, I'm not. I'm not I, I clearly mentioned in the beginning of this conversation, let's stick with Quran, but you just kept so, jumping. But this is Quran. But this is Quran. Isn't it? Ah, she, she said that this is a revelation of Allah, the prescription for adult. Uh huh. This is Quran. You said it's hadith. Now it's Quran. You said? It is Quran. The breastfeeding for adult is a Quran. You didn't send me the the ayah of the other thing. Okay, I send you the ayah. Hold on, let me let me do this first. Let us do this. Hold on. As you see, the breastfeeding for adult it was a Quran. Read carefully. Aisha, she oh, said. Aisha, oh, she mutah, said. Yeah. Yeah, we will go mutah. Mutah. This is mutah too. This is mutah. You know, Muslims, the only thing you do is mutah. There's no marriage. It's sex contract. The verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult. You see it. The verse. The verse of where's Estonia. The where is the muta ayah? <coughs> where is the muta ayah? Here we go. This is the muta ayah. <coughs> no problem. We will go back to the breastfeeding for Lord because Islam is a crazy religion. One day, one day Christian Prince, uh, inshallah, you're gonna you're gonna come to Islam, inshallah. Yeah, and I will do breastfeeding for adult. But you need to find me the verses before first. I'm really upset now. I mean, how in the world, how in the world, Allah, he sent. Listen, 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 yeah, 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 inshallah, yeah, inshallah. I mean, this is very silly. If the Quran, sure. if if your sure. prophet says it's a destiny, so what do you mean, inshallah? <laughs> listen. So, so if you're not sincere, if you're mm. not sincere, mm. uh, well, I don't know the destiny, that's why. I okay, but I have a question for you. I really want to convert to Islam, but I'm worried about my penis, if you don't mind. Your prophet said that the penis of the man will be in this like a palm tree. I want you to explain to me. It Honestly, it it's not a joke. I can show you the reference. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not laughing at you. Don't laugh at your prophet, please. Please show respect. So, do you think there's a prophet of God? 
he promised such a promise don't you think this is extremely stupid so you are going to have endless penis and your wife is next to you so your penis will go to the seven galaxy and he's not done yet he's still going 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 but your wife is next to you how are you going to have sex with her with such a penis hmm? But anyway, read. We have muta'a, we have breastfeeding for adult, it's not Quran, and the goat ate the Quran, and now I challenge you to show me the breastfeeding for adult verses, and the stoning verses, why they are not in the Quran, the goat ate them. Okay, so it says here also, uh, prohibited are women already married mm -hmm. except those whom your right hand possesses okay so you can rape you can rape a married woman correct what do you mean you can marry a, a married not marry not marry you can rape you can rape a married woman those are your slaves even if their husband even they are married they have husband you can rape them where does it say that it says in front of you it's forbidden for you women they are forbidden for you except Except who? Your slaves. It's forbidden for you married women. But there's exception from the married women, the slaves. So if you have a woman, she is a slave, and she is married, you can rape her. Okay, like, okay. Mm. Uh, when, when, what a religion, okay. And, when they used to, and then it says, to, what, okay, and then it they, says, uh, it says, are, yeah, oh. and then you do muta. Okay, hold on a second. Let me continue here. Mm. Thus hath Allah ordained uh, prohibitions against you. Okay, except for th uh, these, all others are lawful, provided mm. you seek them in marriage mm. with gifts from your property, mm. desire and chastity, mm. not lust, seeing mm. that ye derive benefit from them, mm. give them their dowries. Mm. As prescribed, mm. but if after a dowry is prescribed, agreed mutually, there mm. is no blame on you, and Allah is the all knowing, all wise. Okay, where is the let us see? There's some words you say in the English, stay is there, but I don't find them. Where it says you marriage, talk... where, where it says marriage, the word marriage, can you show it to me? It says, provided you seek them. No, no, you where, where it says the word marriage, the whole verse. Oh, you mean the Arabic side? In the in the Quran, the Arabic Quran, does it say the word marriage? So you don't marry married women, right? Do you? Prophet showed us you get married, right? You, you okay. give them a so mother, right? It's not forbidden for you to have sex with married women. So you do not marry marry a married woman, oh. but you are talking about sex. Okay, and then he continues says, and then after that you can go and you can pay them in what you enjoy. This is the word muta coming from here. Famas tamtatum bihi. So the one who enjoy the vagina, you pay them their wages. Pay them their wages. This is the verse of the muta. There's no other verse in the Quran for the muta. This is the only one. And you know already about the muta. It's halal, right? At least at a certain time for the Muslim Sunni. This is the only verse in the Quran for the muta. You can go and check all interpretation. Well, the hadith you showed me said that Ali said the Prophet forbade it after. Okay, no problem. But I can show you that the Prophet did not. I can show you the Prophet he forbid and then he allow and then he forbid and then he allow, which is a proof that he's a crazy. Wow. Yeah, he allow, he forbid, he allow. He's it's a joke. Mr. Prince, how long? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, how how long can you? Uh... Is there any verses in the in the New Testament that are a little bit con uh, controversial? Controversial? Yeah, like any verses like in the in the New Testament. I don't know. Like I mean, what I know about the New Testament is a book of God. It's wonderful, and this is why the Quran. Just to show you how stupid the author of the Quran is, you know, you Muslim, you say our book is corrupt, correct? Yes, not all of it. Not all of it is corrupt. Not all of it. Okay, so why yeah. the, why the Quran calls the people the book if we don't have the book? Why does the people call what? The people of the book. Do we still have a book? The book of God? Or we have a corrupt oh. book of God? Do you have a 
corrupt book of God. So why the stupid Allah keep saying to us we are the people of the book? If we have we have no book no more because well, you, guys are, you guys are you guys are people you guys have received the book no 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 he keeps calling he's us the... he, he is calling the Christian in the time of Muhammad people yes. of the book that's yes. mean that's mean he agree with the book I have received the book okay do we have the book in the time of Muhammad do you have the book in the time of Muhammad yes I don't I don't know what book you had at the time of Muhammad okay was, had... was the Bible in the time of Muhammad corrupt the gospel? Yes, they corrupted. Okay, then how you explain to me this then? Remember, you are the one who says it was corrupted. That's right. Hmm. Read for me. And, uh, no, uh, uh, listen, read, read and laugh. Everybody heard you. It is corrupted. Yes. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> it is. Okay. All right. Especially when it comes to the, the okay. Jesus being the Son of God. No problem. Yeah. So how the Quran says confirming what is with them. <clears throat> the Quran mean? confirm the book is with us confirm it all of it what is with us not was with us yeah okay so it's confirm what we have why the Quran no. confirm it he, 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 okay read it read it go ahead he, oh no he initially gave them a book the gospel mm -hmm. that they had was pure from God mm -hmm. And then they tried to kill Jesus. Hmm. And when they tried to kill Jesus, hmm. God saved Jesus hmm. and lifted him to the heavens. Mm -hmm. And what does have they... to do with my topic? I'm asking you. Does the Quran, the does the Quran in the time of Muhammad saying that Allah he confirmed the book is with them? Min ahlil kitab. They're ahlil kitab. They have received a book. My friend, does it say Allah confirming? The Allah he sent the book, which means the Quran, confirming what Allah, is with Allah. them. The Quran confirm what is with them. What is with us? The book saying Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. hmm. So how do you confirm that? How, how do I confirm that? Mm -hmm. From what I know, what he he mentions the Ahl Kitab, they are people that have received a book. But he's confirming what is with us, not it was. The Arabic is so clear. What is with them? Is now, not was. No, we can show oh, it tons of verses. No. Okay, let me ask you: Is the Torah is corrupt or not? The Torah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, if I give you the Torah to swear in it, to take an oath, you will accept or you will refuse? I will refuse. Why you will refuse? I, uh, the Quran is the only book that has not been changed. So, if somebody swear by a book, is it changed? He is what? Being stupid? Because I gave a Muslim, <laughs> I, I gave a Muslim a, a, the, the Torah. He took an oath of it because he said he believed in Moses. He said, I swear by you. You think he's being stupid? He should not do that. I don't. I don't know why he would do that. But you would not do that, right? It's wrong. No. What I would do is do it on the Quran. Okay, but why you would not swear in the Torah? Why would I swear on a, a Torah when I have the Quran? Wait, what? Okay. Is the what is the problem to swear in the Torah? It's a corrupt book, according to you. And the, what's wrong if you swear in it? It's clearly stated that we do we cannot we cannot uh, believe one hundred percent in it and one and we cannot deny one hundred percent of it. The okay, Torah so so can you swear by it or not? Is it is swearing by the Torah is wrong, or it's a stupid behavior? Swear on the Torah. Swear in the Torah. If I must them, if I give you now the Torah or the Gospel, I say no, 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 put your no, hand on it and swear. Yeah. No, 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 the, no, the, 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 the book which we which, which the Jews have with them. Now, today, right? You're talking about today. Oh, even uh, a long time ago, before Muhammad. No, but, okay, well, today, Muhammad, he came 600 years after after Jesus, and the Jews, yeah. they have a book with them. Can the Muslim take an oath in it? We can swear with the original Torah, which okay. was... Okay, can the Muslim swear by the Torah, which the Jews have in the time of Muhammad or after? 
No, in the time no. of Moses. Why they cannot? 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 Because we believe it's Munharaf. Okay, so you don't believe in Moses then? No, we do believe in Moses. Okay, this is the book of Moses, right? No, I told you if the one that Moses received, we can swear on it. Okay, the one that... so the, the the book which is was in the time of Muhammad is not the book of Moses. This is why the Muslim they should not swear by it, right? Right? No, the, the no the time of Muhammad was the Quran. No, no, the, the Torah which the Jews have in the time of Muhammad or after, or a few years after, you know, this is not the book of Moses no more, according to you. Yes. Okay, so when somebody, he swear by it, he is doing sin. I'm not going to say he's doing sin or not. But well, I'm why not? You. Why not? Why you cannot be honest? He's doing sin or not? Do I, have a, do I have a clear ayah that says that's a sin? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know one. Well, you just you, you just said to me, it's, are you sure it's corrupt or you are not sure? No, no, I am sure that okay. it has... Okay, so if it's corrupt, it's mean that the word of Satan, Shaitan is there. Are you going to swear by a book, have the word of Shaitan? No, we don't. We do. it's, what do you mean, are you going to swear? No, I'm not going to swear by it, but is it a sin? If you it's swear a, by a book, the Shaitan wrote in it his own chapters, is that a yeah. sin or not? Most likely, yes. Okay, so why you prophet he swear by it? See, I know you're gonna lead to that. I, ah, I that's why you are trying to get away from it. Well, I know you're gonna lead to that. Man. Yeah, because, because now you learn, now you know. So you're a no. prophet, he said, bring me the Torah. Bring no, the Torah. The and he Torah. took the cushion no. from underneath of him. And he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Yes. The and you just said, and everybody heard you saying, it is swear? wrong. What Torah did he swear with? He swore by the Torah, which they have in his time. No, no. did he have a Torah? No, 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 no. Don't try to twist it. Read the Hadith. He swore... What's a, what's a Torah is mentioned in the Quran, buddy. Read the Hadith. Read the Hadith. They gave him, they gave him a physical written Torah. A physical written Torah. He took it, he put it in the cushion. And then he placed his hand over it, and then he said, I, I, I believe in thee, and the one who sent thee, or revealed thee. Yeah, the one that sent thee. The, the uh -huh. So he was swearing by a written book, which is 600 years after Jesus, and it is not corrupt. Because if it is corrupt, that's mean Muhammad is a fraud. All right, so so he, you're saying that he confirmed that they are not corrupt? Well, how he swear by a book? It's you who said to me it's wrong to swear by a book, it's corrupt. He come up with the Quran then if it wasn't corrupt. My friend, you are the one who said, I said to you why you should not swear by a book, what? it's corrupt. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you should not. So why you are normal? You are a normal Muslim. You are not going to do that such a mistake. But a prophet of God, he do that, and he say, "I believe in thee." Not only he swear by it, he what says, he "What Torah did he swear?" And it's not even mentioned in the Quran. But anyways, we'll go with your hadith. Uh -huh. What Torah did he swear on? The Torah which the Jews have in his time. There's only one Torah. So the Torah that he had in his time. Correct? Yeah, the Torah never changed. This is how okay. it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. How, so he, he, how he swear by it? How can you send me that? Huh? Can you send it to me? Can you send me it? Can you what? Can you send it to me? Yeah, you you have it already. Oh, you sent it already? Uh huh. All right, so a group of, okay, narrated Abdullah ibn Umar. A group of Jews came and invited the Messenger of Allah to Kuf. So he visited them in their school. They said, Abdul Qasim, one of our men has committed fornication with a woman. Hmm. So they pronounced judgment upon them. They placed a cushion for the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hmm. who sat on it hmm. and said, bring the Torah. It was then brought, he then withdrew the cushion from beneath him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I believed in thee and in whom who revealed thee. He then said, bring me one who was learned among you. Mm -hmm. Then a young man was brought. The transmitter then mentioned the rest of the... Okay. 
Okay, so your prophet, he put the Torah, he took the cushion underneath of him, he's showing too much respect to it, and then he placed it in the top of the cushion, and he says, I believe in thee, and the one who revealed thee. So he acknowledged two things, that this mm -hmm. book is revealed by God, and this yes. book is sent by him, and he believed in it. So all the claim of Muslims about the Torah is corrupt, the Bible is corrupt, is a fraud. Otherwise, Muhammad was a hypocrite man. Actually, I asked a Muslim sheikh before. He yeah. said the prophet, he was doing nifaq. That's what, he, that, that's what he said? Yeah, he said what it means. He said he was being nice to the Jews. And he said to them, hold on, hold on. He said to them, I believe in thee, but he don't mean it. He's a liar. He did not say the word liar. He said to me, yeah. he did not mean it. You know, he didn't mean it. So your prophet, he swear, according to the Sheikh, by the book, saying, I believe in thee, but absolutely he don't believe in it. What do you think? Yeah, no, I, I believe that Sheikh who said that was, is, is obviously the, the prophet would have done the fact. So, my, but you just my, said, but you just said it's wrong to, to yeah, take yeah. an oath in it. Yes, so now you brought me another hadith uh, that and it's it's another, it's not even Bukhari or Muslim actually, it's another. Still, uh, it is good, it's a good hadith, it's accepted. For you, for, for you it's No, good. it's for not you? for me, it's not for me. The word Hassan, one of the names yeah. of your prophet, the grandsons, is Hassan, correct? Uh, that is correct. Okay, what Hassan mean? Hassan, Hassan means uh, correct. No, I mean good. Good. Okay, yes. so you Muslim call it good, but it's bad? Who's you Muslim? You Muslim. This is your Muslim website, and this is the rank is given to you by, by by your scholars. So you Muslim, you you call it good, if it's not good. Are you lying to us? No, 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 no. I'm not no, saying no. you. I'm saying are you Muslim lying to us, Christians? So you call it good when it's bad? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's Muslims out there that lie for sure, man. Okay, so so those Muslim websites they are full of lies. You think, right? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people that lie. Believe me. Okay. And, uh, what? Muslims. Okay. But the, do but do. The, okay. Listen. Do your Quran, do your prophet allow lying? Did he allow lying? Okay. Is lie is bad in Islam? I mean. Oh yeah, it's bad in Islam. Who said so? But but. Okay, in, uh, my, with was, my respect to, you, to your wife, uh, Mr. Bilal. Hold on, hold on a second. Listen, can I, is, can I if your wife, she lied to you, is she a good woman? Is, if, if your wife, she lied to you, is she is a good woman? If you are in a life and death situation, you're okay to lie. No, I'm not talking about death situation. I'm talking about normal life. If your li wife, she lied to you about anything, is, yes. does that make her a good woman or a bad woman? Well, if... He lies to like uh, there's the, you have like extreme lies and you have these regular well lies is lies so are you saying to me that you Bilal and your wife you practice n normal lies every day let me let me tell you like for example hmm. if the wife's food is not good hmm. and I say wife it's okay no, it's this, good. Is not, this is what I'm talking huh? about so okay so you lie to your wife about how good his car cooking correct yes okay so uh, what about if your wife she go out of the house and tell you I wasn't oh. out I wasn't out, is that okay? What? If your wife she go out, you know, to to visit her friends or her family or whatever, and then she tell you that she did not leave the house, is that a bad lie or a good lie? She did not leave the house. Yeah. Uh Yeah, that would that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be a, a a good lie. No, that wouldn't be a good lie. Okay, what about lying about fornication? Lying about fornication? Yeah. So, like, basically, like, if uh, you're talking about between husband and wife. Yeah. So, uh, for example, if she fornicates, adultery, and then she comes back and says, "I didn't do it." Mm hmm. Yeah. No, that's that's uh, that's wrong. Why it's wrong? That's wrong. Why? Who said so? Is that in Islam it says you cannot do that? That's a major lie. That's a major lie. Mm -hmm. Major lie? Who said so? Who, who said that's a major lie? Okay, you remember we showed you before that a guy, he it's went... 
You remember, you remember the story of Nabhan al Tamar about al Lamam? The man, oh. he have a woman, she came to his store and he yeah. touched her, he kissed her, he played with her everywhere. The woman, yeah. she will go, her husband is doing jihad, he is joining ISIS, and now he will come back home. Should this Muslim woman tell the husband that she was doing that or no? No, she didn't fornicate. She didn't fornicate. She did. He he said I did with her everything the man do except intercourse. Like the, I'm talking about the the, the actual uh, like penetration. Okay, so let us say the man he grabbed her from her vagina and she grabbed him from his penis and they play. Okay. But that's not what it said in the thing. Though. No, it says that it says that he did that. with her. He did with her everything except intercourse. It doesn't no. It doesn't say like grab from that or that. It okay, he did with her everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. What, everything? what everything mean? Everything except intercourse. I mean, use your imagination. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So, so can a woman lie to her husband about her being touched by that man and she was touching him? Everything that you do that is a sin. Uh -huh. Everything that you do in, in Islam. Let me just put this out there. Anything that you do as a sin, mm -hmm. it's between you and God. Mm. And it's for up to you to repent. Mm. You understand? But it's this is another. But this is another question. Yeah. Okay. So if if something like that happened, uh -huh. she has the choice to tell him, or she has the choice to to uh, repent. Uh -huh. Both choices. Okay. What What does this have to do with my question? You're saying should she tell uh, should she tell her husband? Uh. And I told well, you she has two choices. Okay, I don't know. Uh, according, according to, uh, uh, according to your prophet and according to the teaching of Islam, a Muslim he can lie to his wife about anything he wish. There's no limitation, and anything will make the wife happy. You, you are the one who mentioned to me that if she cooks something and she don't, the food doesn't taste good, you will lie to your wife, right? Yes, correct. What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Uh, man, I, I feel like I feel like we had a long conversation, but to be honest with you, it was not as fruitful as I wished. Oh, okay. Why? Because it's not we're not touching like the main uh, like difference between Christianity and Islam. We don't have difference. difference between Christianity and Islam because we cannot count differences because from the first word of the Quran to the last word of the Quran is the book of the devil. Here no, we but, go. But, you have a God, he allow prostitution. He allow it, he allow muta. Okay, what uh, okay, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. Can you have sex with your daughter? Can you can you what what do you think about a person he says to you you can have sex with your daughter? The devil? You see when you say stuff like that, like come on, like Bilal, 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 if a person, he says you can have sex with your daughter, what do you think about him? Is satanic or not? The Muslim, yeah. they quote for us, the Muslim, they quote for us. Oh my God, does it say that in the Quran you can have that with your daughter? Yes. Where does it say that? Here we go. You sent it to me? Hold on, I'm opening. This is going to be the last thing to... Uh, I apologize, I really... No problem. It's already 4 o'clock, man. It's okay, it's I have many Muslims waiting for me. They want to come on? Yeah, oh yeah, my, you know, this is what you see. Uh, I make a lot of Muslims leave Islam every day. Chapter 25, verse number 54. Go open any interpretation you want. A Chapter Muslim what? man, a Muslim man, he can have sex with daughter. She is a daughter from adultery. وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا According to Islam, a daughter, she is forbidden. Send it to me, send it to me, please, oh, before you start speaking. Okay. Here we go. So, to make it simple, it's forbidden for a Muslim to sleep with his daughter. But if she is a daughter from fornication, he can sleep with her and with her mother. 
even though she is his daughter from his blood. What kind of a book and what kind of God and what kind of religion says you can sleep with your daughter if she is a daughter out of marriage? Where does it say that? Open the interpretation to understand. I did. It said it said here it is he who has created man from water. Hmm. Then he had established relationship of lineage and marriage. Okay. For so what is relationship in Islam by marriage, right? Okay. Only so a daughter she is not from marriage she is not considered as a daughter for you she is halal and here we go I just send you the link and this is the official government website of the oh, kingdom no. of Saudi Arabia and it says here Muslims scholars they disagree about this topic if it's okay to have sex with your daughter from adultery. <laughs> So let us see the most no, no. hold on the most no, no. accurate guys the most accurate the most accurate opinion of islam is the following read carefully with me wow read carefully yes wow وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدْخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ وَبَنَاتُكُمْ بِنْتُهُ مِنَ الزِّنَا لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ بِبِنْتٍ لَهُ فِي أَصَحِّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ لِعُلَمَائِنَا وَأَصَحُّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدِّينِ this is why it doesn't go under the statement of Allah saying it is forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter because she is not really his daughter from marriage. And this is the most accurate opinion of Islam. And he continues saying, So it's not forbidden to fornicate with your daughter and the mother of your daughter and what is forbidden, forbidden from halal which means legal is not forbidden which is not from not not legal can you see it hold on i'm trying to get you the the ayah that actually speaks about uh marriage surah anisa my which friend my it? friend don't jump does no, it no, say ah we know we know it's forbidden for you your daughter we know that here because she is a daughter from fornication you can have sex with your daughter yes or no I say that there huh it doesn't say that in the verse that you sent me it doesn't say that this is the interpretation because you are you know you don't understand even the the, the, the arabic words what well, interpretation like you did uh surat al same thing okay hold on is that the website i gave you the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia I do not care if it's the kingdom of the of freaking China. Man. Is that is care. that the scholar? His name is Al Qurtubi. Wow, I do not care. I told you if it's the kingdom of, of whatever. Well, so who is the one who will explain the Quran? You, Bilal, you told me you are the scholar. Oh no, I am not a scholar. I told you. Okay, so <laughs> who is the one who will explain the Quran? This is Imam Al Qurtubi, one of the genius of Islam. Really? Page number, yes, they really. This is why he is. I mean, is, is your name in the, in the government website of Saudi Arabia? No, his name is there. Why? For a reason, because he is the top notch of his stupidity. So, because he's because he is a top stupid Abdul, they put him there. You are not stupid, top stupid yet to put you there. You have to get degrees in Islam and then you became top stupid. Then they will put you there. So, he is there for a reason. Page number 364, Tafsir al Qurtubi, official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is not haram for you okay. to have sex with your daughter. Okay. What, what so, you so, okay, first of all, do you agree? Do you agree the Arabic statement saying what I'm saying or you, I'm lying? Can you put this up and don't hide this uh, ayah from them? Please put this up for me. Surah An Nisa, chapter 4, verse 23. Okay, no problem. We put it up for them. All Surah right. Nisa, chapter 4, verse 23. I'm going to read it. Okay, go ahead. It said, Forbidden to you, uh -huh. Hurimat, uh -huh. bid for marriage, uh -huh. are your mothers, your daughters, uh -huh. your sisters, uh -huh. your paternal and maternal aunts, okay. your brother's daughters, uh -huh. your sister's daughters, uh -huh. your foster mothers, your foster sisters, your mothers-in-law, hmm. your stepdaughters, under your guardianship, if you have cons consummated the major marriage with their mothers. Hmm. There we go. Perfect verse. Clear cut. Okay. What? There's no interpretation needed. 
It says حرمت عليكم. Yeah. Guys, anybody knows Arabic? Yeah. Oh, حرمت عليكم means forbidden for you. Okay. To marry your mothers and your daughters. Okay, who is daughter in Islam? Is daughter from marriage, correct? Ah, uh, now you're gonna twist it. I'm not. I'm, okay, that's not me. This is your Islamic interpretation. What's wrong with you? I told you in the beginning. It says there that because this is not a daughter from marriage. Yeah, Therefore, the hold on, hold on. We are showing you the ayah too. This is chapter. This is this is a different chapter. Chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-four, and this is your Islamic interpretation. So, why the Muslim scholars agree that a daughter, she is a daughter from sex, not from marriage, is lawful for them? They no. know that verse. They are quoting that verse for you. Can't you read? Are you blind? It's in front of you. It says oh. that Allah he appreciate only. That's what the verse mean. Allah he appreciate only relationship lineage from marriage. If there is no marriage, then it is just a mix between the water of the women and the water of the man. Read carefully. And if he, it is not by shara, which means by the law, which means by the teaching of Muhammad, it's just a recreation, and it is not a lineage. Therefore, read carefully, hold on. وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدْخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتَكُمْ وَبَنَاتَكُمْ بِنْتُهُ مِنَ الزِّنَا لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ بِمِنْتُ اللَّهُ فِيَا صَحِّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ لِعُلُمَائِنَا So, therefore, because she is a daughter out of marriage, therefore she is not considered as a chapter 4 verse 23. Why? Because the chapter 4, verse 23, say it's a forbidden for you, so hold on, forbidden for you, daughter who they are, daughter from marriage. This is the only religion in the world which teach if you have sex with the woman and you have a daughter from her, you can go and have sex with her and her mother. And what? I challenge you, listen, uh, Bilal, I challenge you, I challenge you. To tell the people that what it says there in Arabic is not what I said. Go ahead. You're lying to the people, man. It, it says, Hurimat alaykum. Okay. Ummahatukum. Uh, no, no, read the verse. Read here, here. Th that one we read already. It says, uh, It's forbidden oh. for you, your daughter. We got it, we got it. But daughter in okay. Islam is only daughter from marriage. No, no. Daughter okay. in Islam. Then read it. Here. Okay, read it. Okay, chapter 25, verse number 54. Okay. So Allah, okay. he made, hold on. You see, Abdul, listen. People are laughing at you. Listen carefully. Is the page in the front of you, is that the official government website of Saudi Arabia? I could give two shits about Saudi Arabia, brother. Okay, you give no shit about Saudi Arabia. Are you giving shit about the Quran too? Yes, I do. And I showed you the verse of the okay, Quran. Okay, guys, he just said he gives shit about the Quran too. He said, yes, I do. I said to him, do you give shit about the Quran? He said, yes, I do. Wonderful. So now we agree in that you give shit about the Quran because you yes. like only one verse and you don't the like the other verse. The other verse says, Allah, he approved only what is relation by marriage. I'm gonna name you the Christian Twister because you just twist words and that's all you do. I am I am showing you the reference. You are the one who is in disability. Show, prove me wrong. Did I not read his verse? Did I not? Read friend, it? I said the verse you show me confirm this verse. The Quran says it's forbidden for you, you your daughter. But if she marriage. is a daughter from marriage, marriage. Which one is daughter? Okay. Is so the this daughter here is different kind of daughter. She is not a daughter from marriage. She is daughter from fornication. So you but, as a Muslim. And this is what I said, this is what I said from the beginning. Islam allow you to have sex with daughter from fornication. So you sleep with the women, she delivers a child for you. You cannot this is this is this is a great message. This is a great message to any woman. She is a stupid idiot. She goes sleep with a Muslim man because he can sleep with his daughter. She is not his daughter according to Islam. He will sleep with her. And this is the confirmation in front of us. And I challenge you. To oh, read. Listen, to Bilal, listen, Bilal. Did this I give you? Did I give you the interpretation? Yes or no? Did I give you the exact uh, verse? Yes or no? This is not the exact verse. Hurimat alaykum. Did I not give you hurimat alaykum? It is here too. It says forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter, but daughter from marriage. 
Well, I'm not talking about daughter of a marriage. This verse is talking about that Allah approve only daughter and sons only for marriage. This is why, according to the Sharia law, listen, Abdul, you have no idea. I have degrees in Islamic law. According to Islamic law, a son of fornication he cannot inherit. Even the name, even the last name, even the family name, even a penny. You know nothing. First, it says forbidden for you for marriage. No your problem. And your forbidden for you for marriage. Forbidden for you for marriage. Forbidden for you for marriage. Here we are not talking yes. about marriage. Here we are talking about having sex. This is fornication. So you can fornicate with your daughter if she is a daughter from fornication. Why you don't read it? Why you don't read it? Like you see, if Christian prince is a twisting. Is the text is the text in the front of you? Is the text of listen listen Abdul? Is the text in the front of you saying what I am saying or I'm lying? No, I will read it again right now for you in front of the people. You are reading that verse, not the verse I'm showing you. You are jumping, you are lying, you are you are running away. I'm showing you the one in the screen. Does it say? Does it say you can have sex with your daughter out of marriage? <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. Okay, read it then. It says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرًا فَجَعَلَهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا Okay, continue. وَكَانَ رَبُّكَ No, no, continue the explanation, continue the explanation. This is the verse. Oh, yeah, I, I gave you the link. Read the interpretation and translate for us. It says here, here we go, you see, you keep repeating yourself. It says, ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم من الزنا. He explained to you why she is not forbidden for you to sleep with you in the bed, because she is just a recreation. She is not according to Shara. Why you are being stubborn? You see, you are in denial now because you cannot believe it that you are following a satanic religion like Islam. No, it's not that, uh, Christian Prince. You but my friend, on. be honest with me. Does it say in the front of us in the text, in the interpretation, exactly as I am reading, or I'm making things up? Mm -hmm. So it says that, correct? Yeah, well... I showed you a clear verse. Your verse doesn't even. It doesn't you show me a uh, clear verse, but your verse is confirmed here. Even this 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 interpretation says it's forbidden for you, your daughter, from marriage. But if she is not from marriage, she is not forbidden for you. Why you are refusing to read? You speak Arabic. You know how to read Arabic. You live in Saudi Arabia, and this is a website of official government website, and this is your scholars. So. Does it say that you can sleep with your daughter from adultery or are making things up? Uh, is that what mentioned in the Quran? This is the meaning of the verse in the Quran, yes. No, 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 no. Don't tell me the Otherwise, if it's not, listen, if it's not, why, why are you Muslims saying it is? You tell me. Yeah. It's not we me. It's not me. Choice. Listen, why, why, why you don't want to confirm? Can you confirm for me first? I want no, to I'm please, not, Bilal, 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 confirm, confirm for me the following. Listen, this, I don't care if you believe or not. I'm saying what I said, this is interpretation saying, am I lying or this is what is written in front of us on the screen? You're, you're using something that I don't believe in. Okay, so you agree that the interpretation according to Saudi Arabian government website, the official saying you can have sex with your daughter, but you don't want to believe in that. No, no, no. No, no, I told you Saudi Arabia is not the beacon of Islam. Okay, so yep. Saudi Arabia are stupid people, and the stupid scholars, and the stupid king, he put in his website that if you have a sex with a woman, and she have a, you have a daughter from her, you can have sex with her, and he is not a Muslim, and all the Saudi are a bunch of liars. Whatever the Quran confirms, I confirm it. Whatever it doesn't confirm, okay. I confirm. But now you confirm in the same time that this is exactly what the Islamic Saudi website saying. The official, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. They can say what they want. They can say I believe in the Quran. They can say whatever they want. Okay. Now uh, let me ask you a question. Why they are saying that? Why are they are saying that? Yeah. No clue. You have to ask them why they're well, saying they are that. Well, they are Muslim Sunni, and you are following Sunni. You have to ask them, not me, though. No, no, they are the, they are the majority. So are you saying all the Saudi in Saudi Arabia? 
and all, all the race. scholars in Saudi Arabia and all the sheikhs and all those who go to the mosque they read this and they don't find a problem with it only you you have a problem uh i'm not i i guess it's only me if that's what you're saying it's only me i guess okay so you have a new version of islam that's wonderful yeah i have the quran that's my version no this is the quran the quran says i approve only relation from marriage anything out of marriage is not considered a relationship this is quran i'm showing you quran so you told me you can marry your daughter you told me you can marry your daughter not marry no, not marry the verse doesn't say you can marry the verse is speaking about you can sleep with her it's time to encourage you to have sex what? with the mother and the daughter if she is not married to you so the daughter of a woman she is not married to you she is lawful for you and you agree that this is what the website is saying, and this is what Al Qurtub is saying, and this is what the Saudi agree with. And then, and not only that, it says there, this is according to the most accurate opinion. What makes it more horrible, it says, it is the most accurate opinion. Does it say that, Milan or Mlain? Does it say that in Arabic? On the website, it does. Okay, so why they are saying this is the most accurate opinion of Islam according to the scholars of Islam if it is not? Well, uh, and, and how do you know they're scholars? You must have you named them scholars, not me. I named them? <laughs> okay, Bilal. Well, uh, obviously, I mean, I don't know. You're just wasting my time and you're like, acting like a child now. Is you're it? telling me who I okay, why, why, who why, I okay, why this guy, he is there? I mean, why they are reading his book to understand the Quran if he is not a scholar? Why, no the, clue, why the government and why the university which teach in Islam in highest level, they are using his book to explain what the verse meaning if he is an idiot? Okay, uh, my, my friend wants me to ask you. Okay. Um, can you explain the, 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 the God, uh, sorry, the, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit in that concept to me? Very simple. Do you, do you Muslim believe that God is Almighty? Yes. What Almighty mean? Almighty, the most powerful. There's many saying uh, many words to describe him. But what? What? The, the what? Okay. What? When you say most powerful, does that mean he can do anything? He can be anything? Able to do all things. He can do all things. Is your God Almighty? Yes. No, he's not. What is he? Well, your God, he can't have a son unless he have a girlfriend. My God, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Is that true? Yeah, that's what you believe. No, 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 no. This is not my belief. This is your belief. Yeah, we don't believe that. No, we don't believe that God had a son. No, no, no. Or, or listen, a father. Or listen carefully. Was... Listen carefully what I said, Bilal. You are very nervous. No. I'm saying, my I'm God, nervous. my God, he can have a son. Listen carefully. My God, because he's almighty, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Can your God have a son without having a girlfriend? My my God can do whatever he wants. The question is very simple. Can your God have a girlfriend, sorry, have a son without girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. He can, this, this, able to do this is another question. I'm saying, can I want a specific answer? Can your God have a son without having a woman? Can he have a son without having a woman? Yes. So do you mean like a, a son that walks around with us here on Earth? Here, without here. Maybe he's bald. Who cares? This is another question. No. Nope. I said I said here on Earth. Uh, here, here on Earth. Earth. Here on Earth. Here in heaven. Or who cares? Where he lives? Where he doesn't? I don't care. Maybe in Hawaii. This is another question. I'm asking you, can your God, Allah, have a son without having a wife? Without a woman? <laughs> Yeah, he can do all things. Hmm. Will the Quran say no? Chapter 6, verse number 101. Mm -hmm. It says, how Allah, how can he have a son? How can he? See? How can he have a son when yeah. he has no girlfriend? When he has no girlfriend? Yes. So, the reason Allah cannot have a son, well, he mm -hmm. is looking for uh, the girlfriend. 
when he find a woman like you know maybe me why i don't have children because i don't have a woman if i have a woman i will have children so allah is like but, you like me like everybody without a woman he, without a woman he cannot have it so let's let us go back to jesus did the yeah. god of the christians have a wife to have jesus did the god of the christian uh, did Sorry, say that question again. Say it again. Did the God of the Christians have a wife and then they have a son? His name is Jesus from that wife. No, he didn't. Okay. So again, you confirm again that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. Because the Quran teach that the Christian believe that God, he married Mary. And they have a son, mm -hmm. his name, his baby son, his name is Jesus. Mm-hmm. How you how your God, he says such a thing. So you are a normal Muslim who do not have too much education. Uh, but you know that this is stupid. Christians don't believe that Mary, she is the wife of God, and their son is Jesus. The Christians believe that Jesus mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit and the mm -hmm. Father is the Trinity. Mary is not part of it. So look what yeah. your God is said in the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 5, verse number 75. Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Many were messengers who passed away before him, according to translation. His mother was a woman of truth. They both eat food in their belly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what does this have to do with the Trinity? What does his mother have to do? Why why is mentioning his mother she eat and she have food in her belly? Is he trying to prove that she is not God? Yeah, he's trying to prove that she is not God. So if she is not God, Jesus is not God, what is the proof? they have food in their belly okay so according to your god here again confirmation again that allah cannot be god if he eat so your god allah is not almighty because the second something go inside his belly he lose the authority of god because a true god according to allah is the one who he cannot eat and the true god according to allah is the one who cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend so your god no. allah is limited in his ability while the god of the christians still he so, can be god still he so, can so, be a man still he can walk in this earth and still he can do what god can do yes. god cannot so 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 what was the point in sending all those messengers uh which messengers noah abraham moses <laughs> What the point? What do you think? What is the point? What's the point of sending them? To prepare for Jesus to come. To prepare for Jesus to come? Yes. There's a moment, you know, people, they prepare for the king of kings to come. When the king come, people will be waiting for him. So the Jews, they were waiting for the Messiah. So the people, before, the people before Jesus, uh -huh. did they know about Jesus? Yeah, they know about the Messiah. They are waiting for him. Even your prophet is waiting for the Messiah. Is that true? We believe that he will return. No, no, no. That's this is not about his return. Your Muslims are waiting for him. Yes, we're waiting for Jesus. Okay, are. why are you waiting for Jesus, not for Muhammad? Because Jesus is, first of all, still alive. He's okay. not, he, he hasn't been crucified like you guys claim he was. All right. And... And he will be. He will come back to rule with the the, the Quran and okay. the Sharia. Okay. Why Why Muhammad will not come back? Why Jesus? You say Jesus is alive. Muhammad is dead. Correct. Jesus is one of our prophets and messengers too. This is not the question. Why Jesus is alive and Muhammad is dead? That's God's choice. Okay. Why he chose Jesus to stay alive and Muhammad die? God's choice. He, he, why? That's but God's what, choice. what do you think the reason? Like Muhammad is not important, so he decided to 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 put him in the basement for now. Used every God used well no okay. he used Muhammad. Okay, where is where is where is Jesus now? So why does God? Where is Jesus now, Where is where is where is Jesus now? Where where is Jesus? Where is Jesus now? I don't know exactly where he is. Where do you think he is? I think he's uh, in the Sab Samawat. You know, I don't know exactly. In, in the sky. Oh, where is Muhammad now? Muhammad as well in the Samawat. No, he's in the grave. You have his grave there, and you Muslim, you kiss it. No, we don't kiss the grave. Oh, so you are, are you saying that Muhammad now is not in the grave? No, I'm saying his, his, his like you know. You remember when I told you the story of Islam Miraj? Like, yeah. The, 
uh, like Moses and all of them, that place. Mm -hmm. but I, that's where he. No, but your prophet, yes. he says, I was, I, I am the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So he's not resurrected yet. In the day of the resurrection, Allah can put their spirit back into the uh, the, the ground and bring how, them back up. How Allah will put the resurrection? How Allah will put the spirit of Muhammad inside him? We are off topic. I asked you about the Trinity. I don't want to. We're talking about Trinity. Go. According to your religion, Allah will ejaculate, and sperm of Allah will uh, will, will run over the men and the women, and they will resurrect from the grave. So your prophet will have a golden shower, will be resurrected by the sperm of Allah. And Jesus, he is right now in heaven while your prophet is dead. So now we go back to the, to the Trinity. Look what you Muslim you did. You just agreed that Jesus, he is above death. They tried to kill him. They can't kill him. But they can kill Muhammad, correct? So what's the concept? What's the concept? Focus with me, Jalibirah. Can, 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 can Jesus be killed? According to Islam, can he be killed? Can Jesus be killed? Can he be killed? Yes, he can be killed. So why they could not kill him? Because God protected him. So he's protected, then he can't be killed. No, at that time he was protected. Is, is he protected now too? Of course he's protected now. So, he he's, all, so he's always protected. Nobody can kill him. They're not always is your, protected. Is, is, your, right? is your prophet protected? Is your prophet protected from, killing, from being killed? My prophet? Yeah. Yeah, he was protected until he was time of death. Oh, how, he know, how he died? How he died? How he died? He got he got uh, he got uh, poisoned a while ago, and okay. then eventually, okay, he got sick. All right. So the Jews can kill Muhammad, but they cannot kill Jesus. Everybody heard you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Okay. The the, the Jews cannot kill Jesus. They can kill Muhammad. Correct. Everybody has a point in time of death. Jesus okay. will come back. But no, the one who appointed his death is the one who appointed the death of Muhammad is Allah. Are you saying to me that Allah, he decided to kill Muhammad by poison? Am I saying what? Sorry? Oh, the question is very horrible. Are you saying that Allah, he appointed the death of Muhammad by poison? We go back to... No, we don't God. go back. Don't jump. Are you saying no. that Allah he appointed? You see, a very embarrassment. This is why I say Islam is stupid. The second you put them in the corner, they try to jump to their corner. You are the one who mentioned that Muhammad was killed by poison, which means you agree with it. Okay, wonderful. So now, who is the one who decided the death of Muhammad by poison? That woman or Allah? Uh, it's a, so so I just I'm going to answer that question, but let's say... If I shoot a guy here in front of me, if I shoot a guy, hmm. who? This is, not who like, what, what? this is not the question. If you shoot a it guy, was, according to Islam, died. this is destiny. Who would die like that? This is a destiny. In Islam, you believe in destiny. Yes. Okay, so it's not you who shot him, it was Allah. That's why the Quran says, wa rama. It's not me who shot, it was Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm asking you the question again. When Muhammad was killed by the poison, are you saying that Allah, he sent that woman to kill Muhammad? Yes, that's how he, he did. What do you mean he sent that woman? He, he told her, go kill Muhammad? That's what you're saying? Is it all bad things and good things happen by the permission of Allah? Everything, everything happens. Everything okay, happens. everything happened by the permission of Allah. Who gave permission to that woman to kill Muhammad? It, it was... Uh, Allah, Allah, what do you mean he gave permission? He, al he allowed that to happen. Oh, okay, so he gave permission. Yes. Okay, why? Why he want to kill Muhammad? He hate him? Hold on a second. Do you remember when the Prophet was in the cave and they were coming to kill him? Uh-huh. And then the spider covered the cave? That is a false story. There's not a single hadith prove it. Oh, now it's another single hadith. No, here we go. In front of everybody, prove me wrong. Show me a sahih hadith or even good hadith or even Hassan. About this story, this fabricated story. This, I can show you. All Muslims agree that this fabricated stories. Well, part of the story is mentioned in this, the Quran. This is, this is a story taken from the Old Testament about a prophet who hide and they were chasing him to kill him. Muhammad again is a thief. I have a video about it. You can go watch it. Muslims are a thief. They're not Muhammad. I don't want to say Muhammad. I believe the Muslim data they fabricate the stories and they took it from the Old Testament. But this is not the story now. When the woman she killed Muhammad by poison, how how long it took Muhammad to die suffering from the poison? 
I don't know. I don't know how long. Four years. Why Allah will allow the Prophet to be tortured for four years by poison? Well, he wasn't tortured actually. He was well, still poison. Living. Poison. Oh. He suffered. Read carefully. It says here we go. The hadith says, the Prophet I, said. The Prophet said in his element, which he died, he used to say. He used. So this is like everyday song. Oh Aisha, oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate in Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as if my aorta is being cut off from the poison. So Muhammad is suffering badly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why Allah would love to enjoy seeing Muhammad being tortured by the pain of the poison for four years? Well, God says in the in this uh, in, the, in the Quran, this life is a trial and tribulation. It's everybody if you struggle. Okay, what a, what a trial! Allah is the one who make him struggle for no reason. Did Muhammad do something wrong? Oh no. Okay, it's is okay. Allah is Allah trying to test him by killing him by poison? It's okay to struggle. Okay. Actually, so now, if I go to Home Depot and I buy some poison, I put it for you in the food. This is a trial from Allah. Yes. Ah. Okay. So why I will be punished for it? He's not going to be punished for it. Okay, so if a man, he killed a man, according to Islam, he will not be punished for killing the man? He's not going to be punished for it. He's going to be rewarded on, on, on Judgment Day because he went through the struggles. Okay, but the man who killed Muhammad is going to be punished or the women? Well, of course, the person who, who dies a kafir. Look at this crazy uh, guy. If, if Allah is the one who made that happen, why he will be punished or she will be punished? That guy did it on choice. He did it okay. on choice. Where is choice? Where is the choice? Don't you believe in destiny? Najdain, Najdain. My friend, don't is it the Quran says all bad things happen by the permission of Allah? It's a destiny. Doesn't God, he teaches us good and evil. Allah, He teaches you evil. He don't teach you good. Is is having sex with your daughter is good? Teach us what's what's a najdain. What najdain mean? Tell us the story. Go ahead. What does that mean? Najdain, both ways. What no both ways? What does that mean? Like good and evil. Oh, so God, He teaches you bad and evil. Yes, it's a fitna. Okay. So, guys, Allah, he teach you evil. Why? Hold on a second. Okay. No, no, let us make it simple. You, you said something very important, actually. Did Allah open a school? Did Allah open a school to teach uh, evil? Anyways, I really want to understand this Trinity thing. So keep, continue with the Trinity thing, please. Well, I just, you know, the Trinity is very simple. But I, I want to jump this one now. I will go back. Did Allah open a school for evil? Really? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, continue. Sorry, go ahead. Did Allah open a school for evil? No, he did not open a school for evil. Are you sure? So here's the story, right? Here it is. Here's the story. Have you ever watched the movie Harry Potter? Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, I watched it. I watched almost all of them. Do you believe in anything in that story? In Harry Potter? Do you believe in that story? Anything in that story? No. Well, Why? I don't know about it. Why? Don't you believe that there is magic? I believe there's miracles and magic. Yeah, black magic. I okay. Okay, did your God Allah open a, open a school for magic? Do you believe in jinn, by the way? No, I don't believe. The, the only genie I saw is Muhammad. Okay, other than Muhammad, do you believe in demons? I believe in demons, but demons are not genie. Demon, uh, de, uh, you know, according to Muslims, a genie, they what sleep are... with Muslim women. So, uh, demon, they don't, uh, they are spirit. They don't uh, sleep around. And what are demons? They are evil spirit. Okay, so kind of like jinn, no? No. According to your prophet, Muslim women and Muslim men, they sleep with genie, female and male. People? Now listen, listen, Aguilar. I know you are getting tired, it's okay. I'm saying, is it true that your God, Allah, he opened a school of Hori Buter in Iraq? Yo, can, yo, uh, uh, sorry, another question here. Uh, can you explain to me the concept of uh, what makes three gods in the Bible? Like, where does it say that in the Bible? We don't, ha we don't have three gods in the Bible. Whoever said that question to you is an idiot. 
There's not a it's single good. there's not a single verse in the Bible that says we have three gods. The only one who said that is a stupid Quran. Where it says that in the Christian they believe in three gods, but the fact we don't. In the same time, the stupid Quran says those who believe that Jesus is Allah, they are kuffar. So how we believe in three gods and then we believe that Jesus is Allah? How stupid is that? So your God is a stupid. Now let's go back. Is it true that Allah He opened a school for magic in Iraq? Salam on salam, and like like Allah said to talk to the people, the jahilu, not the jahilun, but the hmm. the people who who speak like that, you know. Oh, so you wanna, you want to run away now? No, no, yo, Christian Prince, listen, I'm here talking to you. I've been talking to you okay. for four hours. Okay, I'm asking you, my no. friend. I'm asking you, my friend. But before you go, I know, I know you are tired. It's okay. Did Allah open a school for evil in Iraq? Well, the concept is three in one, by the way. The concept is three in one, not not uh, three gods. They say three in one. Yes, not three. So no, there's no three gods. Why, why your friend, he said uh, three gods? No, sorry, he, he, he forgot to uh, okay. finish the no. thing. Sorry. So, okay, so one. so you agree that we Christian, we believe in three in one, right? That's right. That's okay, what so three, three person, one God, correct? Yes. So how come your God do not know that? So how come my God didn't know that? Yes. How no, come? No, it, how come no, the no. one who asked the question he knew about Christianity more than what your God he knows? Can you send me the the uh, the verses in the Bible that say three and one? And also, can you also tell me why sometimes uh, Jesus talks to God as if he's another entity? We don't. We call him my Father. We believe in Trinity. Trinity. We can be. Uh, he, he speak about him uh, because he is the Father. So he says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Listen carefully, eating. listen carefully, listen carefully. It says you're using the your, right? Okay, hold your, listen, listen carefully, listen carefully. This is the your. Quran, this is the Quran, chapter five, verse number seventy-three. It says, Those who say they commit blasphemy, those who say Allah is one of three. Do we Christian believe that Allah is one of three? You believe three in one, right? No, no, that's another question. It says Allah is one of three. Is that what the Christian believe? Uh, sorry, can you tell me the ayah again, the, the verse? Chapter 5, verse number 73. Chapter 5, verse number 70, verse, chapter 5. Hmm. Verse 73. Chapter 5, verse 73. Oh. Oh, Chapter 5, verse 73, you said. Mm -hmm. Chapter 5, verse 73. Okay, so God says here, those who say Allah is one in, in a trinity have certainly fallen into disbelief. There is only one God. If they do not stop saying this, those who disbelieve among them will be afflicted with a painful punishment. Okay. Okay. So the Quran says that the Christians, they believe that Allah is one of three, correct? Yes. Okay. Chapter 5, the same chapter. Mm -hmm. Verse number 72. 72? Mm -hmm. Okay, those who say Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary, have certainly fallen into disbelief. <laughs> but the fire okay. himself... O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Whoever associates others with Allah in worship will surely be forbidden paradise by Allah. Okay. There will be the fire and the wrongdoers will have no helpers. All right. Okay. So now the verse saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other verse saying that uh, 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 the Christian believe that Allah is one of three. 
the same chapter, uh, verse number 73, the Christian believed that the Messiah, uh, sorry, Allah, is one of three, correct? No, it says here, لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو المسيح. Okay, so this verse, chapter 72, 72, those who say Allah is the Messiah, they are kuffar, correct? Yeah, he says those who. Okay, the verse after it, those are the Christians. And those... Uh, no, 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 no. Just say those are the Christians. Hold on a second. Who Hold is on the, a second. Who is the one believed that the Christ is God? If not the Christians. Because you do have like Christians who believed in in one God. You do have those kind of. Christians. Uh, okay, no problem. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. We, we all the Christians believe in one God. Don't don't be a fool. All the Christians, all the Christians believe in one God. All the Christians believe in God. All oh, one God. Say, did he say? He said. Who's uh Alladina? Who's Alladina? Uh huh. Who's Alladina? Okay. Those who they say. Yeah, those who say he didn't okay. say those Christians who say. Okay, who is the one who say who is the one who say that God is a Christ? You have Christians who say that, and you have Christians who don't. No, all Christians they believe that God is a Christ. No, no, no. There's, there's. No. Well, they believe the Messiah. The Messiah. No, no. You the see, Messiah. actually, just to show you how foolishness your answer. He, Allah, no, he no, continue. No. Hold on, Allah, he continues saying they do plus. I mean, talking about the same people. <laughs> so <okay. laughs> the same people so listen you try to escape but it doesn't work so the verse here says that verse. those those who say Allah is a Christ are kuffar okay and the same people they say Allah is one of the three okay if Allah is one of the three and Allah is a Christ according to the Christian who is the other two Well, Christians, Christians say both, don't they? What both? If Allah, they, they that, no, we don't say, they, we don't say, don't, we don't say that the Messiah is the same person as the Father. We believe that no, the okay. Messiah is a, is a person. Hold on, don't explain to me my belief. The Messiah is a person. The Father is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. Three person, one God. Now the Quran mentioned that the Christian they believe that the Messiah is Allah. Which mean now two person are one person according to Christianity. Allah and Christ is one person. Who is the second okay. and who is the third? Perfect. Hmm. Who is the second and the, who is the birth? Who is this? How come the Jews believe that? And they were before you. How come the Jews don't believe that? Don't believe in what? The the Jesus is the three in one. This whole three in one and the, uh, Jesus is. How come they don't believe it? Well, the Quran says they do. Obviously, you are ignorant about your religion. The Quran says what? that the, the Jews, they believe that Uzair, they call him Uzair, the son of Allah. Yeah, Uzair is not Jesus, though. Well, this is his name, according to the Quran. We don't know where Muhammad, he got this name. Can you find the what? word Uzair in the Quran, in the Bible? Nowhere. Was, not a single hey. Jew, not a single Jew can find such a thing in the Bible. This is a false. So if you are saying nowhere, they believe that there is a person who is son of God, that means the Quran is a book of lies. If you believe that the Quran is saying the truth, then that's mean they are they believe in the person is son of God. Now we go okay. back we go back to zero. So here, if Allah he says uh, the Christian they think that Allah is a Christ and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, the the other verse the verse after it says those who say that Allah is one of the three. Okay, who is the other two? Because now Allah and Messiah is one person according to the Quran. Okay, who is the other two? Who's the other two? Yeah. I will help you. If you go two verse down, not verse number 74, verse number 75, Allah refuting the Christian says, Mary, she eat food. So the stupid Allah, he think that Mary, she is part of the Trinity in Christianity. But now we have two. Where is the third? Who is the third? <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, no. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading uh, uh -huh. some of the comments. They're very interesting. <laughs> mm. They're like B Bilal is getting crushed. <laughs> no, he's not. Bilal is very proud. Bilal, no, no, Bil Bilal in this I'm... conversation, he crushed Al Qurtubi, he crushed Ibn Kathir, he crushed the Hadith, he crushed every everyone who don't approve him, approve what what is written in this. So he crushed all Islamic books. And when we showed him what Islam teach and what their pro his prophet said, he crushed the prophet too. 
<laughs> so don't say that Bilal is a crush. No, my friend, Bilal he crushed everybody. <laughs> Bilal crushed everybody. <laughs> yeah. Now focus with me. Who is the third and who is the second, my friend? <laughs> who is the third? If the Christian believe that Jesus, let us say, let us change. If the if the Christian they believe that Jesus is the Father. Okay, wonderful. So who is the second and who is the third? <laughs> Stupid. Stupidity is amazing. So Muhammad is a, is, a, is a foolish man. He do not know what he's talking about. And the proof of that, there is no way Muhammad, he is a, a prophet of God, because a prophet of, prophet of God, my friend, a prophet of God, he will not, at least he will know what he's talking about. Uh, uh, <laughs> guys, I clearly said I'm not a, uh, a scholar at all, mm. and uh, <laughs> it's really, it's funny what they're saying. Anyways, Christian Prince, uh, do, do the Quran says that you have to be a scholar to understand the Quran? Well, I look, uh, Mister uh, Christian Prince. Yeah, you know, you know, Islam. There's a there's a hadith that states that Islam bada uh, gariban was a even right something okay. along those lines all right so this is the time we live in now we're not really following like like the true islamic teachings as nations you know as as governments especially okay so you're it's what's going to be rare to find the true islamic actions in these days you know especially when it comes to governments and things like that so uh, people like me who are raised in, in north america and and other people uh, we're, we're getting we're getting like the trickle down version and not only trickle down we're basically but alhamdulillah we have the quran that's why i like to stay on topic of the quran but then you know the way you mention the quran and then you bring the interpretations from like a saudi government i don't really like that but it is what it is hmm. but so but core, but, uh, but my friend you said you have the quran do you our core belief our core belief is in islam is to believe that there's only one god and that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. Who cares? There's people they, in San Francisco, they worship a God. His name is Satan. You believe in one God. They believe in one God. Who cares about how many he is? Allah, the creator of the heavens and okay. the earth. Okay. Is Allah the creator of the earth and the heaven? Allah is the creator of every single thing. Okay. Uh, so can Allah remember which one he created first? Which one Allah created first, the earth or the heaven? Uh, which one Allah created first? The heavens of yes. earth? Yes, yeah. I have, to, I have to go back to the verses of that. I will, I, will, I will help you if you will need my help. Go ahead. Chapter 2, verse number 29. Can you tell me what it says? You can read it, man. I'm listening. You can read it. Well, it says he is, it is he, which is very funny. Allah speak about it is he, but it is he supposedly. I mean, who is he? It is he who has created for you all that things on earth. And then, not moreover, as translation says, thumma stawa, thumma in Arabic mean after that. You know that, correct? Yes. Okay, so translation is false. It's not moreover. So after that, then he, and then he went to the heaven and he made the seventh sky. Correct? Okay, so the yes. earth is finished first. Correct? Okay. All right. Do you agree with this? Oh, and now I got to see it because sometimes I'm just I'm looking at the comments in here. Okay, so did you send it to me as well? Uh, yeah, I will send it to you. No problem. Oh, I said the other thing was going to be the la Christian Prince. We have to... <laughs> My friend, I know I, I am tired too, to be honest with you, but I no, enjoy no. I enjoy what I do, and I this hope is, that many people after they see this, they will leave Islam. You know, thanks to you, you know. Thanks to me. Yeah. No, no, they they will understand that Islam is way. Well, deep. well, let us see. You know, in in, in five minutes, people will laugh. Have you ever heard of a God? You agreed. You agreed. No, you agreed. Listen. You agreed. You agreed that you, you agreed that the Quran states that Allah He created the earth first. Correct. 
the truth anyways. So if they want to be Muslims or not Muslims, no, no, they no, want to no, be Christians. Hold on. You agree that the Quran says, chapter 2, verse 29, I sent you the link, that the one Allah is the creator, you said to me, correct? Yeah. Okay, have you ever heard of a God he created? You do not know which one he created first? So in one verse he says something, the other verse he said the opposite. So you agreed. You agreed, yes. everybody, everybody heard you, that the, the earth is a created first and Allah, he finished the heaven later. And I asked you, is, is Tumma after you said yes, correct? Well, I didn't say nothing. I said, like, give me the ayah so I can read it. No problem, but no, you agreed. I said, do you agree that the verse saying Allah created no, I, everything first? In front of me now, can I read it? Okay, read it, go ahead. Okay, so I said, he it is who created for you all that is on earth. Uh -huh. Then he rose over towards the heaven uh -huh. and made the seven heavens, and he is the all knower or of everything. Okay. okay, so what based on this verse, Allah created what at first? Which one Allah finished first? It doesn't say which one is first. No, it says Allah, so it say. Allah He has created for you that all that well, on the earth. Okay, and then? Okay, so he, which one He finished first? Hmm? Which one He finished first? It says He created everything on earth, and then, then after that, He went to the heaven, and then He started walking in the heaven, making it seven heavens, etc., and built a star, etc. So which one Allah finished first? <laughs> okay, he finished the, the art first. Okay. Okay, so guys, be my witness. Mr. Bilal, he agreed. I'm very thankful that he agreed. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that the earth is finished first, and then Allah, he went to the heaven and he started walking in the sky. All right. Okay. Let us see if this is, can be, you know, accepted. Okay. You're posting something else or you're sending something else? Yeah, I will show you. Hold on, my friend. I don't, I, I don't understand how this is the issue with the belief of Islam. Uh, like uh, you, you will see, because you just said agreed that, yeah. you know, because if my friend, if you are God and you are the one who created things, then there is no way you will not remember which one you created first. God don't make mistakes, do he? No, you, he you don't. Do. Okay, so read with me chapter 79. I will give you the, the, the link so you can open it right away. Okay. And you can read there, you know. Uh, let me refresh the page. Right yeah, let me send you the link. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, go on. All right, this is the link. Here we go. Open the link, please. So this is the chapter 79, verse. We'll start reading from verse number 27. If you want, you can read from verse number 1. Who cares? But just no, to save the time. So verse number 27, it says, Are you more difficult to create? Or is the heaven he constructed? Okay, wonderful. He raised it high, and he has a equally order it. Okay. Its height he cover with darkness. Wonderful. And after that, he spread the earth. And he brought forth water and posture and after that he put the mountains yeah but hold on a second Can, <laughs> it says after that well ard ba'da dalika dahaha yeah so the dahaha the means he spread it so it was there and then he spread it correct no okay no problem but the verse the verse we showed you it says that allah he finished everything in earth is done but and he went I... hold on and he went, okay, which one, I, I you remember, just two minutes ago, I asked you, which one Allah, he finished first, the earth or the heaven? You agree, it was the earth. Yes, we, we agree it's the earth. Okay, what we said, finished. Which one Allah, he finished first? Allah? No, 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 created. We said created the earth, correct? Finished, he, he finished, he finished, and then he went to the heaven, he finished. He created everything. My, my friend, the verse is so clear. Let's go back. Don't play games. Well, Come on, Bilal, I respect you as a man. Please. Uh -huh. So listen. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. It is he. Let me go back. It is he okay. who created for you that all in the earth. Did he create all in the earth? That means the ha -ha. Listen, listen. Did he create all in the earth? In the ver in verse number, chapter number two, verse number twenty-nine. Did he create everything in earth? 
He created everything, but then it says here he okay. spread the earth. Oh, no problem. Spread... No, no problem. We'll go with you. We'll go with you. So he created what? everything in the earth, and then he went to the heaven and he started walking in the heaven, correct? Okay, no problem. Hold on. So first number chapter number two, verse number twenty-nine. Allah created everything in the earth, and you agreed, correct? He created everything and he could know I said he created the earth I, I, it doesn't say everything in the earth it in says it says no it says that read carefully come on and you agreed it's recorded it says who created you for you that all 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 that and earth all do you see it don't tell me now you are getting blind okay yeah exactly so he created everything whatever in the earth he created correct Okay. Okay. Correct. And then he went to the heaven and he started walking in the heaven. Do I agree in this one now? Yes, we agree okay. with this one. All right, wonderful. Now we go to the other chapter, chapter 79. Here it says that Allah, he built the sky, all right? Then he lift up the sky, all right? And now yes. and and now he made the day and night, which means he created the stars. And after that, he spread the earth, make it flat. And after that, he created the pastures, which means green and trees, etc., and water. And after that, he placed the mountains. But the other chapter says everything in earth was finished before he went to heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So. How this is can be God? A God he cannot remember which one he finished first? Okay, <laughs> Yeah, it's it, yeah, for yeah. me what I yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I'm reading it for me what I'm understanding is that from both of the verses, from both of them, uh -huh. one of them yeah. he created. Well, it says everything in the earth created first, everything in earth, and then he went to the sky, and then he started working in the sky. Uh, Christian Prince, is there another verse that uh, also explains the creation? If you don't mind. Sure, sure. It. Okay, let me help you more, my friend. I'm here to help you, Mr. Bilal. I'm here in your service, my friend. No problem. Give me a second. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, let us go. Let me close some browser. I have too many browsers on my computer. All right. We will give you one more verse. We'll make it even more clear or more horrible, let us say. So, make, make, make it more horrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because now what you can say, I mean, this is really horrible. Read carefully. Chapter 41, and let me give you the link. Here we go. Allah Akbar, man. Always Allah Akbar. Always. <laughs> Allah is bigger than what? Even that statement is a shirk. You Muslims are mushrikeen. Because if, uh, if because if you say if you say Allah is bigger, you are comparing a God to what? A, to, to, to an onion? From, uh, from, from, uh... Hey, come on. Akbar is one of the idols was around the Kaaba. Allah is Akbar. Allah and Akbar, not Allah Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So this is, Muhammad is unifying two gods. One, his name is Akbar, and one, his name is Allah. But don't change the topic now. Listen, here we go. Chapter 41. Yep. Chapter 41. Make it so clear, it says. Verse number 9. Read for it with me. I send you the link. Say, chapter 41. Start from verse number 9. Say, which means Muhammad, do you verily disbelieve in him who created for you the earth Honestly, in two days? Which one do you want me to read? Which one? You asked me for one more verse to confirm. I just did. So, Chapter 41, so, verse number 9. We start from verse number 9. So, oh, number, okay. Can I, can I read it? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Say, O oh Muhammad, uh, do you verily disbelieve in him who created uh, the earth in two days and you set up rivals mm -hmm. in war? Him that mm -hmm. is the Lord of the Alameen. Mm -hmm. uh, he placed therein mm -hmm. firm mountains from above it, and he blessed it and measured therein its sustenance for its dwellers in four days equal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's just in brackets. It says, For all those who ask, okay. Mm -hmm. Then he Estella, he rose over towards the heaven when it was smoke and mm -hmm. said to it and to the earth, mm -hmm. Come both. Of you willingly or unwillingly, they mm -hmm. both said we willingly. 
Mm -hmm. Continue reading. It's not done. Number 12? You want me to... Yeah, number 12. Then he completed and finished from their, their creation seven heavens in two days, and he made in each heaven its affair. Mm -hmm. And we are done. So what the, the, nearest... so what the last what the last thing Allah he finished? The heavens. Yeah, but what he did in the heaven, the last thing? He created the lamps, the stars, correct? In the nearest heavens, we hear the lamps, the stars. Okay, yeah, so, so this is the last thing, correct? Yeah, that's what it's uh, here. Okay, yeah. so let us go back to seeing or order, me and you together, Mr. Villa. So the yeah. first thing, the first thing according to chapter 41, verse number 9, Allah yeah. created the earth in two days, and then yeah. in other four days, He created everything above it. Do we agree? Mountains, etc., water, trees. Do you agree? Verse number 10. Uh, verse number 9, it says, okay, He created the earth in two days, and then what? Sorry? And then, 10, it's... And then in, in four days, other four days, Allah, yeah. He created the mountains, uh, He put the mountain above it. So number two, after He finished the earth, He put the mountains. And then he blessed it with measured, which like water, trees, things, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So after that, then then Allah he went to the sky and there was just a smoke. Do we agree on that? Okay. Okay. And then in verse number twelve, Allah he completed the heaven, he finished them, and he created the stars. So the last thing was creating the stars. The first thing was creating the earth. The second thing was creating the mountains. Do I agree? Yeah. Okay. So let us take, take it in order. First thing, the earth. Second thing, the mountain. And then the pastor and the trees and the water. Okay. And the last thing is the stars as in verse number 12. Now let us go to the other chapter. Chapter 79. The first thing here Allah created, it was the sky. He made them, he constructed the sky. Then he raised it above. Then the he made then he made the stars. This is verse number twenty nine, chapter yeah. seventy nine. So the first thing he did, he made the sky. The sky. Second, twenty seven. You know, so, uh, he built it. Sorry, uh, he, uh, the first thing he built the sky. Number, oh, can I verse number can 20, hold on, verse number uh, twenty eight. Then I'm he reading. then he left up. Do so. Allah says to the people, right? He says to the, his the people. He says. أَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا أَمَ السَّمَاءِ So okay. he's, he's telling people, hmm. are you guys uh, more difficult to construct or the heavens? Okay. And then, and he, then, explain, uh, and and he, then he explained he, how he created the heaven, correct? And then he explains what he did. رَفَعَ سَمْكَهَا okay. okay. He raised it height and he has equal ordered it. Okay. So what is the first one in the chapter? Let's make, make it together. I mean, and you number one and number two, number three. The first one here is he he created the heaven, correct? Yeah. Okay. Number what, what is number two? What is number two? What is number two? Number two? Yeah. After he created the heaven, what he did? No, it doesn't say it. it like when it says here, it says. No, no, no. You are jumping. You are jumping. Hold on. He no. he. Hold on. He created the he created the heaven and then he raised up the heaven, correct? So here it says, number 27, it says, number 28, Rafa samkaha Yeah, he has raised okay. the height. So the number one, he created the heaven. Number two, he raised the heaven. Number three, 29, read for us. Yeah, laylaha wa Okay, what it's does that night mean? Okay. With dark and it's forenoon, he brings out. Okay, does that mean he created the stars? Uh, in the, the forenoon, he brings out. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't mention that here. No. Uh -huh. So he made night and he made light and he made day and he made. This is not the stars. Yeah. Okay, the stars. So it's the stars. Okay. So number three, he created the stars. Okay. And after that, and after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he put the water. And after that, he put the mountains. Earth. And after that, he said he spread the earth. It doesn't mean he created the earth. He spread no the problem. earth. No problem. I'm not talking about. Uh, listen, I'm talking about. Listen carefully. We said okay. which one Allah finished first. Which the, Allah? Guys. Which one Allah finished first? So, the the first. chapter chapter seventy nine. Allah created the stars. As yeah. listen carefully. 
Verse number 29, we agree, me and you, that it is a stage number three. The first stage, Allah created the heaven. Second stage, He raised up the heaven. Third stage, He created the day and the night and the stars. Now after that, He, he went back to the earth and He made it flat. And after that, He made water. And after that, He placed mountains. Now let us go back to chapter 41 and let people die laughing at this stupid religion. So here we go. Chapter 41, it says the opposite. Allah, listen carefully. It says, it's hold on. It's, it says, Allah, He created the earth in two days and He finished everything there. And this is confirming what is in chapter 2, verse number 29. It is He who created for you that all in the earth. And then He went to the heaven and He started walking in the heaven. And you agreed, it's recorded, that this is how Allah He did it. He finished everything in earth. Everything created, everything is ready, everything is created. And then and then he went to heaven and there was no heaven. He made them seven heaven. And then we go back, hold on, everybody is laughing. You can deny as much as you want, it's recorded. And here it says, chapter 41 says, it is you have peanut butter? How can you how, how can you spread something that's not there? You have to spread, yeah, the peanut butter has this to be. This is not the topic. I'm not talking about if it's there or not. I'm saying which one Allah he finished first. It doesn't say here, it doesn't mention. It says, listen carefully, let us go back to zero. Are you slow? It says here, okay. chapter two, let's go back to zero. Listen carefully. Chapter okay. two, verse number 29, read with me. It okay. is he who created for you that all in the earth. Then, then, do you understand what the word then mean? Then he went to the sky and then he made them seven heavens. So seven heaven was created after he finished everything in the earth, correct? Habibi, it doesn't it doesn't say thumma 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 okay it doesn't say it that. says it says it says that it says it says yeah. read carefully because here it says you do not need to add thumma to all anything after is after thumma summa thumma stawa ila samaa fa sawahunna sab'u samawat and then he went listen everybody is laughing so does it say okay does it say what it says then he he went to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. Does that mean the heaven made seven heaven after the earth is finished or not? You see, you're getting it wrong here. You're getting it wrong. You're, you're getting it wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, here, what, what if we open the interpretation? Let us see, I am a person trying to make it wrong. Let us see, uh, no. I'm trying to lie to people. What if your Hispanic scholars agree with me? You, I want to explain. No, no, listen, why want to waste our time? If all Islamic scholars agree with me, that means you are trying to defend falsely. And I'm saying the truth. If I take right now this verse, interpretation from Islamic scars, are they going to agree with you or agree with me that Allah finished the earth first? Uh, like, like I mentioned, I just want everybody to know again, I am not an expert. I don't come prepared when I talk. My to friend, this. I don't care if you're prepared or not. Can I show you the Islamic expert what they say about this verse? Come to religion, guys, and when it comes to this old text, you need to know you need to know everything about it. The Listen, context. you do not need to be an expert. You are just trying to fool yourself. The text is so clear. Allah, He created the earth, all in it, and then it says, then, then He went to heaven and He made the seven sky. So the Quran confirmed that then He did the seven heaven. So the then confirmed that this is happening after. Correct. I gotta, my kids and stuff, man. I'm sorry, but. Uh, uh, I, I gave you five hours. You you did a good job. I probably sound very um, ignorant, which I am. I am very ignorant. Hmm. Um, but uh, like I mentioned before, I am not an expert when it comes to this religion. You need to know the context. You need to know the language very well. You need to know hmm. uh, details and a lot of things uh -huh. that Christian Prince uh, says. I, I might not have an answer for it, and that's okay because I'm not learned like that. But anyways, okay, Bilal, I, before you go, before you go, I know you, I know you want to go. Can you promise I, me? Can you promise I me to call and shake to call, to debate me? Yeah, if I can find one, honestly. Well, you cannot can... find one, Bilal. You know, I mean, come on. Okay, can you send an email to Zach and Nike? I'm not in Saudi right now. I'm going. My, back my to... friend, can you can you send you can can you promise me to send an email to Zach and Nike? Says Christian Prince, he challenged you challenge you and i will call him you don't need to call me i will call him he challenged you to accept to debate him Do i he... wish i wish he would like i don't see why not uh, okay i i don't know i don't see why no i i see why why not because he will not dare that will be the end of his career you see for no, you that... uh, for you because 
you know, humbly you said, you are not a scholar. You know, yeah. so whatever you say, people, they will not take it as a big deal. But when a person, he claimed to be a scholar, and he yeah. say, oh, those are stupid things, that's the, that will be the end of his fantasy. That, that, that is correct. If he, if he sounds as... If he sounds, yeah, that is correct. And I this is why, that, this is why all of them, they claim that they can refute me, but they don't dare to call me. So you haven't, you haven't, you haven't had a debate with any of them? Not, I mean, not those. I have some Sheikh debated me and you go and watch it, laugh, die laughing. I debated Sheikh, uh, Muslim Sheikh, Sunni and Shia. Both, they were, they went, they went uh, in the, in the yeah. morning. In Arabic or English? In English. One, actually, we, we did one in Arabic with the Shia. He is the head of the Islamic uh, Shia in USA. No, no, I'm not interested in that, but uh, the other one... Uh, you know, I advise you actually to watch it. You will die laughing. It's a comedy. You speak Arabic. You will die laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, how the Shia, they answer Christian prince? Because you might not think I'm speaking only like uh, about Sunni. Yeah. But because the majority are Sunni, the one we, we, we encounter, yeah. so we speak yeah. about Sunni belief. Otherwise, both of you you know, they are, are following false prophet and false teaching. Doesn't matter. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. Uh, and wish you all the best, man. You're welcome, my friend. Take care. All right. Well, he tried. You know, he tried. But I assure you that what Bilal he heard today, it hurt badly. I mean, how in the world anyone can deny what we see in front of us? It says it clearly that Allah, he finished everything in the earth. Then he went to the sky to work and it's very simple. Even the Islamic scholars interpretation, they agree. So how a God, he don't remember which one he finished first. You know, this is what happened for a liar. He cannot repeat the same lie twice as he said it first time. He's God and he forgot which one he finished first? One chapter, the last thing is the stars. The other chapter, the second thing is the stars. Crazy. No, don't say run away. Actually, I respect this person better than all those shakes. At least he try. Correct? Don't make fun of the guy. Poor guy, put yourself in his shoes. Very horrible situation. He's trying his best. I mean, imagine you are a person who prayed to a God, and since you were a kid, they told you this God is amazing, the Quran is whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then he faced all those crazy argument. And yet he stay with us for five hours. So don't make fun of him. I have respect for him more than all those who claim they can refute me. Who of them dare to go and speak to me for five hours? They say, I hang up on them. I said, okay, I will never hang up on you. If you if you are a person, you know, you want to call me, and you are a person who claimed to be a scholar. You see, I was actually almost going to hang up on Bilal too, because you lose your patient. I mean, you show it to him in the front of you on the screen. And still he say, it doesn't say that. Like when we showed him that he can have sex with his daughter from adultery. But the most comedy is, after we finish, you will see a Christian complaining, saying, Christian Prince, you should be more patient with him. You will see that. Just wait. So pray for Pilar and his, his family. Don't make fun of him. At least he was, you know, he did not, you know, I mean, he was, uh, comparing to other Muslims, he was way good. Right? So I have... Uh, you know, I have respect for him. At least he tried to defend his faith. This is not easy, guys. Imagine, I mean, five hours speaking to me. And each second, he got a surprise. And you will notice how he becomes so careful. So what do you think about a person who says, hey, touching the stone is like, now he's thinking, oh, he's getting something for me. Now he learned that this guy will not say something unless it is something. That's why the Muslim they made an article about how to debate Christian Prince. If a Christian Prince he said to you the Prophet was good, don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever you say, he will get you busted. 
This is why you see Muslims supposedly who they are smart, they say to you, uh, I say something to them, they say, so what's your point? I said, Abdul, which one Allah created first? The other, the, what's your point? He, he, he doesn't want to answer because the second he says something is going to be used against him. So the answer, the best answer is, what's your point? And what's your point? What are you trying to say, CP? My friend, can you, for the sake of the shin of Allah, answer which one of them Allah created first and finished it first, the earth or the heaven? So what are you trying to say, Chrissy? What's wrong with you? Because he is terrified. I'm not talking about Bilal now, I'm talking about other Muslims. This is a smart Muslim, supposedly. Uh, so we pray for this soul to be saved. And yes, we believe in the Trinity. Even your God, when we ask you why Allah, He keeps saying it is we, we. You say because it is more suitable for Allah to be majestic. So your God, Allah, He wished to be three. He don't like to be one. Your God, Allah, He borrow a word, we, to make Himself sound majestic. Our God is not fake. He do not need to borrow a word. He is majestic, not by a word, by act. So your God, when he say, we, we say, we who? They say, oh, Allah, when he say we, he don't mean that he is many, but he is a person, he love the word we. He love it. What that will do to him will make him sound majestic like kings. They say we. So Allah, he find it insulting when he say, I. He found it very beautiful when he say we. So Allah, he found that it is not suitable for him to be I. He found it more suitable to be we. That is fake we. That is a stupid we. That is a dummy we. When a king he say we, he is speaking in the name of a government, the noble men, they rule with him because even kings, they don't rule by themselves alone. This is why they have ranks around the kings, you know, and then those noble men, they choose one of them to be their king. So we, Allah is we who? And then we find that Allah, he says, if I want to have a wife, I will take it from us. Then, okay, the problem with we, we let it go. What we will do with us? Allah is going to have a us partner, So my friend, Trinity, Trinity is very simple. If God cannot be three and one, well, God cannot be one and he cannot be God anyway. Because if you are trying to say that you believe in God and you don't accept God to be three and one at the same time, that's mean you are trying to say, I want to accept that God I can design. So if a God came to me or this God came to me in a design I don't like, I will refuse him. But look at the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Their God is a shin, they have no problem. Their God have any shape, they have no problem. Their God look like a man, they don't have a problem. But their God cannot be Jesus. And we agree in that. For Allah is a devilish idea. All the teaching of the Quran is devilish. It's a gang teaching. Kill, rape, steal, fornicate and all in the name of Allah this is a religion of fornicators you see in Christianity when you fornicate you commit sin and you feel guilty and you know it's bad in Islam when you fornicate Muhammad he made it halal kosher he encouraged them even to do fornication and yet the Muslim they claim that Islam is a religion of decency where you cannot fornicate they say we cover women because 
we protect women. In fact, you cover women because women became a vagina for you, not because you respect them. And because you don't trust them, a Muslim man, he never trusts his wife because Islam teaches you can lie. If you go in the Middle East, you will see every single Muslim man. He spent 20 to 30 times more money in his house. Is that because he's wealthy or maybe he is generous? No. Christian women, she will not ask her husband to buy anything unless it is necessarily. So he can save money to do something better, maybe buy a house or something. Muslim women, she try her best to rip the husband apart because she knew if this man, he was able to save money, the first thing he would do, he would get a new woman, not a new car. So what Muslim women, they do, they spend the day asking the husband complaining, oh, change the curtain, even they burn the curtain with a cigarette so they can make the husband replace them. We have a couch in the house. This couch was there when I was a kid. This couch was there when I was a man. And my mom, she keep it so clean and look perfect. You go to the neighbor Muslims. Every few months they have a new couch. The wife, she never satisfied. The refrigerator is not working. The rag is broken, is ripped off. The dishes are broken, your kids broke it. The mirror, look at the cardboard. The mirror, all of them, they are broken, change it. And the guy keep bringing stuff, moving stuff. I mean, you, th you think that the family are moving out and in. Why? Because Muslim women, they live in fear. They knew that there's no future with them or with this man. Anytime he can kick them out. So she asked for more money, she spent the half maybe or even less, and she hide the rest with her parents. So one day when he divorced her, she will say to him, ah, 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 I saved a hundred thousand dollars from your pocket, you idiot. Very, very bad cult. I remember when I was a kid, I visited a child, he is in my age, and he was saying to his brother the F word to his mother. I said, well, how do you say that, man? Isn't it here his mother is your mother? He said, no. <laughs> and this is the first time for me ever, I see somebody saying the F word to his brother, and yet his mother is not the same mother. Why? Because the father, he keep changing women. Even the father don't even remember which child and which kid he is. Right? Like, you go to ask him for some money to buy some candies, he said to him, you are the son of who? He didn't remember, the guy is so old. Like his son, he did not know this son is the son of who. He knows that this is his son, but he didn't remember from which women. Who is your mother? Islam destroy family, Islam destroy society, Islam destroy everything, touch it. Again, Islam without lies dies. Uh, and guys, if you want me to come back as soon as you want, you know, I like to come every day. But when I look at the video and I see only 17,000 after three days, I say to myself, not enough people saw it yet. That's why today I wasn't really trying to come, and I said, but then I said, you know what, there's good ones, they are waiting for me. So, share the videos, as you see, we stay for many hours, I don't mind, I don't mind to stay all day long, but if I see 6 hours and 30 minutes, but if I see after 6 hours and 30 minutes, demolishing this cult, then the Christians, instead of sharing my videos, they come to my page and share Muslim videos.
why the Christians don't care. However, those who don't, the Lord will not care for them no more. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. If you don't want to knock at his door, well, his door will be always closed for you. And we pray that Bilal, he will knock at the door of the Lord. And he will remember that the Messiah is still alive and he is alive. For he is the living, walking, talking word of God. While all miracles of God done to others by him, the Messiah is the only one he himself is the miracle. Not only he does a miracle, he is a miracle. And even the Quran confirmed. Even his birth is a miracle. Even his death is a miracle. Even when the Muslims they say he did not die, that is a miracle. And his coming back is a miracle. And his life in this earth is a miracle. For God is miracle. And the word miracle presents something the power of mind of a human being cannot comprehend. For it is the power of Almighty God. So when Jesus say, I am coming, you better be ready. For the coming of Jesus will not be the first same as the first time. The second coming of Christ will be scary to the fool, horrible to the criminals, bad to those people who do unjust. Prepare for the coming of Christ, for that day will be a horrible day for you and good day for the believers. And if you think he is not coming, you will be so sorry. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the videos. We don't keep them. And please don't make fun of Mr. Bilal. He is better than many Muslims. At least he was a little bit more decent than the rest. Thank you. God bless you. And and I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care.